Hi, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, we're playing some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. And we're going to try to finish up the DLC today. We'll see if we can do it. I don't know. We'll see <laughs> how it goes. But hi, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Hope you had a great Tuesday yesterday. Uh, I haven't seen you guys since Monday, so hello. Uh, but yeah, let's get going on that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this music. And then I'm going to turn this music on. There we go. Some good old Phoenix Wright music right there. Um, and let's do a sound check real quick and make sure everything is coming out quickly. Or, or coming out well. Hey, Matterx, welcome. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? It's nice to see you again. Ah! <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate, Camelot. Uh, oh, actually forgot to grab my water. Hold on. Let me grab that real quick. Back here. Okay. I got my water. I got my water. Thank you for the hydrate. Thank you. Got my water. Thank you. Okay. Is my chat working? Hold on. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let me check to make sure that the chat box is working real quick, guys. Because I don't see it popping up for me. Hold on. I'm gonna check stream elements real quick. How are you doing, by the way, Camel and Matterx? Hope you guys are having great days. Doing okay myself. Hard to believe we're about to f start the final month of the year in just a matter of hours. Oh, don't remind me. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> I enjoy announcing my presence with that redeem. Yes, I enjoy you announcing your presence with the redeem, too. <laughs> Hi, Tasu. Welcome to stream. Rawr, I'm always so late in to the intro. Ah, no, you're just in time. I literally just started, so you're good. Oh, good. The chat's working. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. We're going into the game. Okay, everything looks good. Yeah, okay. Let's go. All right, let's try to finish this DLC today. Let's go. Yes, load selected data, please. Thank you. I think we're beginning our final day of investigation today. I'm so sorry, Mr. Wright. I'm sorry for what my sister said. Oh, it's okay. Drastic crimes require drastic measures. That's just the way it is. We did what we had to in order for him to get the verdict he deserved. Oh yeah, she admitted to faking evidence. That's right. I, I didn't know. I never knew that the SL9 incident was just another name for the Joe Dark killings. Sounds like everyone's heard about these killings but me. Lana wanted Dark convicted so badly. That's why she used me. That's why she used what happened to me. What happened to you? What do you mean, what happened to you? That's what I said, Phoenix! I still recall the ending to this case, and it's pretty dang dark. Oh no! <laughs> I'm doing good, just did a sketch on Open Skies page. Nice! Okay, cool. It's all there in the file. Oh, she doesn't want to talk about it. Okay, that's cool. That's alright. You, you don't have to tell me your story if you don't want to. Joe Dark's last victim was Prosecutor Neil Marshall. When he murdered Officer Marshall's brother, he left behind an incriminating piece of evidence. Oh. But what did you have to do with those killings, Emma? What did you do, Emma? What did you do? On the night Prosecutor Neil Marshall was murdered, Joe Dark tried to kill me. <gasps> what? He tried to kill you? Nani? Officer Marshall's brother, Neil, was only trying to save me. Oh! 
So that means you... Yes. I was a witness in the Joe Dark trial. Ooh! Oh, snap. Hold on, I'm gonna move myself a little bit down here. There we go, okay. I felt like I was taking up too much of the screen there. I didn't see that one coming. Neither did I. Let's talk, girlie. It happened two years ago. I was right about, it was right about this time of year, too. There was a terrible thunderstorm that day, unusual for the season. I was alone in my sister's office. We were planning to eat dinner together once she finished her work. Then suddenly, this terrifying man came bursting into the office. Joe Dark. It seemed like he was running from someone. He pulled out a knife and screamed at me. Uh-oh. I didn't know what was going on. Just then, Prosecutor Marshall showed up. Jake Marshall's brother. Joe Dark tried to take me hostage. But before he could, Mr. Marshall tackled him. Hi, GTA. Welcome to stream. How are you doing today? <laughs> Pixie's already on the Zoom hype train. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Now I feel like I'm too small. Okay, there we go. Perfect size. Then... What happened? I'll, I'll never forget it! Lightning struck and the lights went out. Suddenly, a bolt of lightning flashed outside the window, lighting up the office for an instant. What I saw then burned a permanent picture into my mind. I... I could still see it now! A permanent picture? Uh-oh, what happened after the incident? I don't remember the moment when Dark stabbed Mr. Marshall. So you weren't able to testify about that? Hold on, I'm gonna sit up in my chair real quick. I feel like I sat down wrong today. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's right. Okay, I was sitting diagonally and not towards the screen. That's what was wrong. Oh, posture check, yes. <laughs> posture check time. Oh, and if you hear any coughing today, uh, it's just my hubby. He's he's a little under the weather. So if you hear coughing in the background, that's him. Hubby raccoon, yeah. He's a little under the weather, but he's getting better. Oh, no. Yeah, he'll be fine. Don't worry. If, if some, uh, somehow I'm the only one who doesn't get sick and then he does. I don't know. It's probably because I got sick a bunch when I was a kid. Hope he gets well soon. I'll tell him you said that. They said they, they hope you get well soon. He said he gave a thumbs up. <laughs> That's what he does every time I talk to him. Um, so you weren't able to testify about that? No, I was only asked about when I was attacked. That must be why Lana, why she made up the crime. Made it up? You mean provided bogus evidence? The prosecutor's office wanted the guilty verdict so badly. Lana forged evidence and Mr. Edgeworth used it. Edgeworth? Yes, but I'm sure he didn't know anything about it. He probably didn't know. He couldn't have known it. he was being given false evidence. Even so, that's when it all started. The rumors about Mr. Edgeworth, I mean. It's all my fault. If I could have just testified properly, none of this would have happened. So it's true, even though he may not have known it, Edgeworth really was involved in falsifying evidence. After that case ended, Lana was never the same. She became cold like she is today. She must not have been able to face up to what she did, especially not to Emma. Makes sense. Makes sense when you got something like that, like a, bur a, a guilty secret burden on your shoulder the whole time. It's gonna make you cold and, and like distant from everybody. Makes sense. What did you see in the instant that crime occurred? Mm. Dark knocked down Mr. Marshall and raised his knife. Neil Marshall Neil oh sorry Neil Marshall was stabbed right in front of this poor girl. Oh my gosh, that's traumatizing. I don't remember what happened after all that. Apparently I passed out. Nah 
When I came to, Lana was cradling me in her arms, like a baby. Poor Emma, you've been through so much. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I, I couldn't bring myself to testify about that incident. Or incident, yeah, it's fine. I tried, but the words just wouldn't come out. I drew a picture, but it wasn't any good. I drew a picture, but it wasn't any good. Oof. <laughs> Art feels. <laughs> Two years ago, you must have been 14. That's understandable. Oh no, a little 14-year-old baby girl had to see murder. Once it was all over, I made up my mind. I decided that when I grew up, I'd become a scientific investigator. I want to be able to fight crime with my own testimonies. And find the evidence to make it an airtight case. That way, Lana would never have to forge any evidence. I see. I think I'm finally starting to understand what makes Emma tick. But there's still something that bothers me about that crime. Something puzzling. There's something that's puzzling me, Emma. What is it? You said you were in Lana's office at the time, right? That's right. Why then would a serial killer come running in there? Not only that, but he was being chased by a prosecutor? Oh, there's no mystery there. What do you mean, no mystery there? Joe Dark had been taken in for questioning that day. Taken in for questioning? Okay, you be right back. I I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna hold you to it. If I don't see you back here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> taken in for questioning? You mean by the police? Of course! This happened at the police department. He tried to run away halfway through the interview and fled into my sister's office. Why did he have a knife on him, though? Usually if you're brought in for questioning, they take away, like, anything you have on you. Usually. I don't know. Things work different in Phoenix Wright world, apparently. I mean, people get away with bringing knives into courtrooms. We've seen that before, so... They're pretty serious with... <laughs> That is pretty serious with them glasses on. I'm serious. Well, why did he run all the way over to your sister's office? Because the detective offices in the questioning room are right across from the elevator. Hmm. Across from the elevator? But Lana was the chief prosecutor, wasn't she? No, silly. Didn't I tell you? Two years ago, Lana was a detective. Oh, she was the best in the entire force. What? That's news to me. After the Joe Dark case, I gotta sneeze real quick, guys. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Had to sneeze. After the Joe Dark case, she was transferred to the prosecutor office and made chief prosecutor. Lana used to be a detective? Oh, no. <laughs> ah, sorry, I couldn't get that one. I couldn't get that one. Not exactly. In a police station, if you're voluntary taken in, you don't have to be checked for weapons. Oh, I didn't know that. I'd better have another talk with her. Yep, we better have another talk with Lana. Okay. So then we should go to the uh, detention center then and talk to her. Detention. Lana! Mr. Wright, it seems I keep causing you trouble. Falsifying evidence. I didn't think you were the type. Criminals don't mind playing foul. Why should we? But Lana, if you're wrong, an innocent person might be found guilty. Believe me, I understand the risks. Lana, Emma told me about you. Oh. About how you were a detective two years ago. And how the SL9 incident was the reason for your transfer to the prosecutor's office. I like how the sprite is moving while we're talking to her. That's a that's a, a lot more detail than the previous cases, I feel. That's right. 
Could you fill me in on the details, especially about that unusual change of jobs? Hmm. I suppose you have a right to know, Mr. Wright. Okay, talk to me, Lana. You've been quiet this whole time. Give me the juicy information. Spill that tea. A lot of revelations were uncovered at that uh, trial today, not the least of which was the fact that this case is largely connected to another one two years ago. Evidence from that case was stolen as well, though I expected as much. I know how obsessive Officer Marshall can be. That trial, it really wasn't fair, was it? Mm. I believe in you, Lana. I believed that no matter what happened, you'd always stick to the truth. It couldn't be helped, Emma. At that trial two years ago, I sold my soul to the devil to play the violin. <laughs> well, all the drama aside, <laughs> Phoenix Wright is like, yeah, so, um, yeah, uh, no drama. Um, the fact of the matter is... That was made of gold, yes. At 5.15, there was no murder at the police off uh, police department. Tell me it's not true, Lana. What the witness Miss Starr said. About you stabbing Mr. Goodman with a knife? Oh, now she doesn't even trust her saying... Or trust her about the murder now. Oh, no. Hmm. Lana, I don't understand. Why won't you tell us? Emma, this doesn't involve just me. I don't think I've ever seen Lana look so phased before. Oh, snap. I knew it. I knew it the whole time she's been covering for somebody else. Okay, Lana. Tell us about your detective life. It's true. I was a member of the police force two years ago. She was amazing. They still talk about the cases she and Chief Gant cracked together. Oh, you're pr you're protecting Gant, aren't you? Ah, pieces are coming together. Chief Gant? He was the deputy... Oh, I'm sorry, that's Lana. He was the deputy chief of police back then, but he still worked the crime scenes. Damon Gant. He was everything I aspired to be. They were the best team ever. They solved crimes before the reports could even be filed. Emma really idolizes her big sister. Oh, nay, John. But now you're a chief prosecutor. What happened? I always planned on becoming a prosecutor. The reason I became a de detective was... To gain experience investigating crime scenes so you could use that experience in court, right? Gant's help in the SL9 case was a crucial to its resolution. After that, he became chief of police and arranged my transfer to the prosecutor's office. Maybe I should ask more about this investigation of theirs two years ago. Yeah, maybe we will ask more about that. Oh, maybe we will. Two years ago, I was second in command of the detectives investigating Dark. Second in command? That means the investigation led... Uh, lead was Damon Gant, right? Yes, Deputy Chief Gant and I shared the same office and the same investigations. They even had the same office! <gasps> and they were roommates! We led a team of the best detectives on the force. Detective Goodman, whose case it was, Jake Marshall and Angel Starr. It was the first time Marshall worked with his brother. He was quite gung-ho. <laughs> I like how she paused before saying that. Without a doubt, D Joe Dark was a serial killer. We asked him to come in for questioning. We were desperate for evidence. That was when his final murder took place. When he tried to murder Emma. Prosecutor Marshall was trying to save me from Dark. You see, the first person who happened upon the scene of the crime was me. <gasps> now you tell us! First one at the scene. Damon Gant and Neil Marshall were the only ones questioned... Uh, or were the ones questioning Dark that day. The investigation was in its final stages and Dark must have suddenly pa panicked. Blah, 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 blah. 
tongue-tied. So he waited until Gant and Marshall let their guards down and then fled the room. From there, he ran straight to the office shared by Deputy Gant and myself. That's where he found me! So you were the first person to run to the scene, Lana? It appears so. I was filing some papers while Gant and Marshall were questioning Dark. Oh boy. Oh no! When I returned to my office, I saw three bodies on the floor and smelled blood. Three bodies? Prosecutor Marshall, the victim, Emma, who had passed out, and my suspect, Joe Dark. During this struggle, it seems Mr. Marshall struck a final blow before he died. Joe Dark had incurred a minor concussion and lay unconscious. What did you do? To be honest, I panicked. I picked up Emma, carried her out of the room, and just held her. No, baby girl! Can't blame her after all her sister must have gone through. After that, I placed Dark under immediate arrest. Let me- oh, let me get this straight. You were all involved in the SL9 incident? That's right. Quite a coincidence. <laughs> Quite a coincidence. I can't read. Hold on. Had to sneeze again. I don't buy it. What are you saying? There's no way everyone involved in this trial was also involved in that incident just by chance. But that case was solved two years ago! At least one person went to the extremes because they didn't believe it was truly solved. Yeah, it is kind of weird to have all these same people involved. Something's going on here. Something don't smell right. It's fishy! Officer Marshall, yes, his actions came as a surprise to me as well. I smell bull poopy. <laughs> Ever since his brother died, he's changed completely. I guess he wasn't convinced with the ruling against Joe Dark. Hmm. Life doesn't end with the closing of a case. Everyone has to live the rest of their lives with their memories. That case just might not be over yet. Huh? Emma was assaulted by Dark at the police department, right? Yes, in the office of Damon Gant and I shared. Damon Gant set it up! He's a real killer! I know it! The office that Mr. Gant now occupies by himself, the chief's office. Welcome back, GTA! Welcome back! Maybe we should have a look at the Chief's office, the site of the final SL9 murder. Oh yes, let's go. Let's go. I want to go there. Yes. Oh wait, should we show you anything? I wonder if we should show her anything while we're here. Because maybe she'd know some stuff about this. Oh. <laughs> Attorneys and blah 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 have no business showing evidence outside of court. It's taboo, especially when the interests of both parties are involved. She really means it. Lana. I guess she doesn't want to look at this. <laughs> what about this? What, what do you think about this knife? We probably don't need- oh wait, maybe she knows something about this face though. Or a jar? I guess it's technically a jar. Hey, what do you think about this? Okay, she I don't think she has anything to say about that. Uh probably fine maybe. Okay, I just don't want to miss anything. I think we're good here though. Let's uh let's move. Uh let's see. I think we can get there from the criminal affairs department. I think we can get there from here. I think we're gonna get a reaction right now since we're in the final crux of the case. Probably, yeah. Okay, we made it to the criminal affairs department. The game won't let you go to the trial without all the evidence. True. I don't see Detective Gumshoe anywhere. Things seem kinda quiet around here today. 
You're right. The chief of detectives seems the same, though. Why don't we look for some other people to talk to? Right. We can come back here later. Oh, okay. Game doesn't want us to be here right now. Okay, then. Game said no. <laughs> Game's like, nah, not now. <laughs> oh, snap. It's my boy. Howdy, Bambina. Oh, Mr. Marshall. I never thought things turned out this way when I woke up this morning. Okay, sirrah, sirrah. You never know what life will lead you. Hey, Bambina. I should have known my luck had run out when old Billy dried up this morning. Billy? Must be his pet cactus. Say, where are you headed? Just over to the prosecutor's office for a little interrogation. It's a voluntary appearance, but we all know I won't be coming back. Sorry, but you can't go in the evidence room today, partner. But Mr. Marshall, why did you do it? Why do prospectors head west? If ever there were was a case I needed to know the truth about, it was the one. Before you, uh, before you turn yourself in, Mr. Marshall, would you mind telling us exactly what happened? Hmm, looks like I won't be getting a steak lunch today. I don't know, they might be serving steak in jail. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Pixie. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Yay, hubby's temperature went down. Good news. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about the dark trial. Something was fishy about that trial from the beginning. It, was, it wasn't just me either. All the detectives thought so. What do you mean, fishy? Some of the facts reported were inconsistent with the evidence we found. Yay! For example, the murder weapon. The murder weapon? You mean that switchblade knife with the broken tip? That was Joe Dark's, all right. But in the initial autopsy report, a question was raised. A question? The blade of the knife was not a perfect match with the wound the victim sustained. What does that mean? It means it's not the murder weapon. If it's not consistent with the wound, then it's not the right weapon. It means they put something else in him first and then stuck something else in him after that. Also, hi souls, welcome to stream. Hello, hello. It's a fake, it's a fake. It means there is a good chance that knife was not the word of murder weapon. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, yep, I guessed it. <gasps> Phoenix, why are you so dumb? <laughs> A lot of sticking things where they don't belong in this story. Yeah. <laughs> However, in the report that was finally submitted, the possibility had been erased. Could the facts have been concealed with forged evidence? <gasps> that left behind scars on all of us. The scars that the S09 incident left behind. Let's talk about your your brother. I got the looks, but he got the brains. He was the one of the best prosecutors around. I don't know, he, he's not bad looking either. You're being mean to your brother. He's dead, how dare you speak ill of him? I had just made the detectives when I, it went down. I was the first, uh, ugh, I can't read, I swear. It was our first case together. How old was he, your brother? He was 27 at the time. He was awarded the highest honor that very day. The highest honor? You mean the king of prosecutors. I knew it. What are you looking at me like that for? That's an honor for a prosecutor. Mr. Marshall must have really been close with his brother. The day the S online incident took place, that wasn't the same day as... That's right. It was the day of that, uh, the evidence transfer. <gasps> Interesting. It was drizzling that morning, and by nightfall, there was thunder. I can't believe two years have gone by already. I tried to steal the evidence so the case wouldn't die. Apparently, someone tried to stop you. 
Detective Goodman was murdered, and the evidence locker was empty. Interesting. Didn't wasn't there also an award ceremony on the same day that uh, Detective Goodman was murdered? Mmm, I'm noticing a pattern. I'm okay and feeling awesome. That's good to hear, Souls. I'm glad you're doing well. It's always nice to see you. There was something going on behind the scenes in that case. We all knew that later. Every detective involved in that investigation, save one, was taken care of. Miss Star was fired and I was demoted and boxed away in a tiny room. What about Detective Goodman? If they did something to him too, the commissioners would get suspicious. No, they were careful enough not to be too obvious. They? Who are you talking about? Don't get upset, Bambina. I mean Damon Gant and Lena Skye. Oh! The investigation lead Damon Gant and his second in command, Lena Skye. What did you do? There wasn't a person on the force who hadn't heard of that duo. The case was the biggest step in both of their, their careers. After that case Lan ended, Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damon Gant, the new chief of police, arranged for that to happen. She's never been the same since she left. Hmm? Everyone knew her said so. Chief Prosecutor Sky was totally different when she was a detective. Now that he mentions it, Emma said something like that too. Tell me, what happened to my sister? Sorry, Bambina, but her secret is too well guarded. I never found out. Lana's secret, it all started two years ago. So there you have it. That's my story. Did you enjoy it, partner? Yeah! It was certainly enlightening. There's one thing for sure I found out in court today. That boy Edgeworth isn't my enemy. Good. He was the one who used falsified evidence to get the guilty verdict. But someone else was the one who gave him the, uh, that evidence and planned everything. That someone is Damon Gant. Don't believe me? Well, I don't blame you. I won't even be a, pa a patrolman after today. Oh, wait, wait, what was that? What did he spit out? <laughs> Too bad I won't be around to work with you. When you become a real scientific investigator. Adios, Bambina. No, Marshall! You were such a good boy! You were only trying to do the right thing. He faded. He faded! Oh, he spat out the cork? Wait, so then how? what was he drinking this whole time? Or was he just pretending to drink this whole time? Was he just pretending to drink this whole time? <laughs> that would be weird. Um, let's see. I guess we haven't been to the underground parking lot yet. Let's go there. The idle animations are always weird. True. No one's here today. Not even Miss Star. Everyone's probably busy looking into what exactly went down in the evidence room. That must be where the detectives are. But well, we proved in court today that on the day of the crime, no one was murdered in the evidence room at 5.15. Yeah, I thought we were finally making some headway in our case. But instead, it looks like we just ended up making Lana look even more guilty. Hang in there, Lana. I've got to find all the answers by tomorrow. Can we examine stuff around here? I'm just going to examine everything again real quick, make sure we don't miss anything. Look, a door! That must mean something. I'm not sure that doors mean anything. No, it won't open! A mysterious lock! Okay, yeah, we've been through this dialogue before. We've been through this dialogue before. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Nothing new there. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. And there's this security room. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. 
Okay. The cars leave. Ba ba ba. Theory. Ba 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 ba. Okay. Slide. Yep, 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 yep. We've been through all this before. I don't feel like we're gonna find anything new, but you know, there's always a chance that we could find something. Okay, let's see here. Oh, there's the barrel. Or oil drum, yeah. Yep. Um, and then she gets hurt on the on the fence too. Yep. There she gets hurt on the she gets hurt on the fence. Okay. Yeah, nothing new here. Nothing new here. Let's move. Let's see. Um Oh, we can go to the high prosecutor's office. Oh yeah, we can go to Edgeworth's office. Let's go there. Bloop. Edgy boy. Edgy boy. Mr. Edgeworth isn't here. He shouldn't leave his office open. That's not safe. Maybe he's being questioned by an inquiry committee? He took a real beating in court today. Yeah, with Lena admitting to falsifying evidence two years ago. I guess we'll just have to come back later. Oh man, I feel like everywhere's uh, come back later right now. Where do we go next? Hmm. Hmm. Go back here. Hmm. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Back to the detention center? No. No, 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 no. Let's go back to the criminal affairs department. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now something's happening. This place is always pretty empty, but today it's deserted. That must mean everyone's busy solving crimes. Oh, if you're looking for others, they're all, uh, they're all in the conference room. Uh, thanks. Wow, you actually talked to us. With the chief prosecutor saying what she did and the decision about what to do about Mr. Edgeworth, not to mention all our statement to the media in tomorrow's trial, there's more chaos going on than Thanksgiving and Christmas put together. I think festive is the word usually used for those. Um, sir, we'd like to have a look around Chief Gant's office. Just use the connecting hallway to the other building and take the elevator to the top floor. Really? You mean it's okay for us to go in there? I mean, we aren't police officers or anything. Hey, you're right, you can't go in there, it's off limits. <laughs> too late, we're going, let's run. <laughs> It's too late. You already told me where it is. <laughs> now I see where Detective Gumshoe gets his unique charm. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? Let's head to Chief Scan uh, Chief's office. <laughs> you told us where it is. We're running there anyways. <laughs> you can't go in there. Can't stop me now. <laughs> oh, look, the picture. What? Why is there a giant organ in this man's office? This is evil Bond villain levels of silly. Look at this. Oh, I see you've made it to my office. And he's wearing like the Phantom of the Opera like um mask, and he's just like, don't look at me. <laughs> Only villains have organs like this, but also organs are very pretty. Whoa, where am I? In the chief's office, silly. At least that's what it said on the door. Check out that pipe organ. That's real, isn't it? Hey, I used to take organ lessons in kindergarten. They used to call me Little Miss Bach. I thought I was a genius until they tried teaching me notes. Hey, don't play that, Emma! 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 Emma, you're gonna get us caught! Emma! <laughs> I never could remember where C was. Hmm? Uh-oh! No, what did I 
say? What did I say? I said, don't touch the organ. What did you do? You touched the organ and now we're gonna get caught. Uh-oh. Oh, it's you two. Chief Gant. He put that paper he was reading on the d on his desk. So, Raito, have you been swimming lately? Why do you always ask us about swimming? What is your obsession with swimming? Uh, no, I haven't. I've been kind of busy today. You know, investigating the crimes that you probably committed. I can appreciate that. I've had my hands full, too, with Mr. Marshall's misconduct and Lana's provocative statement. Provocative statement. Oh, you mean about the forged evidence? Everyone is a pun or a joke. True. It's like his character quirk in the game. Yeah. Two years have passed since that incident. My, how time flies. See that big picture on the wall over there? Uh-huh. Look at this photograph! That's a picture of Lana, Neil, and me. Wait, that that's the jar! The jar's in the background! The jar, you guys, the jar! The jar! Oh! It's the jar! <laughs> So this is Mr. Marshall's brother, Prosecutor Neil Marshall. We took a commemorative, uh, wait, wait. We took it to commemorate our work together. Hmm, something's not right with this picture. I can't quite seem to put my finger on it, though. It's the jar! The jar's in there! It's looking at me menacingly! Okay, you. You got some splaining to do. Anyway, I'd like to reminisce all day, but there are matters that need my attention. I'm going to lock up here, so let's get out together. Oh, but this office, it was a crime scene two years ago, wasn't it? That case has long been since over. There's no need to investigate it anymore. All the same, we'd still like to have a look around. Perhaps you didn't hear me. Uh-oh. I said there's no need to investigate it anymore. <laughs> Please don't tase me like the last guy did. Please. Uh. Now hurry up and get out. I have a meeting to attend. His face is scary. I know, right? Looks like we aren't welcome. It seems the case isn't over with yet, after all. What do you mean? Chief Gant denied our request to search the crime scene. That must mean there... Uh, that means there must be a reason he doesn't want us looking around in there. Secrets? You mean, like, a clue? There's gotta be a way we can get inside the chief's office. Time to be sneaky. Raccoon mode activated! Let's go. Okay, where do we go? <laughs> okay, but where do we go? Maybe we can ask the chief for, like, a, 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 a key or something. Mr. Chief, have I told you how nice your bald head looks today? Boy, you are really great at designing mascots. Did anybody tell you how pretty your eyes are? Hey, pal. Oh, Gumshoe, you'll help us, won't you? Detective Gumshoe, aren't you supposed to be in a meeting? I'm, uh, just taking a breather. My feet hurt. They kicked him out. From sitting so long? Actually, uh, from serving everyone coffee. No, Gumshoe, you deserve better. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe is still out of the loop. Say, have either of you seen it, Mr. Edgeworth? Edgeworth? No. Why do you ask? He's under fire from both the police department and the prosecutor's office. It's almost like the battle's between you two in court. I had to burp. Sorry about that. That sounds serious. Is it because of what my sister said? That's basically what it all boils down to. 
that falsified evidence two years ago. Now Mr. Edgeworth has the whole world after his blood. Yikes. Tell me about the fo- uh, Tell me about Edgeworth. How's my edgy boy doing? Is he okay? Does no one hurt him? But why would Edgeworth be blamed? It's not like he knew the evidence was forged. Lana Sky is the guilty party here, isn't she? Regardless, the prosecutor is responsible for the evidence they present in court. Not only that, but as you know, there have been a lot of rumors going around about Mr. Edgeworth. His amazing talent as a prosecutor has kept him safe from those who don't like him. But now with this... Are there really so many people who hate him? In our world, only those with talent rise to the top. Mr. Edgeworth not only has that, but he's young. There's no better recipe I know for making enemies. True. Hey, Dick, keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Let's go out for lunch again sometime. My treat. Yes, sir. You gotta take me back to that joint sometime, okay, Dick? Yes, sir. It seems you don't have any problems with enemies. Oh, wait, no, that's Phoenix. I'm sorry. It seems you don't have any problems with enemies. Yeah, well, I'm careful not to stick out. Anyway, I'm a bit worried about him. Under all this pressure, I'm afraid Mr. Edgeworth just might crack. Oh, Gumshoe, you bleeding heart. You sweet, sweet himbo. SL9 incident, tell me about that. Actually, I took a look at the file earlier while the coffee was brewing. I bet it would be neat to go out to eat with Gumshoe. Yeah, I bet he'd pick a, like, a really good burger joint. And he'd be like, these are the best burgers in town. You really gotta try it. Oh, I'm, I, food's on me, by the way. I'm gonna buy everybody shakes, too. I'd be, I bet it'd be great. It'd be amazing. Yeah, I bet it, I bet, I bet it'd be good. He seems genuinely concerned for Edgeworth. Well, did you find anything out? The only evidence Dark left behind was during his final attack. His final attack? You mean... When he killed Prosecutor Marshall, he, who was trying to protect some girl. Me. It seems Detective Gumshoe never realized Emma was the girl. That's when he left the most incriminating evidence of all. Well, what was it? Oh, um, let's see. I think it had something to do with the murder weapon. Mm. Oh, I forget. Look, it's all written here somewhere and in there, okay? <laughs> Maya's all about them burgers. Mmm. Burgers are good. Everybody knows. His power of, of powers of recollection never failed to impress. Maybe we should show him the murder weapon. It might jog his memory. Okay, hold on. Well, we have more to talk about first. Let's talk about every let's finish talking about everything, and then we'll show him the murder weapon. Dark's crimes. Joe Dark was 42 at the time of the crime. He was just your run-of-the-mill businessman. A businessman? What made him take to serial killing? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> that daily office grind? Ooh. One day on his way home from work, he hit someone with his car. With his car? So, it was an accident? An accident, yes. But it transformed him into an animal. Rawr! An animal? He killed a man that witnessed the accident. Then he killed a lady who saw the second crime. A kid walked by then, so he killed him too. Then, when all the bodies were there, a jogger came upon the scene and was killed as well. Finally, he turned himself in. So he's just going around and just like, eh, 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 eh. Everybody die. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he just went crazy. <laughs> Seems he was a pretty careless animal. <laughs> it's a pretty careless... <laughs> of course, this is all conjecture. There wasn't a single shred of evidence. So he, tur so he turned himself in. Wait. 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 So then, like... We don't even know for sure he did it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. 
Yes, but in the middle of his questioning, he fled and murdered his final victim. Prosecutor Marshall. The crime was witnessed by someone too, but luckily Dark was arrested on the spot. It's a good thing that last witness wasn't killed. <laughs> that last witness, aka Emma. Okay, let's show him the murder weapon now. Uh, let's see here. Where that? Where that? Oh, there it is. Here. Hey, look at this. Um, about this. Hey, is that? It has a tag attached to it with the label SL9 incident on it. I believe this would be the broken murder weapon you were speaking of. What are you doing with that? Ever since that case was closed, that knife's been locked away in a locker. On the day Detective Goodman was murdered, this suddenly disappeared from the locker. And was found in Mr. Edgeworth's car muffler. Hmm, that's it! Now I remember what that incriminating piece of evidence was. When you showed me that knife, it all came back to me. Well, what was it, Detective? Quick, before you forget again! Uh, what, what, oh, what was it? What was it? The murder weapon! This knife, it was Joe Dark's, wasn't it? Hoi! Hi, Steve! Welcome, Steve. Hi, hi, how are you doing today? That's right. We traced it back to the store we bought it at. He bought it at, plus it had his fingerprints on it, too. Oh, did it now? But no one actually witnessed him using it to murder anyone, right? That's where his luck ran out. When you take a good look at the knife, you'll see it's broken. <gasps> you don't say. You don't have to take a good look at to notice that. Oh, and Emma, don't be mean to the himbo. Uh, well, yeah, anyway. Take a guess where the broken off tip of the knife was found. That's what did him in. Where was it? The victim, Neil Marshall, was carrying it. Inside his own body. Okay. <laughs> it was found deep inside the stab wound. Did it match Dark's knife? You bet, down to the last fiber. I mean, you could just like stick that in there. You could just be like Pleh. That's pretty conclusive. Neil's autopsy report. Okay, stabbed in the back, died from a punctured heart and lung. A knife tip was in the wound. Switchblade knife updated in the court record. Okay, broken tip was found on the victim's body, belonged to murder Joe Dark. Well, there you have it in a nutshell. That's all I know. Can I ask you one more thing? What is it? If it's money you need, you should ask Chief Gant. <laughs> Can I have five bucks? <laughs> it's not money, but it does concern the Chief. His office is a crime scene, right? It's where Prosecutor Neil Marshall was murdered. Uh, oh no, a bot! Oh no! Band time! Boop! There you go, bye bye! I got it, no problem. It's where Neil, Marsh uh, Neil Marshall was murdered. The chief's out now and his office is locked. But we'd like to have a look around if that's okay. I didn't see a hammer. My hammer is invisible. You will never see it coming. You'll never see it coming. Bum, bum, bee -dee 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 -dee. Mm, well, anyway, <laughs> detective's IDs cards can unlock the door. What? Really? Donk. Ah, you got the chat, not me. Aqua scream gif. <laughs> What? Really? But if I let a civilian in there, I'd be charged with breach of trust. Breach of trust? Simply put, I'd be canned. Oh. Sorry, pal. I don't plan on getting fired because of you. Well, you could just say we stole it from you, and then we'd be the ones in trouble. Come on, can't you help a, help a friend out? You're having spaghetti for dinner? Nummy! I want spaghettis for dinner, too. That sounds good. 
How about this ID card? It was Detective Goodman's. That won't work either. The d data was deleted the day he died. Hmm. Oh. So in other words, Gumshoe is our only chance of getting into that office. I wonder if there's something we could show him that would make him change his mind. Hmm, what could we show him to make him change his mind? What could we show him to make him change his mind? Oh, maybe we could show him this. Look at this photograph. Let me share a little advice with you as a detective. If you don't have a clue, keep your trap shut. I, uh, I'll keep that in mind. Sheesh. Okay, he didn't like that one. What about this? I've been studying up on those files. There's nothing wrong with Mr. Edgeworth's presentation. To think people are accusing him of injustice. I, for one, ain't buying it, pal. You're looking into the case for Mr. Edgeworth? Yeah, it was a pretty big deal while it was going on, you know. After all, a serial killer was on the loose. But Lana was pretty clear in her confession. She forged evidence in order to prove Joe Dark guilty. Hmm, okay, that didn't work, but we did get some new dialogue there. Maybe that opened up something? Nope, that didn't. Oh, okay, just checking. Let's see here. Um. What about the jar? What about the jar? About that jar. I think I've seen it before somewhere. Somewhere? Or maybe it's one of those memories people have from previous lives. This must be the most uninformative detective I've ever met. Something about it makes me feel uneasy. It's like I'm in the chief's office and he's yelling at me. <laughs> That's probably because it was in the chief's office and he was yelling at you. <laughs> Such criminal thoughts. I'm going to steal his ID card. I'm going to steal it. He won't give it to me. I'm going to steal it. Chief Gant? Where could I have seen that before? You saw it here in this picture. Hold on. Maybe I can just look at it real quick. Hold on. I'm gonna look at the picture. We're gonna... We're gonna... Yeah. Nothing to say here? I, n I see the jar! Why can't I just tell him the jar is in the photograph? Wait, why? Why? Why not? Why no jar? Why? You wouldn't download a car. <laughs> you wouldn't steal a woman's purse. Why would you download a movie? Because I don't want to pay Netflix for money if for movies. <laughs> I do remember those PSA videos, yeah. I can't believe Officer Marshall would do something like that. You know Officer Marshall? Of course I do. He was like a mentor to me. When I first started out, he even gave me a small cactus. Aww. Really? He said, Dick, she'll listen to all your troubles. Note to self, Detective Gumshoe talks to a cactus. Hard to believe he's just a patrolman now. Someone ought to trade places with him. Mm. What? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> no, not... No, not me, please. I, I, I'm a good detective, I promise. I, I find clues in everything. <laughs> Poor gumshoe. Let me share. Oh, wait, no, we already talked. We already did this. Okay. Um, what about the lockers? What about the, what about the lockers? Sorry. I got some, I got some sleepies in my eye. Don't mind me for a second while I get them out. It's making my eye itchy. Okay, there we go. I literally woke up right before I started streaming, so... <laughs> okay, let's present this. No locker can be opened without a fingerprint match. Besides, there's no reason for the murderer to touch his own locker. Hey, wasn't your locker the one with the blood on it, detective? The handprint of the real murderer's gloved hand, without any fingerprints. Shh! <laughs> if they come to arrest me, you'll defend me, won't you? If that happens, I think you'll do better pleading with Edgeworth. What? What? Well, I'd defend him. I would totally defend him. He's my boy. He's my boy. I'd defend him. I don't care what Phoenix says. I'd defend him. Let me share a little advice with you as a detective. 
Oh, okay, so he didn't, it doesn't have anything to say about that. Okay, cool. We're gonna keep showing him stuff and see if there's anything else. Okay, that's, that, that's a dud there. How about this? Oh, a lost, a lost item report, huh? Very impressive, Detective. You knew what it was right off the bat. Probably because he loses a lot of stuff. Well, I'm a master of misplacement, you know. Ah, I knew it. <laughs> ah, I knew it. <laughs> master, that's such a cool ring to it. The way I see it, if things aren't meant to be lost, then they're meant to be lost. There's a higher power at work here. Wow, a higher power. Maybe I shouldn't let Emma hold any evidence. <laughs> Emma, you're too influ easily influenced. <laughs> feeling cool? That's good. That's good. I'm glad you're feeling cool. Okay, he has nothing to say about this one, apparently. Okay, that's fine. What about this fingerprinting? Hey, that powder is used for f detecting fingerprints. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth gave it to us. He did what? All I have is some flour. Hmm. Are you okay, detective? Quick, run! Achoo! Oh no. He sneezed on me. Uh. Hmm. If it's any help, one time I took a nap on the bench with wet paint. Why am I not comforted? <laughs> <laughs> you sneezed on me, and then, and, and then you talk about wet paint. <laughs> you sneezed on me. Now I'm gonna get snit. I'm gonna get sick. If I get sick, it's your fault. <laughs> okay, look at this. That's the ID card record, isn't it? Yep. Yes. There's only one number left to investigate. Oh, this is right because that's Chief Gant's number, probably. At 4.20 p.m., the victim, Detective Goodman, must have entered the evidence room along with someone else. Someone with an executive officer number. 7777777777. That's one seven too many, Detective. An executive officer. Hmm, it might just have a hunch. Uh-huh, uh-huh, it's scanned. Bla- <laughs> Uh... Hey, I just bought some of that stuff. The luminol? Now I can go around detecting blood traces, too. Wow, is that a new type? I've never seen that bottle before. Add three inches to your base height. Base height? Wait, base height? Hey, let me see that. Looming tall. New and improved growth formula. Oh, no. He didn't read the label. You mean this can't detect any uh, blood traces? Uh, well, it's not quite the same thing as luminol. So that's why the lady at the counter had that smirk on her face. No, she just let you buy it without it being the right thing. Growth formula. I don't think he needs that. He's a big boy already. You're fine, Tasu. You're fine. Don't worry about it. And you. What about this? Um, about this... Hey, is that? It is a text to it. Oh, wait, we already went through this. Ah, uh, oh. No, nope, 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 nope. We went through all this already. No, 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 no. Okay. What about this? Okay, he doesn't have anything to say about that. Okay, what about this? That's the photo Miss Star took. Anything about uh, you can tell us about it? That's Miss Star is quite the lady. Why, I remember it was winter. I was 16. She was the only one who ever got me to talk about what happened. Oh, yeah, he, we've had this conversation before. Okay, I wonder if there... Let me look at my little guide real quick here. To see if there's anything else we're supposed to show him real quick. Oh, come on now. Stupid thing. I keep clicking on the wrong things. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Let's see here. I just got the joke after years of playing this game. Wait, what joke? Did I miss it? Or did I, I mean, nah. Let's see here, hold on. Um. 
Boba. I'm just making sure there's not anything else we're supposed to show him real quick here. I think we're good here. Okay. I think we're good here. Let's let's move. Maybe we're supposed to come back later with something for him. Okay. We're going to go to back to the underground parking lot. Oh, maybe not. Mm. Oh, here we go. It's doing something. I wonder if Edgework is back yet. There he is! It looks like he's writing something! What are you doing here? He sure was quick to throw that paper on the floor! Tough day in court, huh? Hmm. I've had to live the past two years with rumors flying around. What's another allegation to me? Cheer up, Mr. Edgeworth! I'm rooting for you! Me too! I'm rooting for you too, Edgeworth! That's Edgeworth for you. Always trying to hide his real feelings. Don't hide your feelings anymore, Edgy boy. I know how you feel about me and Phoenix. So, what do you want? Unlike some people, I don't have all day. Uh, I want to see what that piece of paper on the floor was. What is that? I wonder what he was writing before. Come on, Mr. Wright. Let's take a look. Are you crazy? Edgeworth is sitting right there. I don't mind going underneath his desk. Just distract him. I'll check it out. Uh, hey, Edgeworth. Have I ever told you what pretty eyes you have? <laughs> the face he's making. Is that Detective Gumshoe out the window there? Oh, no, he's falling to the ground. Hold on. First, let me see what this girl's doing crawling around my feet. I don't like this. <laughs> He didn't even look. What? Letter of a r r r r If you're having trouble reading, I'll read it for you. It says letter of resignation. What? No! No, Edgy boy! No! No! Edgeworth, you don't mean. I'm tired, right? I feel as if something inside me has died. No! Not my edgy boy. No! But Mr. Edgeworth, none of it was your fault. I know the path I've walked. You don't need to tell me. And the path I've walked hasn't been a just one. I can't forgive myself for what I've done. And no one else will forgive me either. Uh-oh. I think he's serious. No, Edgy, no! No, Edgy, no! Mr. Wright, please, you have to do something. This letter of resignation, I wonder if I can use it for anything. Oh, let's show this to... Yeah, let's show this to, uh... To Gumshoe. He'll freak out like we did. Okay. Wait, we should talk to you first, probably. Yeah, we should probably talk to you first. <laughs> Why are you gonna leave? Don't leave me, edgy boy! There's no excuse for what I've done. Oh, wait, I'm sorry, that's Edgeworth. There's no excuse for what I've done. Two years ago, I used false evidence to obtain a guilty verdict. That's what it all breaks down to, if nothing else. Uh, and there's nothing I can do to erase the fact. But you didn't know, did you? I mean, I mean, that evidence was falsified. The police department and the prosecutor's office share a bond of trust. If that bond is broken, we stand to lose everything. The police department's error is my error, my responsibility as the prosecutor in charge. The fact remains that the same no matter what excuses I might have. Mr. Edgeworth. I take pride in my work. So tell me why? Why has it all come to this? Even Edgeworth can't keep this kind of emotion bottled up. <laughs> no! Not my edgy boy. Are you up for the trial tomorrow? 
First last year's trial, and now this one. It seems all you do is worry about me. Baka. <laughs> to be honest, you're getting on my nerves. But Mr. Edgeworth, you can't just walk out on the trial. Tomorrow is the last day. It's too late to change prosecutors. I bet that's what my superiors are banking on. I never thought the case would come back to haunt me like this. What do you mean? The list of evidence. It seems so short. Most lists run twice as long. It's only half as long as most lists? That is odd. After Neil Marshall was murdered, I became prosecutor for that case. I may not have been part of the investigation, but I knew what I had to do. Use the evidence I was given to prove the suspect guilty. That was really the only thing in, on my mind at the time. Say, we just saw a picture taken around that time. That picture? Something seems strange about it. I bet he would know about the picture, but let's talk about the day of the crime first. Could you tell us again about what happened on that day? The day that Detective Goodman was murdered? You were participating in a ceremony over at the station, right? I've never cared for ceremonies, but I had to attend that one. Because you were awarded this? Those receiving awards can't exactly skip out on the ceremony. I finished up at the office in the morning and then drove over to the police department. You finished up at the office? Yes, yeah, just odds and ends, clerical stuff. I didn't plan on returning to the office that day. That is, until I was asked to take something back. Take something back? This. Oh yeah! Chief Gant asked you to hold on to that, didn't he? Yes, it was a piece of evidence in a case that was closed half a year ago. He asked me to bring it back to the prosecutor's office. That's the story we heard yesterday. So you came back here to the prosecutor's office because the chief asked you to? That's right. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, I forgot. What were we going to show him? I forgot. Wait, guys, do you remember what we were going to show him? Oh, yeah, the photograph. Yeah, 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 yeah. The picture. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, look at this photograph. This picture was hanging on the wall in Chief Gant's office. Prosecutor... Prosecutor Neil Marshall. He had just started making a name for himself. Looks like this was taken when he received the King of Prosecutors trophy. Speaking of that, there's something that bothers me. Yes? The trophy Mr. Marshall is holding. It's a little different than yours. Yes, you're right. Hmm. Ah, I remember now. Remember what? That was what the of official prosecutor's trophy looked like two years ago. There's a story behind its design. Oh, we're finally going to hear the story about the design? Yes, please give me. A story? Sounds interesting. Would you mind telling it to us? It's simple, really. Contradiction. It's what the award's based on. Oh, I see. That wasn't really a story, but okay. How about this jar? Hmm. Right, please. I'm the prosecutor on this case. You don't expect me to sit here and discuss the case with you over a cup of tea. Why not? Let's have some tea. I'll pass on the tea. Just tell me about the case. Mr. Wright, Miss Edgeworth just told you no in a very stylish manner. Whose side are you on anyway? Maybe if I just show him my best evidence, I can get some reaction out of him. Let's see, what else should we show him? Hmm. Oh, wait, maybe we should show him the trophy. Maybe we should show him the trophy. Maybe he'll tell us more about it. You know, it wouldn't hurt if you put this up somewhere, like on a shelf. That has no meaning for me anymore. What do you mean, anymore? That's who I was last year. What good is it to dwell on the past? He's asking me? Uh, why can't we just 
why can't he just accept it graciously? Actually, something's been troubling me about this shield. Look, do you notice anything different? Different? Yeah, don't you remember? The other shield in the court record? I guess I'd better present this other shield. Wait, but we did that. We did, we showed it in the picture. Oh, okay, maybe not that then. Hmm. Hmm, okay, hold on. Oh, okay, he's got something more to talk about. Okay, we're good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, we have to go to the talk option. Yeah, 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 yeah. This award originates from an ancient Chinese tale. In Chinese, the word contradiction is written with two characters. The first means halberd, and the second means shield. Have you heard of this story? Me? Oh, uh, sure, everyone knows that. Why don't you tell it, though, for Emma's sake? Yeah, I, yeah, I know about that, but you know, Emma, she's stupid, so, like, you tell her. <laughs> Speaking of halberd, did you guys see the Mario, the new Mario trailer where Peach picked up the halberd? I went ee really loud in my living room when that happened. Oh my gosh. That part where she picked up the halberd. I was excited. I'm excited for the new movie, the Mario Brothers movie. Oh, I'm going to have to look after stream. Oh, can we take a break to watch it real quick? Do you guys want to take a little break to watch it real quick? It's good. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Intermission time. Hold on. Intermission time. We're going to watch a trailer. We're going to watch a trailer. Hold on. Let me put it on screen. Let's see. Uh, video. Video kill the radio star. Video kill the radio star. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. Okay, I got the trailer. Let's watch the trailer real quick. Y'all, I'm so hyped for this movie. What quality do I have this set to? Oh, let's turn that up. Yeah, that's some good quality there. Let's a go. I guess he's gonna fight Donkey Kong in one spot here. <laughs> Owie. Not sure if you know who I am, but I'm about to rule the world. Jack Black is doing a game. And I actually don't mind Charlie Day's Luigi in this. Do you think I know every human being with a mustache wearing an identical outfit with a hat with the letter of his first name on it? <laughs> because I don't. Because I don't. No, he pulled his mustache hair. Together we Oh, that part. That part. That part's good. I need to play it again for y'all because it's so good. I love when she picks up the halberd. And I love that they gave Toad a frying pan. <laughs> oh, I got this. No problem. Uh, no. I like that Peach is going with him. I'm not terribly impressed with Peach's voice, but it's fine. No pressure. No pressure. And then they gotta add Mario Kart in there! They added Rainbow Road in the movie! They added Rainbow Road! <laughs> wahoo! <laughs> A very gentle wahoo! <laughs> I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Oh my god! I'm so excited! I can't wait! Anywho. <laughs> Mini diversion for that. But uh, let's turn that off. There we go. Okay, back to game. The hype is off the charts. Yes! Hype. Hype, hype, hype. Cool trailer. Oh my gosh, that part with Peach and the Halberd, though. 
when he said halberd that reminded me of the trailer so that's why i had to rewatch it again with y'all we're gonna need to clear the court for that outburst <laughs> me oh uh sure yeah tell it for emma's sake yeah that's right very well let's hear story oh Long ago in the kingdom of Chu, there was an arms merchant. One day he presented the king with two items. The first was a halberd he claimed could slice through any shield or armor. The second was a shield he claimed could withstand any weapon. Hmm. Wait a minute. Objection! Those claims contradict each other! Uh-oh! Phoenix, you're not in court right now. Calm down. Very perceptive, but then again, you've heard of this story before, right? Anyway, as you mentioned, the very descriptions of these items discredit them both. True. When the king pointed this out, the merchant was left speechless. And thus, the Chinese word for contradiction was born. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, I see, so the chipped shield and the broken knife symbolize... Precisely so. They symbolize the merchant's items. The ancient tale ends with the merchant at a loss for words, but it's in our nature to pursue matters to their conclusion, even if it results in something as ugly as this. Wow, thanks, Mr. Edgeworth. I learned something new today. I learned something new today. Yay! <laughs> That's funny. If that's so, then why were you only given a shield? Mm -hmm. You'll have to ask Chief Gand. Two years ago, he had the halberd part of the award abolished. Oh, did he now? Chief Gand. Nani? Nani? What if the halberd part was the murder weapon? What if that was the murder weapon? Two years ago, the halberd was removed from Gant's behest, giving it its current form. Oh, thank you for the bits, by the way. Thank you for the bits, Jar Jar. Also, hi, Jar Jar. Welcome to stream. How are you doing today? Hello, hello. How are you enjoying? I made a PNG tuber for Jar Jar. Are you enjoying it? I haven't been able to put anything out on it yet, but uh, I hope that you're enjoying that PNG tuber. Okay, so let's see here. Bum, 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 bum. Um, well, we talked to him about everything, so maybe we should move somewhere. Where should we go next? I'm gonna go to the underground parking lot. Oh, here we go. Okay, something's happening here. I don't trust Gant, neither do I. Neither do I. I'm pretty sure he's the killer. Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Would either of you care for a quarter pound of roast beef? Oh, roast beef. Yes, please, thank. Miss Star, I guess she's out of lunches. You certainly are the curious sort, aren't you? Kind of like the first person who sucked a cow's nipple to discover milk. Don't talk about that on... S this is a PG-13 stream, Miss Star. Still, I never thought you'd go digging up that case from two years ago. Everyone in this trial was involved in the SL9 incident. Not only that, but the murder occurred on the very day the evidence was uh, from the case was due for transferal. This can't all be attributed to mere coincidence. I love it. I will de debut it soon. Yay! I'm happy, Jar Jar. Do you have a freaking deli in that basket? She might. Oh, thank you for the bits. Thank you, souls. Um, thanks again. I'm a drawing pixie as Angel Star. As <laughs> so thank you. Aww, you don't have to do that, but that would be <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> Me as Angel Star. Sure, why not? <laughs> Aren't you forgetting something? You know the little scene I happened to witness. Oh, yeah, the killing that you said you witnessed. Sure. The instant Lana stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. No matter how much of the past you dig up, it won't change what I saw. Roast beef is meant to be savored when eaten. Miss Star's hatred toward Lana. It all dates back to two years ago. 
Let's talk, girly. Hey, Dragon Catman! Welcome to stream! Hello, hello! How are you doing today? Hope you're having a great day. I'm gonna take a quick swig of water if you guys want to do your hydrate routines. <coughs> Water. Yay, water. Thank you. Oh, and a posture check. Hold on. Let me do that real quick. Okay. We're good. I'm tired, but thankfully I'm done with work. Yay! Now you can be home and relax with me. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the dark investigation. Joe Dark. That's a name I'll not soon forget. We trailed him for half a year. Oh, the pressure. Still, I don't think I was ever more alive than I was then. Those days were steamier than a bowl of hot gravy. Poor old Jack Marshall, though. Must have been going through hell. You mean because of his brother's death? They were close, those two. After Neil died, something took over Jake. He became obsessed. Seeing Jake like that made her all the more desperate. Her? Lana Skye. My sister? The best of the best were put on, the ca uh, on that SL9 case. Of course, they were led by that legendary duo. Lana and Chief Gant. Okay, after the case closed. That legendary pair was the reason we were able to keep up our investigation. That's why we were so shocked over how it turned out. You mean with the forging of the evidence? Don't get me wrong, Joe Dark got what he deserved. Still, it was obvious the evidence produced in court was being manipulated. Items our team never found would suddenly appear while other items were kept secret. But you don't have proof anything illegal was done. I'm proof enough. Of what happened. Uh. After that case, all of us, save Goodman, were relieved of our duties. Most without even so much as an explanation. Even Lena Sky transferred to pro the prosecutor's office and became chief prosecutor. I wonder if I have enough time to get Chimkin without missing anything. You can run! 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 Go to the kitchen, grab the Chimkin, and come back! And give me some! Save me some! Give me some chimkin. Chimkin. Mm. Chimkin good. I'm beginning to think Gant, Gant is the killer in blackmailing Lana. That's what I've been thinking too, Jar Jar. It's not ready yet. It's barbecue chicken. Ooh, barbecue chimkin. Mm, yummy. Lana always wanted to be a prosecutor. Nothing's quite... Nothing's quite as simple as it appears. Huh? Lena Sky was merely being used as a pawn. That's my take on the matter. She was being used? Legendary duo. Damon Gant and Lena Sky. Gant led the investigation with Lana second in command. They were the best. They saw. <clears throat> They solved all kinds of cases together, didn't they? Damon Gant's magnetism, in particular, was almost unreal. His magnetism? By that I mean his ability to attract evidence. He produced the most incredible evidence in the cases he handled. Oh, did he now? Oh, look at the little Eevee! Oh, cute! <laughs> it popped on my head! That's so cute. Hi, Spo Hi, Shoah. Welcome to stream. How are you doing today? I love her personality eye shift. It's interesting. I think it's interesting. Yeah. Incredible evidence, you mean? Oh, yes. There were rumors about him even back then. No one dared confront him, though. I take it she's talking about forged evidence? Yep. That's what I thought she was talking about. Back then, everyone looked up to Lana. All the detectives wanted to be like her. <gasps> really? Oh, yes. Myself included. I was a fool, really. 
She hated anything crooked and always watched out for the other detectives. That's why she was no, uh, so concerned for Jake. Mr. Marshall. When Jake's brother was murdered, she felt as if she had lost her own brother. If it wasn't for her, I don't think Jake would have ever recovered from this shock. That's what makes it all the more infuriating. Miss Star. That's why I'll never be able to forgive her. Why did she have to turn so cold after that? Mm. Okay, being used. Lana transferred to the prosecutor's office two years ago, didn't she? Doing okay, just waiting on my new charger for my phone. Oh, nice! That proves that Lana is guilty of forged evidence, but murder, I don't think... I don't know, I'm gonna just watch. Yeah, she actually uh, admitted to it last stream. She admitted to forging evidence. You must, you might have missed it. I don't know if you were here or not, but yeah, she did admit to it, which is kind of sad. Yes, thanks to Chief Gant's powerful influence. Chief. That's right. Having solved the SL9 case, his position as chief was secured. There was only one thing left for him to control. And then no one could stand in his way. The prosecutor's office. What? You mean, that's why Lana was transferred? If he could control the chief prosecutor, he could control the prosecutor's office. That must have been his goal all along. Uh... But, but how can he control Lana? Blackmail. I don't know, but one thing's for sure. Ever since that case ended, she's never been the same. It's only logical to conclude. There must have been a reason for her change. At last! I'm finally getting close to the bottom of this ugly mess. <laughs> That's me when I'm finishing a bag of chips. <laughs> at last, I'm almost at the end of this ugly mess. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Star. You listen to me, Rookie. It takes more than just ingredients to create fine cuisine. I hope you turn out to be a better chef than I've been. Okay. Okay, thanks, Miss Star. I don't know if we need to show you anything or not. Let me check here, just to make sure. Okay, I think we could go back to Gumshoe now. I think we could go back to Gumshoe and show him the uh, resignation le uh, letter. Okay, let's see here. I remember the ending now, and it's so sad. Don't tell me! Don't tell me! Don't, don't, don't spoil it! Oh, you're back! You're still here? I gotta make 150 copies of these files. Man, why are they making you do s secretary work? Brewing coffee, copying files. I'm turning into a regular DJ. DJ? You're a DJ as well? If I'm not mistaken, I think he means desk jockey. Oh, desk jockey. Oh. Hmm. Oh, that DJ. Can you see Gum and Gumshoe on a DJ floor just be like, Hey everybody, here's some jams I made. I hope you all like them and you dance real fine. <laughs> There's a DJ Gumshoe! <laughs> I gotta admire your persistency, but no, my answer's still no. Hmm? I'm not letting you into the Chief's office, period. It'd be my neck on the line. That office is the last crime scene of the SL9 incident. I have to take a look in there. There's gotta be something we can do to make the detective change his mind. Oh, I'm sure he'll change his mind once he sees this. Where is it? There it is. Hey, let us in. Look, 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 Edgeworth is gonna resign if you don't let us in. You love Edgeworth, right? We love Edgeworth. You love Edgeworth. Everyone loves Edgeworth. You gotta help us. What's this crumpled up piece of paper? Mm. Mm. Uh. No, 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 no way. Mr. Edgeworth can't be serious. Is he ever not serious? 
I can't believe they've pushed him this far. Mr. Edgeworth really feels responsible. When I first met him, I thought he was as cool as ice, too. But I know different now. He trusted us detectives to provide him with sound evidence. But we just... We betrayed him. Detective! Uh, that's it. I've made up my mind. But... Here, take my ID card. We can't do that if someone found out. They wouldn't let you off the hook with another lost item report. Look at me. It's no secret I'm already out of the loop. No, Gumshoe. Not you too. I ship Gumshoe and Edgeworth. That's a good ship. I could see that ship working out. He's so noble. I love him. I know. Me too. The sweet, sweet himbo. After all, I'm friends with Mr. Edgeworth. Depending on how this case turns out, I may already be as good as terminated. What? So at least let me do this for Mr. Edgeworth's sake! Alright, detective. Thank you. Okay, we got his uh, ID card. Allows access to areas of the PD open to detectives. Okay, cool. Is there anything else we can talk to you about? Just to make sure? Okay, we're good. Thank you, sweet himbo man. I won't forget your sacrifice. Okay, let's go into that chief's office. We're going in. Here, here goes, Mr. Wright. Click. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, oh. We're in! If anyone finds us now... D Detective Gumshoe is a goner. If that happens, I'm counting on you to bail me out. Wait, you came with us? Eek! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I didn't even know you could slap a ghost. <laughs> she slapped him. <laughs> ah, Detective Gumshoe! <laughs> what are you doing sneaking up on us like that? <laughs> I, I, I wasn't sneaking. I was just worried something might go wrong. So I came too. <laughs> if you're here, then what's the point of giving us your ID card? <laughs> Gumshoe's ID crushed and rendered unusable in pocket. We must destroy the evidence. <laughs> I thought you said sweet hippo man. <laughs> I need a hearing aid. <laughs> What's that? Sweet hippo man. <laughs> no, himbo. <laughs> hey, don't do that to my card. Uh, 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 we gotta destroy the evidence. It's for your sake. Uh, please don't be mad. Okay. I hardly ever get a chance to come in here, so I figured I'd have a look around myself. Besides, we're all in this together now. We're all in this together. You really do want to get fired, don't you? You're just gunning for that fire. You want that pink slip, don't ya? Not if we're lucky. Now come on, let's see what we can find out. I've got a bad feeling about this. Okay, can we talk to you? Oh, there's more stuff to talk to you about. That desk on the other side of the room, was that your sister's? Oh, this one. Yes, that's where I, w uh, where I was waiting for Lana. On that day two years ago. Is anyone using it now? No, sir. This is an entirely Chief Gant's office now. He practices a strict policy of preserving the crime scene. That's a strange reason to leave it there. He leaves it as a warning to everyone else. He wants us to always be alert. He told us so himself at the New Year's party. Of course, he was pretty intoxicated at the time. I see. So he gets drunk. <laughs> so ever since Lana left, no one's ever touches. Uh, no one ever touches that desk. 
No one except Chief Gant and the cleaning lady who's in here each morning. Still, two years have passed since that incident. There can't possibly be any clues remaining. Okay, let's talk about Chief Gant. Can I, oh, can I ask you something? Oh, you want to ask us something? Sure. Sure. You only come in here to look around, right? Because the, oh, it's one of the SL9 crime scenes? I mean, that's your only reason for coming here, isn't it? Uh, why do you ask? You don't think. Nah, you wouldn't be. No. Uh, no, there's no way. Never mind. Don't worry about it. Okay, now then, let's look around a bit more. Hey, hold on. Not so fast, buddy. Huh? What is it? When someone tells you don't worry about it, it's supposed to... Uh, you're supposed to stop bothering you, pal. You don't just let it go like that. Oh, you wanted me to ask it about it. Well, if you wanted me to ask about something, maybe you should just tell me the thing you want me to ask about instead of beating around the bush like that. I really don't like it when people do that. Actually, in real life, when people do that to me, I tend to ignore it. When people say, oh, it's nothing, then I'd just be like, okay. <laughs> you don't want to tell me? You don't want to tell me? I'm not going to dig in places I don't want to dig in. You don't want me to dig in? You don't just let it go like that. So sorry, this guy's starting to get on my nerves. Okay, so what's bothering you? You two don't think Chief Gant might be a suspect, do you? What? He's right, Mr. Wright. What do we think of him? Oh, I definitely suspect him. Chief Gant. It's so, it's, so it's finally come to this. What do I think of him? Perhaps it's best I don't divulge my feelings yet. There you go, ignoring me again. No, you made him sad! Oh, no, sad himbo. It's okay, don't be sad. Okay, I'm gonna examine this area. This statue's been bothering me. I feel like this is the real murder weapon right here. This thing right there. This is the real deal, isn't it? This armor and these weapons? Sure is, pal. The chief doesn't care for imitations. First the pipe organ, now this armor. Do you know how many taxpayer dollars must have gone into this room? I want my money back, government! What? You mean we're paying for this? That's it. I'm not paying one cent of my taxes. No, Emma, you'll go to jail! You don't have any taxes to pay. Wait, you're only 16. You don't have any taxes. What are you talking about? You don't even have to file anything right now. Shh. Be careful of what you say. Who knows? The chief may be hiding in this armor as we speak. Oh my gosh. That would be <laughs> that would be funny if he just kind of like took the helmet and off. It's like, I caught you. <laughs> I don't think he'd fit in there. Oh, is it too small for him? Even if he did, he'd never be able to get back out. Cut it out. You guys don't know how scary that guy can be. Oh, I'm sure I do. He, his face is pretty scary. Ooh, a safe! Ooh! Let's break into the safe. This is a safe, isn't it? Safe? The word is ripe with intrigue. Uh, okay, if you say so. It looks like a code needs to be entered into this panel to open it. Hmm. I bet it's 777. A seven-digit number. I think I might just know what it is. Ah, I think it's not a seven-seven-seven. Do you know what it is? I have a hunch. Oh, I know. You want to try my birthday? It's... No, no, no. Don't do anything. I have a better idea. Here goes nothing. Oh, wait. Are we going to fingerprint it? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, never mind. I guess we're going to try it. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Ha, 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 ha. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. Ah! I broke the code. I'm in, boys. Let's go. <laughs> Bingo. Hi, Jimbo. Welcome to stream. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? What number did you enter? Whose birthday was that, pal? 777777. The final ID card number on that record. What? The number of the mysterious executive officer who entered the room that day. 
Don't do anything, hippo man. Himbo. Himbo. Him. Himbo. I see you're back from the shadow realm, Jimbo. <laughs> wow, people in this game are just terrible at password security, right? Yeah. Wait, that means his number is 77. Seven. Yes, exactly. You mean 777777? Seven, 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 seven? That ID number? I think you're one seven shy this time. This can only mean one thing. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. This can only mean one thing. That's Chief Gant's ID number. Say, anyone care to look inside? Yeah, we haven't even looked inside the thing yet. Winter, hi! Hello! Hello, hello! Welcome to stream! Hi, Pixie, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you, Jimbo! Thank you for asking, I'm having fun playing Phoenix right. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty of this case now. I'm pretty sure Gant is behind everything. I knew it! I knew it! You can never be sent to these Shadow Realm. Oh, I don't know! I just got home from work! Welcome home! Welcome home, Winter. Uh, let's see here. Okay, let's talk. Uh, let's see here. Okay, yeah, we're gonna examine some more. Oh, did we look inside the safe? I wanna look inside. Is there any money in there? How much do, uh, does he have stashed away? I need to know for my retirement fund. Look, it's a, uh... It's the missing piece of the jar! The jar! You guys, the jar! A shard from a broken cup. This time all looks familiar. Where have I seen this before? There's something else in here too. Oh. Fingerprints. What's this? It looks like a piece of leather cloth. Oh. This is a handprint, isn't it? Hey, I saw someone wearing a shirt like that once. You think the chief made up that design? <laughs> no. No, Gumshoe, no. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, well, it was just a thought. Is that it? This is all that was in the safe? Apparently so. It's empty now. A piece of cloth with a handprint on it. And a broken shirt from a cup. They look like pieces of evidence. Yeah, but unless you could prove they have something to do with this case. I'm afraid I can't just let you take them. After all, it's my neck on the line here. Great, now I have to prove their relevancy to get them. How are these two items related to the S? I know how they're related. Come on, there's gotta be something we can show the detective. Oh, I know what we can show him. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, but I wanna finish examining the room first. Hold on. Let's look at the big organ. Chief's organ sure is a sight to behold. Occasionally we hear him playing it from the criminal affairs department. That's on the second floor, and this is the 15th floor of the entirely different building. Oh my gosh, that's a loud organ. He's like... And they're like... Go! On the other side of the, the, the building. Charge! <laughs> When a detective screws up, the chief calls them to his office and makes them listen to the organ for hours. What's so bad about that? Music soothes the soul. After that, the detective can't hear anything for days except the ringing in their ears. So it's an instrument of punishment, literally. But aren't the chief's ears affected? Mm, he never listens to anyone anyway. That's besides the point. <laughs> he never listens to anyone anyways. Oh, great. There's that picture. This was taken on the day the two, uh, on that day two years ago. The day Joe Dark ran out of the questioning room and tried to kill Emma. After receiving his award trophy, Mr. Marshall, oh wait, I'm sorry, that's Gumshoe. After receiving his award trophy, Mr. Marshall took a picture here, then went along with Chief Gant to question Dark. I bet he never knew he'd be dead just a few hours later. Gee, you think? <laughs> Don't be mean to him! Be nice to Gumshoe! 
This was Lana's desk. It sure is tidy. Lana's always been a meticulous cleaner. There's not even a, any dust on it. Looks like someone's still keeping it clean. Does Lana ever come back in here? No. Chief Gant must still keep it clean in memory of their partnership. They were the stuff of legends. Or, oh, wait. I'm sorry. They were the stuff legends are made of. Ha ha ha. Does he keep it in memory of her or in memory of the crime? Ooh. Dun dun dun. These shelves are mostly empty. Lena must have cleaned them out when she transferred over to the prosecutor's office. There's a small picture frame on the left shelf. Hey! This is when Lena and I went to that theme park. Hmm. Aww. Sad memory. Sad memory time. Look at that giant window. Makes you want to crash through it and jump outside like an action ho a hero. Uh, this is the 15th floor. You'd probably die. I know, I was just saying. Saying what? Ever since making Detective, I've always dreamed about doing something like that. Note to self, Detective Gumshoe has a lot of dreams. So long as he doesn't go crashing through that window when he gets fired. Don't say that! <laughs> Don't say that, that's not nice! Okay, let's let's show him the uh, picture or the jar. Actually, let's show him the jar. Detective Gumshoe, could you have another look at this jar? I remember when the three of us put that back together. Ah, those were the days. It's kind of early to be nostalgic. Wasn't the jar a piece of evidence from that case? That's right! One of the shards has a Nassau 9 incident sticker on it. Doesn't this ring any bells? You know, that fragment we just found? You mean this one that was on the safe? This one? This on the safe? The one we found in the safe? The, the one that looks kind of like it belongs on the jar? This? This shard? You mean this? Yes, that one! That was in the safe! Hmm... Nah... <laughs> Watch him say, nah! Uh, now that you mention it, it's ringing a lot of bells. Let's see if it fits. Okay, let's do it. Here, let me see that shard. I'll take a crack at this. Go ahead, pal. Show us what a rookie can do. Mr. Wright, here's some glue. If I can piece this together then again, it'll prove Chief Gant was knowingly hiding evidence. Here goes. That's not going to be hard. This isn't going to be hard, please. This ain't gonna be hard at all. Wait, where'd my mouse go? Mouse? Mouse, are you working? Uh-oh. Uh, mouse, please work. Sorry, I got a new mouse and it's kind of funky. Okay, let's see here. Oh, it needs to be spun. How do I rotate it again? Oh yeah, this way. Uh, I think it needs to go this way. Let's try it now. There we go! There! It fixed like a charm. That, of course, means... Chief Gant willingly and knowingly hit a piece of... This jar in his safe! Boom, boom, boom! <gasps> in other words, he can steal the piece of evidence from the SL9 incident. But... Hey, guys, get a load of this! What is it? This piece you just attached. It's different from the others. Uh, uh, it looks like it has a character written on it. There's a reddish line on it. A reddish line? That's blood! Blood! I don't get it. Why would Chief Gant hide this in his safe? Unstable jar. Evidence from the SL9 incident. Final fragment found in Chief Gant's safe. Blood traces. Now, what can we do for the handprint? Hmm. Maybe this one. I can't believe Officer Marshall would do something like that. Oh, wait, we already had this conversation. Oh, we already had this conversation. Yep, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, that wasn't it. 
Hold on. Let me think. Let me think for a second. Oh, wait. What about the fingerprinting set? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Where is it? There it is. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I think we might have to talk so Gumshoe will let us take the evidence. Probably. Detective Gumshoe, I'd like you to have a look at this. Hey, I know what that is, so you want to take some fingerprints? That's a great idea, Detective. Alright, go to town. Sheesh. <laughs> uh... What are you doing? Why are you sticking out your hand like that? Oh, wait. Oh, I'm... Oh, that was Phoenix asking that. What are you doing? Why are you t uh, sticking out your hand like that? Go ahead. Take my fingerprints. Uh... Um, it's not your fingerprints we want to take. Huh? Come on. This isn't the time for jokes. We're... Oh, sorry. Uh, I lost track of where, where I was. We're talking about... We're talking about the cloth that we found in the safe. Oh, ha <laughs> I knew that! The one with the handprint on it, right? Sheesh, where's your sense of humor? Sorry about that, guys. I had to say something real quick to my hubby. Okay, anyways. Okay, Mr. Wright, let's check out- uh, Let's check out this thing for prints. Sprinkle the powder on the cloth. Then once they've been absorbed into the prints, blow the rest away. Yes, I know, we've done this several times now. What are you, my mom? I don't have to be told a million times. Yeah, Emma, you're not my mom. Get out of here. All right, let's get this over with. Bloop. Ariel! Hmm, I gave it my best shot. That kind of result won't be any good for matching prints, will it? But it doesn't look like we'll get a clearer result from this print. Okay, let's try a different finger then. Okay. Uh, this one looks the most clear. Let's try this one. Pew 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 there, it's entirely covered. Is that good enough for you, Emma? Okay. Let's see, who's... Oh, it's not... Ah, my mouse! No, please, mouse, please. Behave. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, so it's not Gantz. That's, that's interesting. Wait, is it Lana's? Mmm, looks kind of like hers. Let's try it. Uh oh. Is it? Oh, good. It's not a match. Okay. Whew. Goodness. No, that doesn't match. It looks like we're out of clues this time. Yeah. But it was inside the chief's. But it was inside the chief's safe. Right. Along with that shard. So that means that we've got to do something with that incident. Wait, but I didn't. I didn't get to look at anybody else. The one that happened right here in this room. She's right. We should check the fingerprints of everyone who was in here that day. The way I see it, there's a higher power. Oh, the way I see it, there's a higher power at work here. You just gotta have faith. Oh, we get to try another one. Okay. Everyone that was in there at the time, huh? I don't know who else could have been in. Oh, wait. Um, let's check. Uh, it's not Jake Marshall's. Is it Goodman's? No. It's not Gumshoes. It's Emma? It's Emma's? 
It's Emma's! Oh no! It's Emma's! <gasps> Emma, what did you do? No, how could this be? What are Emma's fingerprints doing here? Hey, you found a match? Whose fingerprints were they? Ah! Uh, uh -huh, oh, uh, it seems the prints were too old. Uh, they aren't clear enough to get a match. Oh, that's too bad. I thought they'd be Dark's prints. Psst, hey, you! Over here! What's going on here? What are that kid's fingerprints doing inside the chief's safe? That's the blackmail evidence, isn't it? That's the blackmail evidence, isn't it? Don't ask me. Let's just keep this information from Emma for now. Here, maybe you should hold on to this. Yeah, there we go. Got the piece of cloth. Found in Chief Gant's safe. Evidence from something, but what? Bears Emma Sky's prints. Hmm. Do you have anything else to say? Nope, you don't have anything else to say. Okay. Uh, I think we examined everything in here. Let's see. Make sure there's not anything else. Oh, that's right. That's right. I, I don't think we examined his desk. Did we? No, we didn't. Wow, look at the size of Chief Gant's desk. Speaking of that, when we were here earlier... Oh, yeah, he had the paper. Let's blame Officer Meekins. <laughs> Oh, it's you two. Chief Gant! He put that paper he was reading on his desk. I oh, in his desk. Hmm. I wonder what he was reading. This looks like a list of evidence. A list of evidence? In most cases, the list runs twice as long as this, though. Hey, look at the case name! Huh? SL9 incident? I wonder what this is doing here. Hold on, detective. What did you just say? I said, I wonder what... No, about evidence lists. Normally they're twice as long. Edgeworth has the other half. He has half of the evidence list. He has the other half. That's right. I guess there was a, a lot of evidence. A half-sized list of evidence, eh? The list of evidence, it seems too short. Most lists run twice as long. Oh, uh, snap, let's get this half and then combine it with Edgy's half and we'll be good. We'll be good. What would the other half of the list be doing here? Exactly. I knew it. The chief must have be hiding something about that case. It would appear so. Oh, boy, here we go. Well, was I of any help? Oh, yeah, you were lots of help. Good job. Of course. Thanks to your ID card, we were able to get some hard evidence. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Now that's not very kind, is it? In other words, if I wasn't for his ID card, he would have been useless. Isn't that right, you in the coat? Eek! Chief Gant! We didn't think you'd be back here so soon, haha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, we were just cleaning, you know, it's, it's dusty in here, and, uh, oh, somehow the, the, the safe opened up and stuff fell out, and, uh, we put it away for safekeeping for ya. Um, it, 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 it's broken, and, uh, no, mom, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. I'd like to live, please. Fortunately, I'm a man who believes in signs. As I was walking to my meeting, I happened to look out a window and saw a stray duck run into a pole. Just then I thought of a certain detective. Do you mean m me, sir? Now then, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you all to leave. Y yes sir, sorry. Oh, and you in the coat. Me, sir? Drop your ID off on the way out. You won't be needing it anymore. But sir! Now get out! Y y yes sir! No! 
We'll, we'll be out on our way out too then. <laughs> Bye. Wait, you're the one with the spiky hair. Don't go yet. What are you gonna do to me? M -m -m me, sir? I'd like a word with you. But sir, I'm not a licensed scientific investigator yet. You with the spiky hair, you're free to go. Uh-uh, we ain't leaving Emma alone with you. Uh-uh, no sir. She's coming with me. You don't leave- I'm not leaving a minor alone with you, you weirdo. But Mr. Wright! Uh-uh, I ain't leaving her. Wait, you can't make me! They made us leave her there? Are you kidding me? That's messed up! I would never leave her with him. Never. Never a million years. I'd be like, uh-uh. Whatever you have to say to her, you can say in front of me. I'm ta I'm in charge of her. No! He's gonna... He, I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm calling the police. Gump should go back in there and arrest him. Look, pal. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. The chief's office is off limits. But no, you just had to go sneaking in there like that, didn't you? Oh, don't get mad at me. You're the one who volunteered your ID. I thought you said you didn't care anymore if you were fired. Yeah, but if I knew it'd be like this, I never would have said it. Emma needs an adult. Yes, Emma does need an adult. Now that I've seen the evidence Chief Gant was hiding in his office, I think I'm finally starting to get the picture. But why had, what, had she kept eerily silent about it all this time? Anywho, you listening to me? I'm gonna try to smooth things over with the chief again. Later, pal. Please give me my job back, please. After that, I heard from Emma. She said the police wanted to ask her some questions, so she'll be busy for the rest of the day. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I see, so the chief asked Emma to come in for questioning. It's no use thinking about it. Tomorrow's the final day in court. I'm committed to doing everything I can to defend you, which is why I'm here. But I've already told you all I can. What you've told me over these past couple days is absolutely nothing. Not a single useful thing. Really? I believe I did mention something quite important. Something I told you right at the beginning. I said that I was the one who stabbed Detective Goodman. You know, I think I finally figured it out. I know it, who it is that's lurking behind your words. Hmm? Mia did a good job mentoring you. I'm rather jealous. Hmm? It seems Edgeworth was right. Edgeworth? Once you're convinced you know something, no one can persuade you otherwise. Thick-headed is the term he used, I believe. <laughs> oh, edgy boy. That's just his way of saying he loves us. Now's my chance to get her to tell me the rest of the story. Yeah, let's show her the, uh... We're gonna show her the fingerprints. We're gonna show her Emma's fingerprint. Boop! Showing evidence isn't gonna do me any good now. What? Why not? I've gotta get Elena to tell me everything. Mr. Wright, you're evolving by leaps and bounds. I'm starting to see the hunger in your eyes. Okay, so we gotta talk to her, I guess. I, th I was gonna show her the thing, but okay. I have to admit, I was more than a little perplexed at first. You insisted you did it, yet there was no incriminating evidence. That's when it hit me. It's not that you're unwilling to tell the truth. It's that you're incapable of doing so because of a certain individual. Oh no, not the instant noodle budget. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's gonna be on if he doesn't get his job back. Sorry, I had to readjust myself in my chair real quick. <clears throat> okay. What an intriguing notion. A certain individual, you say? So you think I'm protecting this person? Protecting? No, I think afraid of is more like it. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, the person in question may have persuaded you to silence. Hmm. For argument's sake, Mr. Wright, who may I ask is this person you're speaking of? 
The one I am supposedly so frightened of. What is this person's name? It's Gant. We all know it's Gant. You know, I know, everybody knows. It's Gant. Take that! Take that! Well, Miss Sky? Hmm. Mr. Wright, you are addressing the chief prosecutor. Do not forget your place. I take it she's still not ready to spill the beans. My apologies. Could you please tell me a bit more about what you think you know? Damon Gant. We were partners until two years ago. I respected him as a detective. Assuming he is respectable, then tell me something. Why would he try uh, to hide his crimes? His crimes? It's not Emma, no. He's, he's, he's got Emma's fingerprints, but it's not Emma. I don't think so. Not if the pay cuts get him there first. Oh, get a gumshoe there first to the to the ramen budget. Oh no. Both you and Edgeworth will be brought before a board of inquiry for what you did. Specifically hiding and foraging evidence. Of course, there are serious those are serious offenses. Why is it though that Chief Gant's name was never mentioned? Chief Gant? Edgeworth didn't know the truth behind the forgery. The only party who could have possibly tampered with the evidence was... Me. I had access because I was second in command of that investigation. Yes, you, but also one other, Damon Gant. If you intend to accuse Chief Gant, you'll need more than just words. Show me proof that Chief Gant falsified evidence in that case. Okay, sure. Um, what about the jar? Yeah, this proves it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about the jar? I just found this in a safe in the chief's office. This jar piece and this piece of cloth. Do you know what these are? They're pieces of evidence from the SL9 incident. I... The person concealing evidence was none other than Chief Gant himself. Now tell me, why are you taking all the blame for him? Mm. Touché, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, here we go, finally! It's as you surmised. I cannot disobey the chief's orders. Even if it means being found guilty for murder. Why not? Come now, Mr. Wright. You can't possibly expect me to be able to tell you that. Three days ago, I had no choice but to cooperate. In the murder of Detective Goodman. Or perhaps, I should say, follow orders. I bet she was told to just stand in front of the body and look like she was killing him and not actually doing it. Yes, that's more accurate than cooperate. Orders. The sad music. I know, it gets me in the feels every time. Although I can't tell you the details. I can say that I was given an order that day. I need you to dispose of Bruce Goodman's body. You'll find it inside the trunk of Miles Edgeworth's car. Uh! Just as I suspected, despite what everyone believes, you were not the one who murdered Detective Goodman. Correct. Oh, snap! I was trying to take the body out of Edgeworth's car. The trunk's lock was broken, and I discovered the murder weapon while inspecting the body. The murder weapon? You mean Edgeworth's knife? No. When I found the body, this was the knife that was stuck in it. Oh Snap! The knife from the SL9 incident? Serial killer Do Joe Dark's knife? You mean that knife? I couldn't just leave that knife in him. So I took it out and stabbed him with another knife. Oh, okay. Let me just switch that out. <laughs> that would be Edgeworth's knife? That's right. Even though he was already dead, my hands were shaking at the thought of stabbing him. That's why I ended up cutting my hand. And that's the reason for the bandage on your hand, right hand? Yes, it seems that I got blood on the victim's shoes as well. 
And then... She saw me just as I plunged the knife in. Miss Star, huh? Ah, uh, snap! Why did you need to hide Dark's knife so badly? Uh-oh. Tell us why! Restabbed! <laughs> yeah, she just restabbed him. Mm-hmm. Oop. Sorry. Noises in the background. It took a lot of work to finally close the Dark case two years ago. It was over with. I didn't ever want to be o I didn't want it- ugh. I didn't ever want it to be opened again. My intent was to prevent that, by whatever means possible. So, you hid Dark's knife? The weapon used to stab the detective was evidence in the Joe Dark case. If word got out, which it would, the reporters would have a field day with it. Oh boy. So you wrapped the knife in your scarf and hid it. In Edgeworth's exhaust pipe. Right, then I called my sister. To tell her what happened and to ask her to hide the knife that was inside my muffler. You asked Emma? I didn't want anyone on the force to know about this. That would explain why Emma is so confident. About Alana's innocence. Speaking of, oh, speaking of phone calls, I had a bad feeling about one of them that day. A bad feeling? The truth is, after I received those orders from Chief Gant, the first thing I did was make a phone call. A phone call to Patrolman Jake Marshall. Oh! To Marshall? Why on earth would you call him? The lead investigator for the SL9 incident had been murdered. I wanted that fact to be kept hidden, and I needed help. He was the only other person I could trust. Or at least I thought I could trust him at the time. However, it seems that after I spoke to him, he went off a, on an escapade of his own. Oh, you mean... Not wanting the case to die, he decided to take things into his own hands. Yep, he snuck in. He disguised himself as Detective Goodman and tried to steal the evidence. He had already stolen the ID card, but it seems he still hadn't made up his mind to break into the evidence room. Uh-oh. After my phone call, any remaining doubts he had must have disappeared. So your phone call caused the incident in the evidence room? You put him up to it! You got him all- you jostled his jimmies and he's like, ah! <laughs> and then he went off on his little escapade and played sheriff. <laughs> I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. But Lana! You've earned my respect, Mr. Wright, both as a defense attorney and an investigator. Now please, don't pursue this any further in court tomorrow. Tomorrow's trial, there's only one way to drive off Lana's demons. I've got to get to the bottom of everything! Let's go! Detective Goodman's real murderer... And what went down in the chief's office two years ago. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. To be continued. We're gonna keep playing though, don't worry guys. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Save. Time to save. Yes. The final trial starts now. Time for a coffee break. I actually do want to take a quick ba bathroom break. I actually am going to take a quick bathroom. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. So let me put some music on for y'all to listen to. There we go. Okay, I'm going to be right back. I'll be right back.
I'm back. I'm back. Actually, I sat down in my chair wrong again. Hold on. <laughs> okay, now we're good. Hey, guys, I'm back. Okay, let's get going. Final. Yes. Oh, right, selected David. Okay, we're saving. Okay. All right. Final battle. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go. This is the defendant lobby, all right, but there's no defendant. I've been trying to reach Lana all morning. Where could she be? And where's Emma, for that matter? It almost seems as if something's been happening behind the scenes. Oh, it's Edgeworth. Edgeworth! Edgy boy! You're not resigning, are you? Please don't resign. Knowing you, you've already figured it out. Who the owner of the 777777 ID number is, that is. Well, I have a pretty strong hunch. It's Gant. <laughs> Looks like I'm not the only one who's figured it out. You know, the only reason this trial didn't reach a verdict yesterday is because there was still room for doubt regarding this ID record. If that no number does belong to whom you suspect, then no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. True. Not yet. In any event, once all doubt has been removed from that list, I can call for a ruling. Five minutes right, and Chief Prosecutor Sky will be found guilty. But she didn't do it! I figured you'd say as much. That's why I came here to hear what you'd have to say. This is the first time he's ever done something like this. He likes us. Lana's hiding something, and the only way we'll ever know the truth is to draw it out of her. The truth? Everything goes back to the SL9 incident. Don't be stupid. Today is the last day of the trial. We don't have time to reminisce about the past. That depends on you. Hmm? If she's found guilty, you'll lose your only chance to find out what really happened. I'll think about it. See you in court, right? See you in court, edgy boy! This is it. If I'm ever going to find out what Chief Gant has been on her, it's now. Let's go! We're going! I'm ready! I'm ready, I got my law book and my glasses. Let's go! Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lena Skye. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Normally, this is when the prosecution puts forth its opening statement. Hmm? But before that, the police chief has a proposal to make. Uh-oh. Chief Gant. Oh boy, here he is. Morning, folks. How's everyone doing? Uh, uh, hey, Edgy. Edgy, been back to the pool yet? No, I've been drowning enough as it is in my own work. Oh, that's a good one. Don't think I can top that. If you don't mind me asking, Chief, exactly what is this proposal of yours? Lana, that is to say, the defendant, has asked me if she could speak directly to the court. She wants to do what? Having heard what she intends to say, I feel she should be granted her request. Oh my gosh, is he gonna have her take the fall? Don't you do this to me, man. I got all my stuff and I spent time investigating. Don't you try and pull this nonsense. In the end, it should save everyone a lot of time and trouble. Uh-uh, no, 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 she doesn't get to go up there. No, you are bad. No, no, no. What's this all about, defendant? I'd just like to make one simple request and I'll be finished. Well then, what's your request? Your Honor, I'd like you to put an immediate end to this trial. Huh? Nutty? I confess to all charges against me. On February 21st of this year, I murdered Detective Bruce Good- Girl! You better not! You better take that back right now! Uh-uh! Mm, no!
in the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. No, Lana, why? Objection. Objection. I object. You can't. Your Honor, the defendant's claim does not change the defense's plea. In that case, Mr. Wright, I no longer require your services. You can't fire me! But Lana, I don't work for you. I work for justice. You can't fire me. Your Honor, I hereby forfeit my right to an attorney. No! No, you have to drag me out kicking and screaming! The prosecution may lack direct evidence against me, but it has sufficiently proven its case through testimony and circumstantial evidence. I would like you to render your verdict now, if you please. Hmm. Well, the defendant certainly has the right to self-representation. Her request is legally valid, although this is an unprecedented situation. Indeed, it appears there's no further need to continue this trial. No, 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 you undo that banging of the gavel, sir. Even if Mr. Wright may feel otherwise. This can't be happening. Edgeworth, do something! Edgeworth, you gotta back us up! It appears time for the verdict has arrived. This court finds the defendant. No. Objection! Yes! Edgeworth, I love you! Marry me now! <laughs> One moment, your honor. From Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution has not yet proven the defendant guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Any ruling at this stage would certainly be premature. Come now, worthy. Oh wait, no, that's Gant. Come now, worthy. I understand this is a difficult time for you. But why don't you just be a good little boy and keep your mouth shut, hmm? Ho ho ho, <laughs> no no, hmm. I don't think I care for your tone, Chief Gant. Yeah, get him, Edgy boy, get him! <laughs> what? Creating another fabrication to cover up for your past mistakes. Sorry, but I'm no longer the naive little boy you would have me to be. With this sudden confession from the defendant, it's obvious to me some kind of deal was struck behind the scene. Some kind of deal? Hmm, not everyone operates as you do, Worthy. If you like Edgeworth now, you're going to love him even more in the next two installments of the trilogy. Yeah, I'll probably take a break from the game series for a couple months and come back to, for the next game, but uh, I'm looking forward to those, yes. Edgy boy used sass. It was very effective. True. Hmm. Hmm. I thought so. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to change its first witness. Oh, to whom? As its first witness, the prosecution would like to call Miss Emma Skye. I request the court hears her a testimony. Hold it. Mr. Mr. Edgeworth, I am exercising my right to self-representation. I don't think we need to continue. I don't care what you think, Miss Skye. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> the exposure of truth sometimes results in tragedy. However, no matter how tragic the truth may be, it would be an even greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from it. Very well, the court shall grant the prosecution's request. That's okay with you, uh, right, Chief Gant? Worthy, you'll live to regret this, mark my words. Miss Emma Skye, please take the stand. Looks like Edgeworth has decided to take the horse by the reins. He saved us! Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Um, my, my name is Emma. Emma Skye. 
My occupation? I'm Lana's little sister and I want to be a scientific investigator. Two years ago, you encountered the serial killer Joe Dark of the Joe Dark killings. Is that correct? Yes. I'm trying my hardest to forget about that, though. I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to recall those events one more time. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember this trial concerns the murder of Detective Goodman. And in is an incident that was resolved two years ago really all that relevant? Yes, it most certainly is. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, okay then. He sure gave in fast. <laughs> now. Gonna need some ranch dressing to counter all the spicy conversation, true. Please testify about what happened to you two years ago. This is it! The trip to yesteryear has finally begun! It's bound to leave the truth behind this trial. Oh boy, here we go. I was waiting in my sister's office that day. A man came running in and took me hostage. Neil Marshall rescued me. But I'll never forget what I saw in that instant. The man raised up his knife and then he s and he stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. It's a good thing you weren't harmed. I passed out. I don't remember much. Mm-hmm. That's understandable. However, please tell Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, please tell me, Mr. Edgeworth, what does this testimony have to do with Detective Goodman's murder? Mm. That will soon become apparent, Your Honor. You've got to admire him for his courage, considering he has no evidence. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Oh, but I thought I was fired! I guess I'm not fired anymore. Okay, let's go, girly. Okay. Why were you waiting there? Two year go years ago, the defendant was a detective at the police department, correct? Yes, she was second in command under the de deputy chief of police, Gant. My sister, she was the best detective ever. Mm -hmm. Yes, I remember. Deputy Chief Gant and Miss Skye used to be quite the pair. I believe they shared the same office. That's right. I'd always sit at my sister's desk. And dream about playing that organ. I wanted to play it that day too. The police department and the prosecutor's office held a ceremony that day. Lena promised to take me to dinner after she finished her work. Okay. Whoop! All that. A man? Yes, Joe Dark. He was a... a serial killer. Joe Dark was brought in for questioning on the day of that ceremony. We were desperate to get anything on him that would lead to an arrest. When he saw his chance, he fled the room, right? Upon fleeing the room, Dark proceeded to take the elevator. He must have been in a panic because the elevator was going up. Then he ran into Sky and Gant's office. There was a lot of noise coming from outside, so I opened up the door to have a look. That's when I saw him. Oh boy. Neil Marshall rescued you. What was the prosecutor doing there? That day, there were two people present during Dark's questioning. Deputy Chief Damon Gant and Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Almost forgot about Gant. Neil Marshall had just received the King of Prosecutors Award. Young and dedicated, he went straight to the questioning room after the ceremony. I assume that would also be why he was the first to run after Dark. Phoenix, well I guess this is just another case where I'm not getting paid. Yeah, probably. <laughs> another pro bono case, yay! <laughs> when Dark grabbed me, I thought I was as good as dead. And that's when Prosecutor Marshall came running in? I... I don't clearly remember what happened then, but... I'll never forget what I saw in that instant. 
What did you forget? Oh. Can you tell us about that? Mr. Marshall jumped on dark. Just then, the lights went out. The lights? It was just about this time of year. There was a terrible storm going on and lightning struck nearby. So the electricity went out? Wait a minute. If it was pitch dark in that room, you shouldn't have been able to see anything, right? Right, but just then the lightning flashed again outside. And sudden flash left that sudden flash left an unforgettable image in the scene of my mind. I see. I told the detective about what I saw then. The detective? Yes, Detective Goodman. He was in charge of the case. Detective Bruce Goodman, the victim. Hear more. So you spoke with Detective Goodman about this two years ago? Yes, that's what's so scary about this trial. And you told the detective what you saw? Yes, but at the time, the words just wouldn't come out. That's why I drew a picture. A picture? Yes, I think she mentioned that before. I want to see the picture. I bet it looks great. Well, Mr. Wright, have you heard enough? Ask about the picture. This picture the witness drew. I believe it has a very important meaning. Uh, why are you objecting, edgy boy? But the list of evidence I was given two years ago didn't contain a picture. Oh, uh, the picture wasn't listed. Witness, would you mind if we added this statement to your testimony? Y yes, your honor. Let's talk about the picture. I drew a picture of that scene once, but it seems to have been lost. A man raised up his knife and stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. Okay, we need to question you on this. Ah, oh, snap. You drew a picture of the scene you witnessed, right? Yes, I wanted to do everything I could to help the investigation. I can still see it now, whenever I close my eyes. That's strange. I took over the case after Prosecutor Marshall died. Yet I never received any picture. Perhaps the witness is mistaken? But, but I did draw it! I swear, I'm not just imagining it! This picture that Emma drew, that reminds me. I guess I should check the evidence again. Well, anyway, let's continue. The scene that imprinted an image in your mind. Can you please describe it to us? The man... The man raised up his knife and then stabbed Mr. Marshall in the chest. Okay, so she mentioned the picture. Why do I feel like I'm missing something here? Think, 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 think. Don't give me the answer. Remember, guys, don't give me the answer. I'm, I, I, hints are okay, but no answers, okay? Just reminding you guys because this has happened a couple times now. Um, hmm. Let me think here. Thinking. Think, 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 Well, if it if it was evidence, why isn't it on the evidence list? Yeah, let's present the evidence list. Um, I'm not sure where to present it though. Real quick here. Maybe it's supposed to be presented here. Let me see, do a quick save here. I think we should present the evidence list. Okay. Okay, let's present the evidence list here. We'll see if it works. I don't know. What's this? ID card record. No, that's not it. Okay, it's yeah. This is it. Evidence list. Okay, there we go. Objection! Objection! Oh, the music stopped. We're right. Mr. Edgeworth. This little girl put all her heart into drawing that picture. And yet you would insist on denying its existence! Why are we attacking Edgeworth? Gah! Hey, I'm not the bad guy. He was helping us out. Don't get mad at him now. All I'm saying is that the, as the prosecutor for that case, I wasn't handed such a picture. That may be well be, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Behold! This is the evidence list for the SL9 incident? Mm-hmm. Please turn it over, Your Honor. 
turn it over, turn it... Oh, what's this? Oh, there was a drawing on the back? I didn't even look at it. Yes, what is that? Hey, that's it. That's the picture I drew. You can see all the cross hatching I used. Indeed, two men appear to be wrestling here. But you can't tell who they are. What's the meaning of this? What are you doing with that list? Me? Only the prosecutor in charge should have access to that list. Huh? These lists, they're... they're different from each other. What? It would appear, Mr. Edgeworth, that the evidence list you were handed two years ago was incomplete. These two lists fit together to form one. You can see the marks here where they were torn apart from each other. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, it's quite obvious what happened. Two years ago, only half of the evidence in that case would ever reach you. What? What? Nani? No, Pixie, we're right, not wrong. <laughs> order, order. But Miss Sky, why did you draw your picture on the back of such an important list? Because that's what Detective Goodman handed me in the questioning room, Your Honor. Oh, snap. Wait a minute. If this list was torn in half, then that means... Your Honor. Are you alright, Mr. Wright? Your eyes are bulging from your head. <laughs> He's all like bug-eyed and he's like... <laughs> if the evidence list was torn in half, then there might be more of the drawing on the back of Mr. Edgeworth's list. Oh, snap! Mm. Yes, that's quite conceivable, Mr. Edgeworth. It's possible. Let's see. Mm. Mm. Is something wrong? Do you even have to ask? Sorry, Your Honor. <laughs> he quickly composed himself. <clears throat> Sorry, Your Honor. There is indeed something drawn on the back of my list. It's that that thing. Oh, it's the mascot. The mascot did it, you guys. I knew it. The blue badger was guilty all along. He done it. He killed them. He killed them all. And he's gonna kill us too. Oh God! <laughs> I knew, I knew it. The first time I saw him, I saw murder in his eyes. No, the creepy pastas were real. <laughs> the, that, that's that thing. That thing that was dancing in the evidence room. Clearly, this act of vandalism is the work of a certain chief of detectives. I guess he was out of scrap paper. <laughs> Evidence list restored and updated. <laughs> I like the music for the mascot, though. Dee, dee. Dee, dee, dee. He did have a bit of a serial killer glazed look about him. <laughs> Very well, witness. Will you please testify about this picture you drew two years ago? Mm. Huh? Oh, y y yes sir, y your honor. What's wrong with Emma? She seemed to be thinking about something when she was looking at the picture. What if, what if, what if, hear me out, that design was actually Gant wearing like a gesture hat or something when he killed everybody. <laughs> and then it ended up being the blue badger somehow later. <laughs> what if that's it? What if that's it? <laughs> Wouldn't that be wild? We'll see. Her. We'll see her. She's like, I've seen that silhouette somewhere before. Emma's picture. This is the picture I drew two years ago. The flash of lightning was so bright, all I could see was shadows. After that, I must have fainted. This picture shows exactly what I saw in that instant. 
So you didn't draw any defined details. To think a flash of lightning could burn such an image in your mind. Thanks to that, though, she was able to show us exactly what she saw. No, no, no. Well, I don't see any contradictions in there. This clearly shows Joe Dark about to murder Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Does it clearly, though? Are you, are you sure about the word clearly? Those are just silhouettes. Mm. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Okay, let's go. Okay, Emma. Let's go. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Did you draw this picture right after the incident? Um... I think I drew it two or three days later. At first I was in such a state of shock that I couldn't do anything. During that time, the investigation team was reorganized. Detective Goodman was placed in charge, under the direction of Damon Gant and Lenny Sky. Two or three days later, the memory should have still been fresh in her mind. Excuse me, witness. But can you please tell us why this picture is painted all black? The flash of lightning was so bright, all I could see were shadows. Oh, okay, yeah. He was wearing the mascot, mascot costume. <laughs> he, he, he's a freaking furry. That's what it is. That's why he didn't want anybody on the police force to know. He had to kill them all. <laughs> no one can know. <laughs> So at the time you didn't even know who Mr. Marshall was. Uh, who? Oh, no! It was Mr. Marshall who had come to, to your rescue. <laughs> oh whoa! No, mom, yes, no, my secret. <laughs> no, I couldn't see him clearly. The lightning was so bright, and I was knocked to the floor. You were knocked to the floor. Dark had a tight grip on me, but when Mr. Marshall jumped on him. I was knocked away. I turned around, and that's when I the lightning flashed. Poor Emma. I'm just glad she wasn't hurt. Same, same Phoenix. What happened after the lightning flashed? After that, I must have fainted. Okay, let's press her on that. You mean you didn't see the actual murder take place? No, I'm. I'm sorry. Oh, she didn't actually see the knife go in or anything. That flash of lightning only drove off the darkness for a split second. Not only that, but the trauma of the situation understandably caused the witness to faint. Do you really need to torture this girl any further? Hey, don't get mad at me. I'm just doing my job. What? Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. Anyway, this picture... This picture shows exactly what I saw in that instant. Okay, let's pre uh, let's question you on that. Sorry for asking so many times, but are you sure you drew exactly what you saw? Of course, this is the exact scene. It wasn't influenced in any way from your talks with the detectives? Oh. Are you insinuating we somehow manipulated her memory, Mr. Wright? No, 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 of course not. I'd better watch out, or he might find some way to cut my salary. Cut my salary. <laughs> I drew this picture before I heard anything from the detectives, so I don't think anyone's story would have influenced me. Mr. Wright, is there something that bo that's bothering you about this picture? Huh? Oh, well... Hmm. That's strange. She claims this is exactly the scene that was imprinted in her mind. And yet, there's clearly a contradiction here. Uh-oh, I'm gonna save. This seems like a situation where they're gonna ask us what the contradiction is, and I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> Safety save! What's the contradiction? Oh, okay, we gotta present evidence now. Uh, okay, let's see here. Okay, what is the contradiction in the picture? Mmm... Hold on. Bim, 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 bim. Wait, is this the window above? Wait, is this the window above? Hmm. 
What salary, Phoenix? All that pro bono is gonna have you living in ramen budget already, right? Yeah. I feel like this is a win on the window above the two. Hmm. Boop, 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 boop. Let me think about this for a second. Okay, well, let's see. What uh, pieces of evidence have we not used yet? Okay, we, we already made a safety save, so maybe we can... Mm, not the picture, no. I don't know. Let's try this. I don't know. I need Neil's autopsy report. I'm guessing. Your Honor, that statement... Oh, no, the music's still continuing. Nope, that was wrong. That one's wrong. Okay, that was wrong. Oh, that wasn't the right statement? Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. This is the, st this is the statement where he was questioning her, or her a, li a little bit more than the others. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. Hi, Valen. How are you doing, by the way? I forgot to say hi to you. Welcome, welcome. Let's see. Um... Uh... Okay, let's try it on this one. Okay. Oh, music stopped. Okay. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this picture the witness drew contains a blatant contradiction. What? But, but, but I still remember it just like yesterday. Mr. Wright, perhaps it would be faster if you simply pointed out this contradiction for us. What part of this picture contradicts the autopsy report. Uh. Uh, buh. Um. Wasn't he stabbed in the back? Oh, no. Uh. Uh, yeah. Uh. Uh, yeah. I, okay, I'm gonna poke him. I'm gonna poke him. Um, I think it's, uh, this part here. No! <laughs> That's probably not right, is it? Uh oh. That's because the drawing stinks. Oh no. Mm. Mm. Mr. Wright, how could you? The act of making an innocent girl cry should be warranted to death penalty. No. Hold on. Let me load my game. I didn't mean to make her cry. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna save again real quick here. Okay, where do we... Maybe it's the knife we have to point at. Okay. Let's present the autopsy report. Yeah, one knife wound... Di Wait, that's... No, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Sorry. There's two different ones. <laughs> Stabbed in the back. Died from a punctured heart and lung. A knife wound tip was in the wound. Okay. Okay. Wait. The knife doesn't have a tip on it. Is that it, maybe? Hold on. Okay. I think that might be it. I don't think the knife has a tip on it. Okay. Let's go through here. Blah, blah, blah. I still remember it like yesterday. Let me go do another save here. There we go. Now we have it right before the thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's the knife. The knife. It's the knife. It's not pointed. The contradiction, of course, lies here. Take a look at the knife the man is holding. If you look closely, you can see its tip is broken. Mm, even I don't have to look closely to see that, Mr. Wright. But Mr. Wright, look at the evidence. See the murder weapon? Its tip is broken too. If I recall, the tip of the knife was found broken off in the victim's body. It was a con conclusive piece of evidence that proved Joe Dark was the murderer. Mm -mm. 
I'm afraid it's not so simple, Emma. Uh oh. What do you have to say? And where, pray tell, could you possibly see a problem? It's obvious, really. The victim suffered a single stab wound to the back. If the victim was only stabbed once, then the murder weapon should not yet be broken! That's what I thought! That's what I thought! Yup, yup! Oh! What's the meaning of this? Perhaps the knife was broken beforehand. Uh-uh, objection. objection! Sorry, but I'm afraid that's not possible. The tip of the knife was found inside the victim's body. If it was broken beforehand, it couldn't possibly wind up there. That's right, what, and, but what does this mean? Uh-oh, here we go, more objections! The tip of the knife was undeniably discovered within the victim's body. The only possible explanation is the witness's memory is mistaken. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's time for objection round! <laughs> That's why I asked her so many times if she sh was sure she remembered correctly. I believe you were annoyed at that time, but she was sure she remembered correctly. But there's no other way to explain this inconsistency. Objection! Objection! Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. There is another explanation. Have you forgotten already? About a little something called falsified evidence? You're treading on thin ice, right? All I'm saying is that the broken knife tip might be the piece of evidence that was forged. Oh! You can't deny the possibility. No. Ugh. Uh-oh. We got him now, boys. Order, order, order. Are you saying the investigation really was corrupted? Your Honor, please allow me to once again go over the events that took place the day of the murder. The police department and the prosecutor's office were holding a ceremony that day. After receiving the King of Prosecutors Award at the ceremony, Neil Marshall questioned Joe Dark along with Jamin Gant. During his questioning, Joe Dark fled the room. Prosecutor Marshall chased after him and was killed by Dark. It is my belief that somewhere in this story, there is a lie. Hmm. I... I'm not lying. The man really was holding up a broken knife. Hmm. If that's true, then there's no other way around it. This could not have been the actual murder weapon. Hmm. There must have been another broken knife. What are the chances of there being two broken knives? Another broken knife besides Joe Dark's. Could there have been one? Mm -hmm. I think there was one. I think it was the, the, the halberd part that was the broken halberd that was on the uh, on the award. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what it was. And no, there was another one. If the witness is this adamant about the accuracy of what she saw, it can't be just explained away by a, a simple observational error. Mr. Wright! In that instant, Emma really did see a broken knife. Oh, I assume then that you have some information about this other broken knife. If so, please feel free to enlighten us. I'm gonna make another save. <laughs> I'm gonna make another save. Okay. The murder weapon was already uh, broken prior to the murder. There's only one other, uh, only one way. Take a look at this. Here's the real murder weapon. It's the it's gonna be the trophy, isn't it? It's gonna be the trophy. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna I'm going for it. I'm going for it. If anything is broken here, it's you. Huh? I'm sure this must be all very amusing to you, Mr. Wright. But may I remind you that the fa Oh no, that was a penalty! Loading! I was wrong. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, okay, let me see. Let me think here. What do we have? Okay, so that wasn't the real... That wasn't it. Wait, what if it was the jar? 
What if it was the jar? The jar did it! The jar of death! Hmm. No, I need to think about this. Hold on. I mean, oh wait, 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 wait. Remember how I told you guys I saw the little the little pointy thing on the armor and I I thought that was the real weapon? I wonder if we show this picture. I think I think I think oh, I think yeah, the picture. I think the yeah. Okay, hold on. Words are already broken. Prior to the murder. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 let's try this. Let's try this. We'll try this. Okay. The answer lies in the past. Two years in the past. Right here inside this picture. This picture, this is a picture of the cer award ceremony. Ah, oh wait, no, this is Edgeward reading. I'm sorry. This is a picture of the award ceremony. Ah! I mean, the trophy's in there too. Yeah, wait, the trophy has the halberd on it in here. Duh. What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? It's the the broken murder weapon. Notice the award prosecutor Marshall is holding. Ah! It was the trophy. I just didn't present it in the right way, dummy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There it is. That's. Oh wait, no, that's Emma. That's a broken knife. As we earlier concluded, the knife in the drawing was not Joe Dark's knife. That being the case, the knife the witness saw was in all likelihood from this award. Uh... Order, order, order! Neil Marshall was awarded that King of Prosecutors award earlier that day. As an award, he was given this broken shield and knife. When he chased after Joe Dark, he pulled out this knife. Being a prosecutor, he did not carry a pistol. This broken knife was the only weapon he had in the dangerous situation. Ah! Uh, but that, that can't be. Oh, and why not, Mr. Edgeworth? Because if the King of Prosecutors Award knife was the murder weapon, then the murderer and the victim would be reversed. Oh! What do you mean? I mean... The man raising the knife would be- would have been Prosecutor Neil Mar- yeah, Neil Marshall! Oh! Oh! Oh no! <laughs> but the Prosecutor was the one who actually died! That's true! What's going on here? <laughs> Uh, it seems Mr. Wright has been a bit too eager to jump to conclusions again. Hold it! Oh, it's Emma. Wait, I... I remember now. I remember everything. Witness? Mr. Edgeworth. What is it? Could you show me your evidence list again, please? His list? The one with that picture scribbled on the back? Wait... Is that the award? I knew it! Wait, is this the award without the... No, that doesn't make any sense. Does it? Does it? Is it the award? This picture... I'm the one who drew it. What? You drew that? It's... that's right. The list wasn't torn in half at that time I drew this picture. Bum, 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 All this time I've been trying so hard to forget. I must have locked this part away deep inside me. It was the blue badger, you guys. It was the blue badger. He done it. He, 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 she tried to lock it away, but it was the blue badger. Perhaps it would be best if we added this to the witness's testimony. Would you please tell us what you've recalled, Miss Skye? Yes, Your Honor. First the knife mix-up, and now the blue badger? This should be interesting. Oh boy, here we go. When I saw that man raise his knife, I panicked and rushed toward both of them. I think I, I knocked away the man with the knife. 
Just then there was another flash of lightning and that's when I saw the blue badger. He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. Oh boy. <laughs> this is certainly most unusual. Objection! Objection. <laughs> Try impossible. The chief of detectives hadn't even designed him until this year. That would mean he didn't even exist two years ago. Yes, well, the defense may now begin its cross-examination. Stop, please, don't uh, pursue this any further. Uh-oh. Lana? What's the meaning of this? Please remain seated in the defendant's chair. But you can't do this. I've already confessed to the crime. Why can't you just leave it at that? Chief Prosecutor Sky. Hmm? We've already come to this far. It's too wor uh, late to turn back. Silence! The defense will now begin its cross-examination. Bailiff, please detain the defendant. It seems we're finally getting to the core of the matter. Lena's like, no! No, don't drag me out of court! No! <laughs> I'm gonna turn, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit up real quick. Posture check redeem. Whee! I'm also gonna get some chapstick because my lips are chapped. My lips are chapped. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Mm, watermelon flavor. Yay! <laughs> okay. Next case is Emma suing the chief of detectives for copyright infringement. I deserve whatever royalties you got off of my design. <laughs> That's my original OC, Blue Badger. How dare you? I even wrote on there, do not steal. <laughs> But that Dr. Chaps, uh, Dr. Pepper chapstick, man, I wish I could find another one of those again. That was really good stuff. I missed the part about the badger. You did. It's okay. You can watch it in the VOD. I'll post a VOD on YouTube later. Okay, let's press you on everything here. When you say that man, I assume you refer to Joe Dark? Yes, at least I think it was him. You think? All I could really see were shadows. The power outage that immediately preceded the incident is also documented in the prosecutor's office reports. So then you... I panicked to rush towards both of them. She bum-rushed them. Why would you do something so dangerous? Oh, come on, it's Emma we're talking about here. She doesn't think she just YOLOs everything. What else have I, could I have done? He was about to stab Mr. Marshall. She seems convinced that Dark was the one holding the knife. But as we've just theorized, Mr. Marshall was the one holding the knife. Well, I didn't know that at the time. When the Dark guy knocked me down, all I could think was, I've got to help that other person. Okay, knocked away the knife. Okay. What do you mean, you think? It it all happened so fast, and I was in shock. I don't remember everything clearly. What I did, it's all kind of a blur. Miss Sky was almost killed before she was witness to a murder about to take place. With so much happening in a matter of seconds, a little disorientation is only natural. I saw the man about to stab the other person, who I thought was Mr. Marshall. I knew I had to stop the man with the knife. Mm -hmm, no, what you did was very brave, young girl. So then what happened next? Okay, there was another flash of lightning and then that's when I saw the blue badger. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure about that? You sure about that? <laughs> of course, see? I even drew a picture of him here. But... It was the chief of detectives who thought up this hideous beast. And that was just this year. The blue badger didn't exist two years ago. This is all quite vi verifiable. I know it sounds strange. I was surprised too when I saw him at the police department. I had this nagging feeling that I'd seen him before somewhere. 
Now I finally remember! Oh, bother. Just when you thought uh, it, the thing had caused enough commotion. Tell us, where in the room did you see him dancing? He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. His shadow? So you mean you didn't actually see his face with its winning smile and all? That's right, but I still remember it. He had three creepy horns. Objection. It was a demon! <laughs> Blue Badger is a demon. He took over the man's body and called, caused him to kill the other man. Creepy pasta! <laughs> <laughs> this puzzle, I can feel my stomach growing in rage, growling in rage. I wish you luck, please. I hope this doesn't frustrate you too hard. Nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. This is pointless. That thing couldn't have possibly existed two years ago. The witness must be mistaken. Objection! That may well be. But what's important is what caused her to think she saw what she did. Oh. Ooh, and I suppose you have an explanation. So then, it, it, if by all means, please tell what this tell what this shadow really was. Hold on, I'm gonna do a save here because I'm thinking they're gonna ask me what it is. Okay. What was Emma? Uh, what was it Emma saw when the lightning flashed? Who is this blue badger, really? I'm gonna say I just might know. I feel like the whole thing is like turned and that's like the top of the window or something. The blue badger hadn't even been dreamt up when Emma drew this picture, yet she's certain she saw his shadow. Okay, I'm gonna do another save here. <laughs> I'm doing a bunch of saves. I want to make sure I don't mess this up. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, is this the defense's belief that on that fateful day two years ago, there indeed was something that looked similar to the blue badger. Something that is now sitting in this very room. Mr. Wright! In this room? Very well, Mr. Wright. What is it that the witness saw in that instance? Please show us this mysterious blue badger look-alike. Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Was it the jar? You know, the jar kind of looks like it. Let's try the jar. I I don't know. I feel like the jar. I feel like it's the jar. Three horns. See? One, two, three. At the bottom. I don't know. I'm guessing. Let's go. Oh, music stopped. The mysterious blue badger was in fact this. It was the jar. It was the jar. But that's... Er, what exactly is that? I believe it's some sort of jar. But Mr. Wright, that doesn't look anything like the blue badger. Indeed it doesn't, as it stands now. It's just a plain old jar. However, what if we were to change our viewpoint? Our viewpoint? I've got to show them the correct angle to look at this from. Bow, 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 bow. Oh, wait, hold on. Um there yeah 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 yeah. There he is! There's the blue badger boy. Wait, maybe not. Hold on, actually. Wait, no no no, hold on. No no no. No 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 oh no no ah Okay, hold on. Maybe like this, actually? Oh, maybe like that, actually. It looks more like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Um, can I turn it? No, no, that's not right. Uh, oh boy. Hold on. Hold on, I got this. I got this, guys. Don't worry, guys. I got this. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, now we need to turn it just slightly. Can it? No, no, no. Don't turn that way. Oh my gosh, stop it. Stab it! Stab it! Stab it! Oh, now my mouse unplugged. Good job. Bad mouse. Bad. Okay, let's see here. Hold on. Can I start over? Can I can I start over, please? I'd like to start over. Uh, 
Uh, let's just try it from this angle, actually. Mm, no, that doesn't look exactly right. Ah, uh, no. No, stop it! Turn back, please! Okay, there we go. That That's a little bit better. Okay, that's a little bit better. Like... That. Let's try that. This music haunted me for hours. <laughs> okay, try that. This is the right. I've got to make it look more like the badger. Crap. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna load it. I'm gonna load it. Okay. Let's do another save here. Exactly. Exactly here. So we don't have to go through a bunch of dialogue again. There's a very specific angle. What if it's just upside down? I'm probably overthinking it. I'm probably overthinking it. It's probably a, a very specific angle. Okay. Let's save it. Oh, save again here. Save again here. Okay. I bet it's just upside down. Okay. Okay, let me do another save here. This is- this should be the <laughs> furthest point we can load at. Okay. Okay. Show them the correct angle. Yep, yep, okay. I think it's just upside down. I bet if we just do it this way, it'll be fine. Let's try this. May I suggest making a backup save on a different file? There's an instance later in the trial where you, you can soft lock yourself if you save at the wrong time. Um, sure, I'll make another one here in a second. This isn't right. I've got to make it look more like the- Oh, I didn't make- uh, it wasn't good enough. Okay, let's load this. Yes, okay. Okay, hold on. I'll make a backup save. Like you suggested. Okay. Okay. What? Maybe, what am I doing wrong here exactly? Maybe like this? Hold on. Let me look up. Maybe look look, look at my guide here real quick. Let me look at my guide real quick here. Okay, yeah. I knew it. I, I That was the angle. Okay. I knew it. I did the wrong angle. My bad. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. I'm going to get it right. There's a very specific angle, apparently. Apparently, there's a very specific angle. Uh, let's see. Okay. Give me a moment here. Okay. This is the best part of the game, right guys? Best part of the game right here. Yep, 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 yep. Let's see here. Uh do 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 Oh, maybe too far. Yeah, right about there. And then it just needs to turn just slightly to the left. Okay, that should be it, I think. Maybe a little bit more down, actually. Hold on. I think this works. I think this works. Let's try it. Here goes nothing. No, what? It's so specific. Oh my gosh. Please stand by. Di technical difficulties. Oh my gosh, that's so specific. What the heck? Why is it so specific? That's dumb. Okay. 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 Let's see here. 
And then let's rotate this. This way. Wait, no. Hold on. Okay. Oh, ah. No! So close. So close and yet so far. Okay. Is that it? Uh, maybe that's it. I think this is it. I think this is it. Oh, I hope this is right. <laughs> maybe it needs to be a little bit down. No, 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 that was perfect. That was perfect. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, 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 okay. Maybe a little to the left, though. No, 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 I was wrong, I was wrong. Okay, 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 let's try this. Please be right. Please. No, why? 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 It was right. It was. Oh my gosh. Okay. I have a picture of what it's exactly supposed to look like because it's being so stupid. I have like the exact picture of what it's supposed to look like. Let me see here. Hold on. Let me get it a little bit better here. Okay. All right. Boom. Okay. And then... Let me, oh, wait, no. Oops. Yeah, I got I got the exact pic... I got the exact... Don't worry, guys. I got the exact picture of what it's supposed to look like because it's so specific. It's so darn specific. Of course, it would be stupid like this. Okay, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Okay, and then meep 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 A little bit down, a little bit down. Okay, okay, I think this is the exact spot. Wait, maybe a little bit lower actually. Come on, work with me here. I think this is it, I think this is it. Let's go, let's try it. Please work. No, why? Oh my gosh. Why? 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 Why me? This is so stupid. It shouldn't have that much way for, like, being wrong. It should not have that much wiggle room to be wrong. They, they, how could they do this to us? Okay. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Okay, let's see here. This is right. Maybe a little bit further up, actually. Yeah, it's a little bit further up, actually. Yeah, this is right. Okay, this is right. Okay. Please work. Why? No. <laughs> ah. I hate this. I hate the blue badger now. I don't like it anymore. I liked it before. I just found out the Japanese voice actor for Mario is is, is Lights Yagami's VA from Death Note. Oh, ignore my phone. Sorry about that. That's 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 fun. That's gonna be fun. Okay, let's go again, Mr. Jar. You are gonna be the death of me, aren't you? Okay, I think this is it. Okay, let's try it again. Let's go again. I got it! I got it! I got the badger! Guys, I got the badger! I got the badger! I got it! I got it! I got it! You guys, I did it! I beat! I did it! I admit, I did it. I got the badger. 
I did it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> no one can possibly deny this jar's resemblance to the blue badger. The puzzle was a pain. All the badger phrase. Oh no. <laughs> Order, order! The defense has proven its claim. The mysterious blue badger witnessed on the day of the crime was actually this. Objection! Uh, <laughs> Although we en all enjoyed Mr. Wright's dramatic performance, one question remains. What's your point? <laughs> What's your point? What do you mean? So that badger thing was actually just a jar. That doesn't change anything. Objection! Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that's where you're wrong, Mr. Edgeworth. You see, this changes everything. Indeed. Very well, then. Please tell us. What's different now that we know the witness saw this jar? Uh, let me do another save here. And another save over this one here. There we go, okay, cool. Um, okay, so. Now that we saw this location, no, no, it's not the location. The murder weapon? I feel like it's the murder weapon is different. I think, I think, um, I think it's the murder weapon. Allow me to take these in turn. At the moment of the murder, the witness saw this jar. At the very specific angle, I might add, Mr. Wright. Yes, while well, knowing this, where she, uh, where could she have seen this jar? Where? The location of the jar is shown in a picture taken on the day of the crime. On a shelf in the office of Damon Gant. Objection! Uh. But the body was found lying near Lana Sky's desk. The witness testified so herself. Objection. Yep. Yes, and these two facts that and it is these two facts that reveal what actually transpired. You see, the struggle between Dark and Marshall did not take place in Lana Sky's office. It happened on the other side of the room in Chief Gant's office. Ooh! Objection. Are you employing the murderer moved the victim's body? From Damon Gant's office to Lana Skye's office? Yes. Why would he do that? There's no reason. He was trying to frame Lana. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Hmm? If there wasn't a reason, he wouldn't have gone through the trouble. The only logical conclusion is that there was a reason. Do you know what the reason was, Mr. Wright? I'm gonna do another save. I'm gonna do another save. <laughs> this is getting intense. What was the reason? To frame Lana, probably. I finally figured it out. So this is why Lana tried to stop the trial. It's too late to quit now, though. Please recall the witness's testimony. She said she knocked away the man who was holding up the knife. In the next instance, the jar was hit and he th uh, flew through the air. Now tell me, what could have sent the jar flying? That would have to have been the impact the man made when he was knocked into the wall. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may draw your attention to the picture once more. Look at this photograph. Every time I see it makes me laugh. If the man was knocked into the direction of the shelf the jar was sitting on. Oops, what am I doing? No, no, go back. What are you doing? What would he have hit? Uh, ah! The suit of armor holding a very sharp and dangerous looking sword. He fell back into the sword. I knew it. I knew it. It was the sword. Yes. And since the man who was knocked into the armor was carrying a broken knife, he would have had to have been Neil Marshall wielding the Chief of Prosecutor's trophy. No, Mr. Wright, you can't be thinking. 
Yes. There is another possibility of what actually transpired into that room. Wait. No. No. Oh, no. Emma accidentally killed a man. Oh, no. Oh, no. It was an accident. Of course, the perpet perpetrator would have no idea, but nevertheless... I... I don't know if I can go through with this. Mr. Wright, what's the matter? If events took place as the defense theorizes, then the outcome is obvious. In that moment, assuming the man Emma Sky knocked away was actually Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Oh no... No! Oh no! She done murdered a man! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no, you didn't! Didn't! No, no, you didn't! No, no, you didn't! You didn't! No, no, no! You don't know, Emma! You mean. Mr. Marshall died because of me? No. No! Fud. Bonbon! Bonbon, not now! We just found out the who the killer is! Down she goes. I never imagined her testimony would lead to this. So, it was the witness who took the victim's knife. Knife, life, knife. <laughs> and then proved so with her own testimony. This is unprecedented. An accidental killing is just manslaughter. She'll be fine. Maybe. What? What are you saying? Bonbon, Bonbon, I'm streaming. Bonbon, what do you want? Bonbon. Hold on, guys. My bunny, my bunny Bonbon is near my feet and he wants a treat. Okay, Bonbon, I'm streaming right now. Bonbon. Bonbon. Here you go, Bonbon, okay. He, he comes to confess the truth theme. <laughs> what? What are you saying? I'm sorry, Miss Sky, but given the circumstances... Joe Dar uh, Dark murdered Prosecutor Marshall. How can you think it was Emma? How dare you try to pin the crime on her? Imagine that coming from you. If you recall, it was you who admitted to forging evidence two years ago. The reason you moved Prosecutor Marshall's body was to keep anyone else from finding out about what Emma did, wasn't it? I assure you, Mr. Edgeworth, I have no idea what you're talking about. If you hope to have any be anyone believe your insane in allegations, I'm afraid you're going to have to have proof. Tell me. Do you have any conclusive evidence that proves my sister killed Neil Marshall? E evidence? I'm willing to bet you don't. Yes, well, it certainly would be difficult to prove this without evidence. If we don't have evidence, then we'll have to rely on testimony. I'm afraid that won't work in this case. Both parties involved in the incident are dead. We certainly can't get dead people to dis testify. Are you sure? I don't know. We've had a parrot on the stand before. Maybe we can ha find a necromancer and they can be like, Ooh. Hey, Captain Lila, welcome. You're right at the, you arrived right at the end of the trial. We're near the end of the trial. We just found out that Emma accidentally killed a man. Give Maya a call. <laughs> This has all been a wild goose chase from the beginning. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Touché, Miss Sky. Of course, that only leaves us with one possibility. Huh? You mean there's still another possibility? What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? Accidental murder, huh? Yup. I mean the possibility that the victim has left us a message. 
For better or for worse, Mr. Marshall did not die instantly. Oh, that's why there's blood on the jar. He may left a mark. He may have left behind the name of the person who took his life. In other, in one manner or another. That's, that's impossible. Well, Mr. Wright, this is the only possibility left to you. A message from the deceased. Does a such a message exist? Let me do another save. Save. Save there. And save there. Okay, cool. I've got to think back to the court record. The real murderer's name and the victim may have been left behind. Oh. Um, I think it's in the evidence. I think it's on the jar. I don't know. It's in the evidence. This message from the deceased is already in our possession. Mr. Wright, will you stop at nothing to prove my sister a murderer? Yes, we're gonna put Emma in the pokey. Do not be mistaken, Miss Sky. <laughs> Our purpose is not to accuse Emma of any crime. There is only one thing we seek. The truth. No matter how painful it may be. Oh boy. Well, she's she's only a minor and it's just manslaughter. They might not give her more than maybe like 10 years, maybe? But she definitely won't be able to become a scientific investigator after that. She'll have a record. So that kind of destroys her whole dreams. Now then, Mr. Wright. Please show us the piece of evidence. Oh, there goes my mouse again. Hold on, let me see. Wait, no, I wanted to save first. Gosh darn it. Oh. Mouse, please. Mouse, stop it. Hold on, my mouse is being weird, guys. Oh, that's why. Oh, it was hung up on something and it kept getting plug unplugged. It's cool, I got it. I fixed it up. Wait, no, no, wait, wait, no. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Jeez. Show us the piece of evidence that conveys a message from the deceased. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fairly certain it's the jar again, but let's make sure here. I'll think about it for a sec. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the jar. Pretty sure it's the jar. Clam self defense and completely accident. Claim self defense and completely accidental. No intent to unalive. Self defense is a thing. Yeah, but she bum rushed him. He was attacking the other guy. So I don't know if self defense is something you can claim here. I'm pretty sure this is manslaughter because she didn't mean to. But anywho, it might not be her after all, but we'll see. This is the message left by the deceased. Oh, music start. This is that blue badger from before, right? Oh, is he going to just speak the killer's name? If that thing could, I'm sure it would. Looks like everyone's forgotten this is just a jar. A message was left here, on the surface of this jar. What do you mean? If you look closely, you can see a faint trail of blood on this jar. It looks like someone wiped the blood away. Hmm. Yes, but notice. For some reason, the blood on some of the fragments was not wiped away. Yes, there's a line there, a drawn in blood. So what you're saying, oh, so what you're saying is that these dots were once lines. Prosecutor Marshall did not die instantly. He used the few precious moments left to him to leave behind a message. One that someone apparently wiped away. But blood must have seeped into the jar where the lines changed directions. Tricky situation to be honest because all crimes committed by a minor are usually locked away once they turn 18, so legally they can't use it against her in the future unless she gets tried as an adult. Yeah, she's like 16, so like, in any case, whatever she's accused with, she's gonna get a lot less time. 
because uh, when you're on t under 18, they d there's a lot of leeway for minors in the law. But yeah. Yeah. Precisely so. All we need to do is connect these points, and the victim's message will become apparent. No. Mr. Wright, what kind of message did the victim leave for us? Your Honor, I believe these bloodstains will reveal all, uh, to us the answer. Hold on, let me go make two different saves here. I'm gonna make two different saves here real quick. Okay. I've got to connect these dots to make letters. I bet it says Emma! There's only one thing the victim would have written given the circumstances. His murderer's name. Boop! Oh, you booped the top of the screen. Yeah, that makes Emma. Yeah, I see it. So, let's see here. Um. Beep. Boop. Beep. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, hold on. Ah! Click. 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 Uh, drag it over here. Thank you. Okay, then click here, there, and then here, and then there, and then here, and then there, and then there, and then here, and then here, and there. Yay! I know my alphabet! That boop was way off! <laughs> okay. Yep, it says Emma. Oh, wait, we gotta connect this part too. Excuse me. Uh, oh, wait. Do I need to connect this part? Probably, right? Oh, guess not. I think Gumshoe is the murderer. Hmm. Maybe. One day. No, I don't think we're supposed to connect that part. Okay, it's fine. Sorry, Emma. This is what you get for talking down to me the whole time we were investigating. <laughs> She's probably gonna be okay, actually, but... It's a defense attorney's duty to prove their client's innocence. That's why I, all, all I've been thinking about is saving Lana. After all my efforts, I never thought it would turn out to, like this. Emma. Emma. Red rum. Red rum. Emma. <laughs> so, this is the final message Prosecutor Marshall left it behind. It was Dio. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Sure, 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 sure. It was me, Dio. And then he pops out of the wall. <laughs> also, welcome to the stream, Among Us. Welcome, welcome. Of all people, she may not have meant it, but in the end, the one who took the victim's life was Emma Sky. Bum, bum. Bum. See, Worthy, can't say I didn't warn you. Oh no, here to rub our faces in it, huh? Chief Gant, do you understand the implications of what you've done? What, what are you talking about? Two years ago, Joe Dark was sentenced to death. He was convicted because of his final murder. I believe you were the prosecutor in this case, were you not? Ah. Yes, Worthy. Because of you, an innocent man was sentenced to death. Not only that, but you used forged evidence to ensure his conviction. G -g 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 Objection! Objection. But Joe Dark really was a serial murderer. That's undeniable. Oh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're right. I'm afraid that's not important. It is important! Didn't you know we aren't defenders of justice? You're not? What? We're merely keepers of the law. Sentencing a man to death is no light manner. Even if there wasn't any cover-up or evidence for Archie. Ultimately, the responsibility falls on the prosecutor in charge. <laughs> Despite what anyone might say, this fact cannot be denied. Dang it, Dio. 
It always circles back to him. I think that soft lock part is coming up. How can he just stand there like it wasn't his fault? Order, 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 order. You guys tell me when the soft lock part is coming up. Oh, oh we, maybe I should save here then. I'm going to save here then. I'm going to save here then if the soft lock part is coming up. I'm going to make a save here. Ooh, that was loud. The gavel's pounding fell on deaf ears. Unable to settle the crowd, the judge declared a recess. Where this trial is headed, no one knows. Oh, snap. To be continued. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yep, save my progress. Okay, let's make two saves. Okay. Jingle. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. We're getting closer to the end, guys. Sorry, Edgeworth. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. <laughs> don't worry. Oh, don't worry about it. This is my problem, not yours. Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. <laughs> come shoot, you always come in at the most, like, worst time. You have bad timing, my dude. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh -huh. uh, hi, Gumshoe. Hmm. Oh, I guess I am. I'll be back later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, man. I wonder what's up with them. Wait, Detective Gumshoe, what was it? You've got a lot of nerve, pal, making a detective run around all while on duty. And to top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. I take it Lana's having you run errands. Oh, and oh, sorry, I'm Phoenix. I take it Lana's having you run errands again. Let me tell you, this is the last time, pal. Here, she asked me to give this to you if there was a break in today's trial. Evidence law for babies. Oh, look at the little chick chicken on the front. Cute. Evidence law? Edgeworth was talking about this just the other day. You must know the two rules of evidence law. Rule number one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Is that right, Mr. Wright? It's... It seems so. You could at least study some evidence law, really. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna study it now. The chief prosecutor also wanted me to give you the, a message. A message? She said, if you're planning to take him on, you're going to need this book. Him? Gant. She's talking about Gant. I guess I'll need to give this book a thorough read. Evidence law securely slipped into pocket. Explains the two rules of evidence law. Doesn't look like that a book will do you any good now, though. Let me take a, take a look at the book. Let's look at the book. Oh, it's a book. Let's see. Rules for submitting evidence. Rule number one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. Uh, rule two, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. That's the, that's the two rules. That's it. Okay. All that's left now is the chief prosecutor's sentence. That's where you're wrong, detective. Huh? Haven't you figured it out yet? Why I'm still sitting uh, in on that why I'm still sitting in on that prosecutor's seat. Despite all these allegations being thrown at me. Mr. Edgeworth. The real trial today hasn't begun yet. What? What else is there left to do? Your credibility's been all but ruined with this forged evidence you were unaware of. Emma Sky found out she unwittingly caused a man's death. And now, you're telling me you want to do more? You've got to be kidding me, pal. You're missing the point, detective. Tread lightly now. This is a soft look coming. Okay, I will. Should I save here? Should I, Is it okay to save here? I'm going to save here. I'm going to do a quick save here. Yeah, once you get back into the trial, that's it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got it. Lana didn't murder Detective Goodman. 
Mm. She merely stuck a knife into his dead body. That means the real killer is still out there. What? And we're going to expose him. No matter what it takes. This case has hurt too many people. It's time to bring it to an end. We're going in now. We're going in. No more saves after this. No more saves. I don't want to get soft locked. Let's go. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. Mr. Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. The Inquiry Committee is planning to impose harsh penalties for your actions. Thank you for the news, Your Honor. <laughs> yes, well, uh, um. <laughs> yeah, thanks for telling me. Thanks, I really appreciate that. <laughs> Normally, this is where the prosecution calls forth a witness. But, er, uh, um, uh, um. This isn't easy to say. You see, there is some concern that you, Mr. Edgeworth, may have, a uh, struck a bargain. Hmm? You think I may have manipulated the witness? I didn't say that. I was just thinking it. It's just, you, you see, everyone has been talking and... Hmm, very well, Your Honor. I have a solution. A solution? That being the case, the prosecution will allow the defense to call forth all further witnesses. What? But there's no precedent for what you're proposing. Undeniably, this is an unusual arrangement, but a very effective one. It would prove that I haven't struck any deals with the witnesses. Hmm, well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? Hmm, unbelievable. Edgeworth has found a way to continue the trial. Very well. The defense accepts the prosecution's proposal. Feel free to save in these next parts, just don't save on the backup file. Oh, okay. Gotcha, okay. Yeah, the backup file. We'll leave the backup file alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good point, Jave man. I appreciate you rem reminding me about that. Okay. Then it's settled. The, uh, defense may now call forth the next witness. Mr. Wright? Hmm. Who do we call? You do realize this is your last chance. If you call the wrong witness, this trial is as good as over. The defense calls... Oh boy, here we go. Let's make a save on our first save here, real quick. We'll make a save on this, just the first one, not the second one. Okay, who are we calling? The time's finally come to bring out the real murderer. Of course it's Gant. Please, there's not even a way a doubt in my mind it's him. Come on, Gant, get up here. Get up on here, get Gant. Damon Gant. The defense calls G Damon Gant to the stand. D -d Damon Gant? What does he have to do with anything? Hmm? As the defendant's partner two years ago, Mr. Gant has first-hand knowledge of the crime. I feel we should all hear what he has to say about it. Hmm. As luck would have it, he should still be in the courthouse. He would also be the least likely to have been manipulated by me in any way. Wouldn't you agree, Your Honor? Hmm. True. All right, bailiff. Please explain. Court Mr. Gant to the stand. Here he is. Here's the dum dum. Witness, please state your name and occupation. What is this? Some kind of practical joke? I was just on my way to lunch. Your name and occupation, sir. Worthy, are you sure you want to do this? Your name and occupation. <laughs> so, you want to play hardball, eh? Please, Mr. Gant. Mm, Alright, fine. <laughs> My name is Damon Gant. I'm the acting chief of police. Now then, Chief Gant, the court requests to hear your testimony. His beard looks like a seashell. Oh, it does! 
I wonder if that's why he has this swimming thing going on. <laughs> I didn't notice that. Good, good, uh, good notice of detail there. <laughs> oh, Raito, what's with the grim face? First, let's clear up this SL9 incident. Oh, you mean that time when Lana's sister murdered that prosecutor? Personally, I think it's been made pretty clear already. Mm -mm. There are still some things unaccounted for. Oh, like what? Like the role you played in all of this. Hmm? Son, either you're very brave or very foolish. Eh? You are aware, of course, that a police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapons? Sure, take my testimony, for example. I don't have to give it if I don't want to. What? Is that true? I'm afraid so. The chief of police has the right to refuse to testify. What? That's bullcrap! Of course, such an action carries with it certain risks. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not here to hinder your trial. Just remember, if this turns out to be a big waste of time, don't say I didn't warn you. Very well, the witness may now begin his testimony. But why though, right? Yeah. Let's go. As I recall, Neil and I were questioning him that day. To make a long story short, we slipped up. That power outage didn't help either. When I went to my office, I found Lana there. Apparently, she had already arranged the crime scene. As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Uh huh, okay, 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 sure, sure, sure. Hmm, is that when Dark was arrested? Him? He was lying on the floor unconscious. Meh. He dead. When Emma sent Neil flying, it seems Dark bumped his head. Mm, I see. Everything seems pretty clear-cut. If the police chief has the right to refuse to testify, then I'd better hit him hard and fast. Hit him hard and fast! Fly, uh, fly, fly like a bumblebee, sting like... Wait, no. Fly like... Wait, no. Fly like a moth, sting like a bee, something like that. Yeah, butterfly, yeah. Yeah, that thing. Okay, who- okay. Let's press you on everything. We're gonna press you on everything. As I recall, a ceremony was held at the police department that day. Yes, that's right. I guess you could say I'm a workaholic. After winning his award, Neil was all fired up too. That's probably what spooked Dark and made him run away like that. Was the defendant Lana Sky also present in the room? I don't quite remember. At the very least, she wasn't there when Dark ran for it. Okay, we question you on this. Boop. I gotta sit up in my chair real quick. Posture redeem time. Whee! And maybe a hydrate as well. Okay, so the two of you ran immediately after him, right? That's right, but Dark made it into the elevator first. So Neil and I split up. He went upstairs and I went downstairs, I guess you could say. He got lucky. What's this about a power outage? Oh, that. The elevator stopped all of a sudden and I got the shock of my life. Well, probably not as shocked as Neil was when the knife went through his heart, though. Ha ha ha! I like dank jokes. I'm a bad person. That's not funny. Yeah, no, it's not funny. It's not funny. When I went to my office, I found Lena there. Could you tell us what you saw? It was a shocking sight. Neil and that serial killer were lying in a heap on the floor, all tangled together. 
Dark was also lying collapsed. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Dark was also lying collapsed on the floor? Yes, apparently he had knocked his head and was knocked out. Next to them were those two poor girls. Lana and Emma. Lana was, Lana was cradling Emma in her arms. Looking back at it now, she must have already known what her sister had done. Hm? Apparently she had already arranged the crime scene. How can you know that? Yeah, how can you know that? Because of the victim's body. It had already been moved. So that me uh, so that means you found the body near Lana's desk. That's right. I think you said earlier it was my suit of armor that really stabbed the prosecutor. Yes. Hmm. Anyway, as you can see, I had nothing to do with this forgery. Wait, wrong button. So you're saying that the forgery had already taken place by the time you arrived at the office. That's exactly what I'm saying. I can understand how Lana must have felt, but moving a body and hiding evidence are inexcusable no matter what the circumstances. Is that how I really went down? Staring at the witness won't do you any good, Mr. Wright. Huh? If you're going to stare at anything, you'd better stare at me. No, I'm just kidding. You'd be better off staring at the court record. Worthy, worthy, always the smooth talker. But which piece of evidence ties Gant to the forgery? Lena did admit to forging evidence, but that can't be the whole truth. Somehow I've got to link Gant to the incident. Okay, so what do evidence do we have against Gant? I mean, we have the stuff we found in the safe. The thing that said Emma and the hand handprint. We're fighting the final boss, I know. Let's see here. Hmm. I mean, the jar was found in his safe, so I feel like the jar, we should go with the jar first. Oh, you can look at me. If you ever want to stare at something, stare at me. Yeah, that's what he wanted to say. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, backspace. Yeah, okay. Um... So I think it's gonna be on his thing where he says I had nothing to do with this forgery because that's not true at all because he put the stuff in his Yeah, he put the stuff in his safe. He put the stuff in the safe, so he did have something to do with it. Let's go with this jar here. Okay, we're gonna try this. Let me do a oh wait, actually let me do a quick I'm just gonna save on this here. I'm gonna save here. Just on this, not my backup save. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and present the jar on this statement here. So many pages of evidence, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh! It stopped! The music stopped! We done it! You claim you had nothing to do with the forgery. Mm -hmm. But I'm afraid that is a claim that you cannot back up. Explain yourself. Several pieces of evidence were found in your office. Take this jar, for example. That's the blue badger you showed us earlier. A piece of this jar was discovered in your safe. Hmm. Not only that, but the evidence list I presented earlier was actually found inside your desk. It was found where? You see, Chief Gant, these articles of evidence uncovered in your office are both concrete proof that you also played a part in the illegal investigation! Oh! 
Chief Gant, what's the meaning of this? Oh, here's a defense attorney who may even worth rival worthy. So you admit to it then? That you were involved in the forgery? Who, me? Or do you mean you? Me? What would I have anything to do with that? Well, you were the one who snuck into my office when you found this evidence. Oh no! Huh? Prosecutors aren't the only ones incapable of forging evidence, you know. Defense attorneys can do so too. Isn't that right, Raito? Uh-oh. Edgeworth, back us up! However, Detective Gumshoe was present during the investigation. Worthy, my boy. Worthy, my boy. Not even detectives are exempt from the law. Rest assured, Dick will receive his due punishment. Wha what? If Detective Gumshoe's salary drops any further, he'll end up paying for to work. He's in ramen territory now! Yes, well, in light of the detective's presence, please give us your testimony regarding these pieces of evidence found in your office and their relation to the forgery that took place at the crime scene. My, my. Kids these days no longer know how to put two and two together. Okay, Boomer, go ahead and do it for us then. Let's see, what is it now? A jar fragment and a list? For all I know, you could have planted them in my office. Anyway, you can't prove when those pieces of evidence were discovered. If they were found after Dark was convicted, then they're worthless. There's no reason I'd participate in a forgery. Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. Lies! Liar! Hmm, Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor? When investigating the scene, crime scene, <laughs> you should have been more careful to observe protocol. You do understand that I am the chief of police, right? There will be consequences. Oh. Haha. <laughs> oh. Great. <laughs> Indeed, I believe I will press charges so you won't make the same mistake again. My apologies, chief, but would you mind waiting until tomorrow for that? Today is, well, you know. All right, Aji. In return, though. I know, I know. That place, right? Huh? What are these guys? Telepathic? They used to date. <laughs> That's my can head cannon. <laughs> it's not the judge's fault. He's, he's a himbo. <laughs> what? What? I can't ship people if I want to? <laughs> Okay, you could have planted them in my office. Hold it. Hold it! I'd appreciate it if you'd stop making those ridiculous allegations. Yes, you do have a point. You wouldn't have the guts to do something like that. What? I'll have you know, back in the day I once broke into a cattle ranch and tipped- <gasps> You tipped cows?! Phoenix! But Mr. Wright, what are you saying? Anyway, you can't prove you didn't carry in the evidence, can you? If you have proof to the contrary, you're going to need it later. Later? What are you talking about? What else? I'm talking about when Rido's prints are found. What? You know what? Yes, if they're found inside my safe, they would prove his investigation was illegal. Oh, grr, I never faced anyone as slimy as this guy. True. Even Red Blue Guy was not as slimy as this man. You can't prove when they were... Okay. Woody, <laughs> just shipping all over the place. Yeah, I like shipping. It's fun. <laughs> what do you mean by that? This is all purely hypothetical, of course. But suppose I did place those items in my safe. Such an act. 
wouldn't necessarily constitute forgery. Objection! If concealing evidence found at a crime scene isn't forgery... I'm not through speaking yet, Raito. It all depends on when the evidence was discovered. They were found after dark... Okay. Nope. Are you saying this jar fragment wasn't discovered in the initial investigation? It would appear not. After all, it wasn't listed in the evidence list. For all we know, it could have been suddenly materialized the day after Dark was sentenced. Uh-oh. Oh, and wouldn't that be convenient? Yeah, it wouldn't that be convenient? Right. Mm. The chief is talking about a possibility, so long as you can't rule that out. Your remarks, however clever they may be, will only succeed in wasting time. Tell me something I don't know. Come now, Raito. Think about it. There's no reason I'd participate in a forgery. Yeah, 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 you've said that, but we don't believe you. How can you look me- How can you look me in the eye and say that? Because I'm innocent. How do you sleep at night? Very comfortably. Get out of here! <laughs> Remember, who was it that murdered Neil? I'm not sure I care for the word murder here. But in the end, the person responsible for Mr. Marshall's unfortunate demise was Emma Sky. Hmm. Well, now do you see? Rearranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. I think it would! Really, Chief Gant? At the very least, there is one very large benefit you've reaped from all this. Oh, I wasn't aware. What is this benefit? Is Pixie finishing the DLC today? I am! I am, hopefully. I think we're near the end. I'm going a little bit over... I'm probably going a little bit over time right now. But I think we're very close to the ending, so... That would be a... Uh, that would, of course, be the position you have. Chief of Police. Oh! The resolution of the SL9 incident secured your promotion to Chief. That in itself is sufficient motive. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Huh? Do you really think that I'm that incompetent? What do you mean? Even without the case, I was already in line to become the next chief. The resolution of the SL9 merely sped up the inevitable a little bit. Is that true, Edgeworth? Yes, he, he was going to be made chief anyway. Gah! Be careful when pointing in that finger or you might wind up being the one pointed at. So, that means there's only one possible motivation for you to commit forgery. If you didn't do it for yourself, then you did it for someone else. Don't be silly, Worthy. You know me better than that. There's a, There are only three people I look out for. Me, myself, and I. There's, there, it's out in the open now. Uji, would you mind if I changed my testimony a little? By all means, please do. Oh boy, he's changing it again. I wouldn't be anyone's accomplice if there was... If it... There was nothing in it for me. What do you mean? Nothing in it for you. Sorry, but the only person I care about is yours truly. I don't even care about my own mother. That girl, Lana's little sister, was it? If you think I felt sorry for her, you'd better think again. You're right. You don't feel sorry for anyone because you're a psychopath. Be tough on crime and tough on people. That's how I was raised. Yeah, I bet you were raised like that. You seem lax enough on yourself, though. Ho 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 ho! Oh, that's a good one, Worthy. Hmm. Could there have been something in it for him? Given his selfishness, would he have. 
he would have helped uh, would he have so would he have helped someone out why is that hard to read <laughs> um hold on let's do a save here on the first save not our backup save given his selfishness would he have helped someone out um i don't know i guess not i don't know maybe he did have an accomplice though who would be his accomplice i think good wait what if goodman was his accomplice and that's why he had him killed you know what i think it might be goodman i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try it let's see how it goes True, you might not help out anyone for their sake, but if it would benefit you, you might decide to assist someone. Hmm? Mr. Wright, it appears you are positively determined to portray the chief as a nice man who likes to lend people a hand. That's not what I mean! <laughs> Very well then. Who is the person you believe Chief Gant might have had f helped forge evidence? Wait, wait. Okay, so it's either... It's either Lana or Goodman. Oh, I don't know who to guess. Okay, let's put a poll in the chat, guys. You guys, you, you guys vote on it. Let's do a poll. Hold on. Lana or Goodman. Lana Goodman. Okay. Okay. Let's do a poll. Let's run a poll real quick. Who do you guys think was the accomplice? Do you think it was Lana or Goodman? Lana might have been blackmailed. Lana might have been blackmailed into being his accomplice. Why does it look like you're reaching for something with your avatar? <laughs> Maybe I was reaching for something. Maybe I was. What do you guys think? Oh wow, everybody's voting at Lan uh, voting Lana. Maybe it's Lana then. <laughs> Anybody want to vote for good? <laughs> it probably was Lana. Oh wow, yeah, there's a lot of uh, votes for Lana. Oh god, I'm not sure. Hey, I mean, if we're wrong, we can just reload and guess again. Blackmail would be a logical explanation for Lana. Yeah, I feel like that's that's probably the case. Okay. Yep, it looks like Lan everybody voted Lana. Okay, let's go and, and, and we're gonna go with Lana. Yeah. Chief Prosecutor Lana Sky, the, the, the defendant? Hmm. I believe it's quite obvious in the light of the circumstances. Emma Sky fell victim to an unfortunate series of events. Just like the... Sorry, just like the books. I had to burp for a second. Who would want to help her more than, any, than her own sister, Lana? And as for Chief Gant, he would also have a reason to help Lana if she asked him to. That reason, of course, is self-profit. Self-profit? What do you mean? After that SL9 incident was resolved, Lana Sky was appointed chief prosecutor at the prosecutor's office. The person who arranged this job change was you, Chief Gant. Hmm. But, but, how would he profit from all of this? He would be able to use the chief prosecutor as his puppet. Essentially... He would uh, acquire unchecked authority over all investigations. Do you mean to tell me that despite the chief's formidable appearance, he plays with puppets? <laughs> no, that's no, it's no, that's not. Uh... Oh wait, I'm stopping. He's so dumb sometimes. Oh my gosh, this himbo judge. <laughs> You must mean puppet as in someone forced to do his bidding. Never mind. <laughs> Admit it, Chief. <laughs> Admit it, Chief. You assisted Lana Sky in forging evidence. Your motive? To appoint her as Chief Prosecutor so you could control her. Righto, my boy. You have quite an imagination. Let me ask you something. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Do you have any proof of this that I controlled Lana? For example, is Lana testifying that I've done such a thing? No, but I'm gonna get her to testify. You bet your sweet bippy. Lana. She's keeping quiet to protect Emma. There's no way she'd testify against Gant. Mm, I'm afraid without any proof, this is all amounts to nothing more than mere conjecture. Unless... That is also what happened in this incident. This incident? Er, which one would that be? Of course I'm talking about... The murder of Detective Bruce Goodman. The chief prosecutor has been acting strange throughout this entire trial. Almost as if someone has been controlling her. You got it, edgy boy. You got it. Worthy, you'd better watch your tongue. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Just what do you mean? What he means, your honor is that Chief Gant is involved in the murder of Detective Goodman. Not only that, but the Chief is now making Lana take the rap to cover up his involvement. What? What? what, what? Oh my god! Order, order, order! I said order! Mr. Wright, you, you can't be serious! Huh? This... This is an affront to the highest ranking officer in our law enforcement agency. To accuse the chief of police of blackmail and murder? That's I... 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 Impossible! Uh... Your Honor, I was merely reiterating what Mr. Edgeworth said in easier to understand language. Edgeworth said it first! It's not my fault! <laughs> it's too late, right? What? There's no turning back for us now. It looks like he's the one who's decided to go through with this. It's you and me, Edgy! To the end! Always together! Can you prove this, Mr. Wright? That the chief, a high-ranking officer of the law, is involved in this murder? Good question. <laughs> Regardless of his rank or title, Chief Gant is just a man. The question is, is he a criminal? I believe the evidence will tell. Hmm, I see. Alright then. Oh boy, here we go. I know this is gonna be another one. I saw the thing pop up. I saw the penalty bop pop up. I saw that game, you can't fool me. When this boyo pops up in the corner, I know for certain I'm in trouble. Okay. Let's see what Mr. Wright's got, and it better be good. Show us this evidence that ties Chief Gant to the murder of Detective Goodman. Uh, is the knife, right? The broken knife? The broken knife, right? I think the soft lock is coming up, be ready, okay. Is the knife right? What do you guys think? I think it's the knife. I'm pretty sure it's the knife. I'm like 99% sure it's the knife. 99% sure. Pretty sure it's the knife. Let's go with the knife. Mm, well, Chief. So long as Raito here is tossing out things regardless of their relevance. Mind if I toss something too, Uji? This shoe should do nicely. I'll chuck it right at you. You always were quite the joker, weren't you? Oops, looks like I got it wrong. What? How did I get it wrong? What? Oh, okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, so it wasn't the knife, sorry. Uh... Ties him to the murder of Detective Goodman. Oof. Yeah. Mm. Wait. Duh, the ID card record. Duh. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, the 7777 thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Here, 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 here. Look at that. This is the ID card list. Yes, the one that shows who entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. There was one ID on that list we couldn't determine the owner of yesterday. Seven, 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 seven. Sorry, but there's no way you can prove that's my card number. It's your number. It's your number. Yeah, we know it. We know for a fact it's your number. Uh, what? How do you know that? The safe in Chief Gant's office requires a code to open. A seven-digit code. Seven digits? You don't mean. Mm-hmm. I'm afraid so, Your Honor. The code was seven 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 seven. The same as the remaining ID card number on that list. Chief Gant, you entered the evidence room on the day of the crime! Oh, look, he's sweating. He's sweating. We got him now. What's wrong? Is it too hot in the courtroom for widow baby Gant, man? Order. Order. Sweat. Sweat, you evil man. Chief Gant, what do you have to say? Uh, nothing. The defense search of my office was in violation of regulations. <laughs> and I will demand Mr. Wright be punished to the maximum extent of the law. Edgeworth, don't punish me! Unless you want to. <laughs> but right now, <laughs> but right now, this court demands an explanation from you. About the use of this ID card. <laughs> Face sweaty, fist clenching, something about mom and spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> Chief Gant, so you admit it. You entered the evidence room on the day of the crime? He's gonna change his testimony about that. Or he's gonna testify testify about that what about it i'm chief of police whether it's the evidence room or the bathroom what's the difference i can go anywhere i want and do anything i want however i please because i have privilege tell me when you entered the room were you alone i always go to the bathroom as i do with the evidence room you poop in the evidence room he poops in the evidence room? That's nasty! <laughs> Detective Goodman wouldn't have happened to be with you that day, would he? Oh, of course not. Why would he be? <laughs> I hadn't seen him in days. Objection. You hadn't seen him in days, Chief Gant? I'm afraid you've just out undone yourself. On that day, you had to have met with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? This trial's purpose is to determine Lana Sky's guilt. <laughs> the evidence room would surely have the best toilet. Yeah, it's probably like sitting there like at Home Depot. Oh my gosh, I bet Gank goes poo-poo in the Home Depot toilets too. He's the kind, isn't he? He would just be like, I didn't do it. It must have been that child over there. <laughs> no, it isn't, Your Honor. This trial's purpose is to de determine, the tr <laughs> determine the truth. I'm sorry, I keep giggling and I'm trying to talk at the same time. If Chief Gan met the victim on the day of the crime, then we need to determine one thing. What transpired during that meeting? In that case, Mr. Wright, I'm going to have to ask you for evidence. Show us proof that the victim- Oh no, I didn't even get to save there! Oh well. Proof that the victim went to meet Chief Gant on the day of her crime. Okay. Maybe it's this note. It, I, you know, I think it's this note. I think this is the memo. I'm- I'm going to check the guide. I want to be sure because I didn't save here. Oh, 
It's not this. Oh, I was wrong. <laughs> Wait, where is that? Hold on. I think it's the lost item report. I think it's the lost item report because, uh... Why would he have to write a lost item report unless he went there and saw that something was missing? Oh, you have multiple guesses? Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm still gonna try this. Blah! Detective Goodman lost his ID card on the day of the crime. Or to be more accurate, Jake Marshall stole it. So Detective Goodman filled out the lost item report. Right, right, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, okay. He would have had to have to give that report to the chief of police. Yeah, you're in possession of that report. Which means you can't be for sure he filled it out. Mm -hmm. He filled it. How do I know, you ask? Because he needed to enter the evidence room that day. He needed to? Yes, to transfer the evidence out. Oh! Detective Goodman took the form to you, Chief Gant. Then... You accompanied the detective to the evidence room. I knew he went in there with them. Didn't I say that last time I was playing? I was saying he went in there and killed them with him. Hmm. Didn't I? Didn't I say that, guys? I did. I did. I accompanied him? Mm-hmm. There's no other way the murderer and the detective Goodman could have entered the room. Hold on, let me guess what you're going to say next. I, the chief of police, murdered poor Goodman. Uh, yep, exactly. But wait, the chief didn't necessarily need to accompany him to the evidence room. He could have just lent him his ID card. Yes. Now that you mention it, I believe I might have done something of the sort. Oh, you can't just make this up now. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, but that's not possible. Hmm? According to the record, your card was only used once. Yet you showed us your ID card earlier. If you had really lent it to Detective Goodman, you'd be missing it now! It would have been found on his body! No! Whoa! That transformation is wild! It's like he's being electrified. <laughs> Chief Gant, you you didn't. That's his wounded sprite. <laughs> mm. The murder was most likely a spur of the moment crime for one, and no one in their right mind would choose the police department as a place to commit murder. After the murder, you contacted Lana at the prosecutor's office. Why? To dispose of Detective Goodman's body, of course. Uh-oh. You're forgetting, Mr. Wright. That the victim's body was discovered in the prosecutor's office parking lot. How did he manage to move it there? I was at the police department the entire day, you know. And everyone's aware that Lana stayed at the prosecutor's office after the ceremony. Everyone except me, it seems. <laughs> Still, you're the chief of police. You have an entire police force at your disposal. Oh, so you think I just ordered an officer to do it? Hey you, take this here dead body over to the prosecutor's office. I don't think so. Chief Gant, you left all the evidence we need to pro uh, prove how you moved the body to the prosecutor's office. And all this time I thought it was a useless clue, just taking up space. How could the chief have moved the body? Mr. Wright, show us this evidence. To move the victim's body, Chief Gant used this. Oh, I didn't get to say it is saved there. Okay. Alright. Oh boy. The glove? The glove? Is it the glove? Maybe it's the glove. Let me think here. I 
I mean, the only thing we haven't used in this whole case is the parking stub. I feel like we haven't... Uh, I don't know. He was saying it was... you. Like, Phoenix was saying, and all this time I thought it was useless just taking up space. We haven't used this at, at all once. Let's try it. Take that. Take that! Oh, music stopped! This is how I moved Detective Goodman's body. A parking stub? Miles Edgeworth. You mean... He used your car! He used your car! Wait, how did he use the car that way, though? The body was found in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. I think it's obvious what happened. The body was moved by that car. Ah! Uh... You mean I... I carried the victim's body? Precisely so. But wait, even you know. I didn't plan on returning to my office after the ceremony finished that day. But you did return. Tell me, why? Mm. Ah! I was asked to go by Chief Gant, no less. He told me he wanted to keep it here in the prosecutor's office. So he gave him the screwdriver and said, Go put it in the prosecutor's office. And then he put the dead body in to Edgeworth's trunk to make him look like the bad guy somehow. I told you he was trying to frame Edge Boy this whole time. I like the music too, yes. This music's great. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. <laughs> um, let's see here. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Blaming Edgy Boy, how dare! I agree, Winter, I agree. Edgy Boy did nothing wrong, he's a good boy. So you see, what you were really taking to the prosecutor's office wasn't the screwdriver. But a body! But the victim's body in your trunk! Oh! It's getting spicy now, boys. Detective Goodman's body was carried in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car? Yes. Unless, of course, you have another explanation, Chief. Why else would you have asked Mr. Edgeworth to transport evidence from a closed case? Mm -mm. There's only one plausible explanation. To transport the body to your accomplice, Miss Lana Skye. Oh, here we go. Order, order, order. What's going on here? Is there no room for rebuttal to the defense's outrageous accusations? Think back to the photograph Miss Starr took at the prosecutor's office. This was not a photo of the body being stuffed in the trunk to be taken away. It was exactly the opposite. It is a photo of the body being taken from the trunk. Chief Gant, please say something. I believe... Uh, uh, I believe your time's up. My time's up? Sorry, Raito, but I'm having lunch with the District Attorney General after this. We have to get going if we're gonna make it in time for the early bird special. Uh-uh, you ain't going nowhere, son. B -b but the cross-examination isn't finished yet. Remember what I told you earlier? A police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapons? <laughs> what kind of weapons? Like the right to refuse to testify. I'm invoking that right right now. What? There, that is not a right to be casually revoked. There are certain risks to be considered. So you're going to just run away after all this. Run away? Don't make me laugh, Worthy. Hmm? I stabbed old Goodman. Is that what you're saying, right? But if you had any conclusive evidence, you would have presented it by now. Well, I... 
You think I had Lana dispose of the body? If so, then show your proof and get it over with. Hmm. I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. Damon Ghent is the current chief of police. Mm -hmm. Nope, nope, nope. This court will not tolerate any accusations against him without concrete proof. The judge is losing his golf buddy. <laughs> Anyone else want to snip off his hair that he keeps twirling? Yeah, me too. If you're going to save, do it now, Pixie. Oh, okay. Alright, I'll do it because you told me to! Okay. Well, Mr. Wright? Y your Honor? Do you have any concrete proof? Proof that Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman and made Miss Sky dispose of his body? Do I have any concrete proof? I'm sure we do. I'm sure we do. I can't let him just squirm his way out of this. I've got to keep the pressure on. Yes, Your Honor. I do have such evidence. Then please hurry up and present it. Just remember. A better proof Chief Gant murdered Detective Goodman beyond a shadow of a doubt. I'm trying not to burp in your guys' ear. Hmm. Proof that he murdered him. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. You know, we haven't used the handprint at all in this whole thing. And I feel like if we present that as the reason that Lana was being his accomplice, I feel like that would just kind of seal the deal. Because it was also in the safe in his office. Mm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling that's the one. I don't know. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna try. I think it would be the shoe because if Lana murdered him, there wouldn't be blood under his shoe. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like this is it. I'm gonna try this. So, er, what exactly is this evidence? Oh no, it's not right. It's proof as to whether or not that it's enough to demonstrate the chief's guilt. I'll let you be the judge. I'll let you be the judge, judge. But I am the judge. Well, now you're the judge again. Oh, right. <laughs> well, what do you think, your honor? Oh no, it's not good. What I think, Mr. Wright, is I'm going to be late for lunch. No! No! Load, load, load. Okay, let's try the shoe. Tasu said the shoe. Let me try the shoe. Hold on. Let's try that. We'll try the shoe. Okay. What's the evidence? What's the evidence? Okay. Let's try the shoe. Tasu wanted us to try the shoe, so we'll try the shoe. Wait, oh. Oh, oops, sorry. I meant I meant to hit E. I meant to hit E. Oh, um, nope, that one wasn't it either. That wasn't it either. Let me see what the guide says. There, I have a hint guide that gives me hints. Do 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 do. Oh. Oh, really? It says, it says uh, in the hint guide, it says, you might not have the evidence right now. Oh, no. So we need to go get some more evidence? Okay. Oh, so this must be the soft lock part, because if you save after you say you have proof, then you can't you can't get out of it. So I guess we have to say I have no proof yet. Dang. That sucks. It's no use showing evidence if I'm not uh, I'm not sure. I'm not even sure of myself. No, your honor, at present I have no conclusive evidence. Hmph. <laughs> See a G? Mm, no. In that case, this court is forced to penalize you for your allegations against the chief. What? Oh no! 
Here's a tip, never gamble what you can't afford to lose, Riot Toe. It seems that Lady Luck was on my side again today. Okay, Aji, I'll leave the rest to you. No, he's getting away! He's getting away! How are we gonna get more evidence? We can't, this is the third day, we can't get more evidence, can we? I warned you earlier, Mr. Wright. This, this is an affront to a senior officer in our nation's law enforcement agency. I'm gonna get penalized. Uh, oh, what? <gasps> Edgy boy! Edgy boy! Oops, I didn't mean to hit that. Edgy boy! My one true love! He's here to save me again! I love you, Edgy boy! <laughs> Lady Luck, hmm? Maybe we should have a word with her. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? There's one lady who knows the real truth behind this trial. It's me! Lady Pixelheart! That's who he's talking about! <laughs> I ship it too. <laughs> we haven't yet had the honor of hearing her testimony. Oh, are you going to have me get up on the stand? A lady who knows the truth, another witness. In the absence of conclusive evidence, the only other method of t proof is testimony. Oh, it's probably Lana that they want to get up there. But Chief Gant has invoked his right to refuse to testify. There's still someone else. One more witness who can answer all the questions. Raised in this trial, someone right in this very room. It me! It me, right? Mr. Edgeworth, who is this person? Hmm. Why are you asking me, Your Honor? Have you forgotten? The defense is the one calling witnesses today. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to call somebody. Hold on, let me go ahead and save here again. Oh, she may not be willing to tell the truth. But we can't just stop now. Yes, Your Honor. The defense calls forth. It's gonna be Lana, isn't it? It's Lana, for sure. The defendant? Miss Lana Sky? She was in the underground parking lot at 5.15 on February 21st. Her task? To dispose of the victim's body. In accordance with a certain someone's orders. Hmm, Mr. Edgeworth? The prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Oh, my freaking mouse got unplugged again. It's fine. Very well, the court will now take its final recess for the day. In 15 minutes, we will reconvene to hear the defendant's testimony. Oh boy, another recess! I'm gonna go play on the jungle jam! This court is now in- Hold on! Uh-oh. Huh? Chief Gant, I thought you were going to eat. Listen good, Lana. He's talking to Lana. I don't think you need me to tell you this, but if you accept Mr. Wright's claims, there will be terrible consequences. That's right. Your sister will be found guilty for Neil Marshall's murder. Ah, this is a good... He's blackmailing her right in front of everybody! How does anybody not see this? Excuse me? Of course, you'd never support such outrageous claims anyway, right? Just something to think about. Alright then. I've got the lunch date to meet. He's gonna leave. He's gonna ride to Mexico. <laughs> this is awkward. Okay, if there aren't any uh, further objections, this court is now in recess. Recess! Oh, Edgy Boy, what's wrong? You saved me, Edgy Boy. Don't be sad. Looks like we've managed to stay in the game. Yeah, thanks to your help, Edgeworth. <laughs> That chief, 
He's something else, eh, pals? Detective Gumshoe? <laughs> I'm not a detective anymore. Oh yeah, sorry about that. He should become a PI. That'd be cool. Ah, uh, don't worry. I've already decided where to work now. At your office. Wait, you're gonna work for us? Okay, cool. You can, um... You can, uh, get me coffee. My office? Sure! I'll take the place of that top-knotted girl you used to work with. Could he mean... Maya? Still, looks like we're all out of movements now. Chief Gant's done it again. How is he... <coughs> Sorry. The voice stress... My, the voice stress is at my, my throat. How is it he always gets the upper hand? Oh no, you got a piece of gum on your mustache. You have a mustache? That's pretty cool. I gotta drink water real quick. Oh no, gum is in your mustache. You know what that means? You gotta put peanut butter in it. I think that's how it works. Peanut butter can get gum out of here. I think. It's not fair that he has the right to refuse to testify. It's not fair. Hmm. Settle down, right? Remember what the judge said? But chief, that is not a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. Risks? What did he mean by that? It's simple. If the chief refuses to testify, the opposite also holds true. You mean he forfeits his right to say anything too? Who is it? Oh, Emma! Emma, are you okay? Emma, you cute little murderer, you! You killed that man! Yes, you did! You killed him good! Yeah, when I came to, I was in the medical office. I've been listening to the trial from the gallery. So she heard everything that's been going on. Um, Emma, I'm sorry for what I said before. Had my mustache since my teens and I just barely grew a beard when I turned 30. Nice. Beards are cool. No, don't be. It was the truth. I killed him. I killed him in cold blood. I had a bloodthirst so unquenchable. I just had to kill a man just once to see how it felt. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I almost feel somehow relieved. Relieved? Yeah. Now I finally know what really happened. Think all this time. My sister was being blackmailed by that terrible man. And she did it all just to protect me. Ever since her appointment as chief prosecutor, everyone who knew her said she changed. Perhaps it was easier that way for her. What do you mean? What do you think I mean? To follow Chief Gant's orders. She must have shut herself up deep inside. To force herself to do anything and everything to the chief told her to do. That must be why she became so cold. It was all my fault. It's all because I... I murdered Mr. Marshall. Hey, don't go blaming yourself now. If you want to blame anyone, blame society, pal. We live in a society. Chief Gant may be able to fool everyone else with his forgery, but he can't fool my memory. I remember now. I knocked Mr. Marshall into that armor. I... I see. Well, we'd better get back. It's time for the final act. Emma, why don't you wait he... No, I'm going with you. Huh? I want to be there. When Lana tells the truth. Let's go, right? It's time to end this. Okay. To be continued. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh my gosh. I, I feel like we're so close to the end. Why does it keep dragging on? I don't know what I'm getting for dinner after this. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to have for dinner after this. I might have to go to Taco Bell. That'll be the only place that's open after this. Now then. Will the defendant, Miss Lana Skye, please take the stand?
Miss Lanaskai, you are the chief prosecutor. I'm sure you are aware of what is required of you. But Mr. Edgeworth, you already know everything. You know all I've done in these past two years. Mm. Please provide the court with your testimony, Miss Sky. And remember, you are under oath. We want to hear the truth. Of course, the truth. Lana, no matter what happens, I'll always be your sister. I love you, Onei-chan. Now then, your testimony, if you will. First, tell us about your relationship with Chief Gant. Everything hinges on your testimony. You're the only chance we have to get Gant. Come on. Give up the goods. I worked alongside Gant for years. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. Why are you lying? Why are you always lying? Why are you always lying? Oh my god, stop freaking lying! I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. Why? When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. But it had everything to do with Emma. You wanted her to be safe and, and innocent. Hmm. Are you sure about this testimony? Man, I would like to go get some nacho fries from Taco Bell, assuming they still have them. They might still have them. They're all right. I, I'm not a big fan of nacho fries, but they're all right. Your Honor, I'm confessing to a capital offense. Of course, I'm sure. But Lana... Nintendo just announced an update for Scarlet and Violet that fixes some issues with the game, which will be out tomorrow. Nice! Let's go! I'm glad they're doing that. That's very nice. Nintendo's usually pretty good about, like, the stuff that they release and updating it if, if there's problems. But, yeah, that's good to hear. I hope a lot of people will stop complaining about the glitches then. If this is true, then that means Chief Kent has nothing to do with this. Rest in peace, item glitch! Oh, was there an item glitch? Oh, no. Well, that's okay. You know, I'd rather have the game run smoother than get dupes. That's what I've been telling you from the beginning. Please, Mr. Wright, you've got to help her. She's sacrificing herself because of me. But what if she's telling the truth? She's not. I know my own sister. Wait, we were thinking that. Did she read our thoughts? Whenever she speaks stiffly like that, she's hiding something inside. Deep down, she's really screaming in agony. Hmm. Yeah, this is no time to start second-guessing myself. Let's go. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, you could do items make one million in five minutes. Oh my god. That's a lot of money. Okay. Yeah, you worked with Gant how many years exactly? Ever since I made Senior Detective. Let's see, I was 24 then, so it would be five years. Detective, Detective Gant and Detective Sky were legendary partners. I personally saw them testify in numerous cases. She must have been good coming from the same school as Mia. Damon Gant was a respectable detective, that's why. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. I don't believe you, but think about it, Miss Skye. You didn't murder Detective Goodman. You told me as much yesterday in jail. You still don't get it, do you, Mr. Wright? Any testimony you cannot present in court is as useless as idle gossip. Why don't you say something, then? Hmm. I stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. That's true. But you only re-stabbed him. You didn't stab him to kill him. And... I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. 
Did you do so to help your sister? Joe Dark was a serial killer. My sister almost became his last victim that day. I didn't want that incident to ruin her life. But what she did was justifiable de self defense, was it? I don't know. Was it really? She wouldn't have been charged with anything. That's not the point. She was traumatized that day, all because of that creep. That's why I couldn't forgive him. Lena! So that's why you fabricated the evidence two years ago. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. Oh, did you now? You say you did this all by yourself? Yes. Would you mind telling us what you found when you arrived at the crime scene? It seems I was the first person to discover the scene. The broken prosecutor award knife was stuck in the victim's body. What? But Prosecutor Sir Marshall died from an unfortunate accident. That's only a situation you dreamed was possible. Huh? The reality is, it wasn't my sister who took the prosecutor's life. Fantasize all you want, Mr. Wright, but I'll never change this statement. So you're just gonna lie? You're just gonna double down? Okay. Alright. I see how it is. Okay. Alright. You mean Prosecutor Marshall wound up being killed by Dark? Something like that. If that is so, what happened to the other murder weapon? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. What if he was still alive and then uh, Gant killed him with a broken knife? What if he was still alive and he's like, oh, double tap, boom! If that is so, what happened to the other murder weapon? Ah, mouse, please. Drake was carrying a switchblade knife. Oh, that was lying on the floor a little distance away. It was probably knocked away in the struggle. That's not how it went down. She's trying to cover up for her lies with more lies. You're a bad liar. All just to protect me. So, when you found the scene like this, what did you do? After all, all this all ugh, this is what everything boils down to. Yes. I broke off the tip of Dark's knife, planted it inside the wound, and then moved the body. You did so. You planted the tip of Dark's knife in the body, and then you moved the body? But why? Why would you do that? You of all people should know, Edgeworth. You've always had a good head on your shoulders. Hmm? My head isn't that bad, but maybe I ought to ask for the sake of others. <laughs> uh, let me do a save here real quick. Okay. Why did you plant the knife? Why did you move the body? Hmm. I feel like these are both important questions. Oh, why did you move the body? I feel like, why did you move the body? Why did you move the body? When you showed up on the scene, where exactly was the victim's body? It was where you deduced it was, by Chief Gan's desk. But the body was found by your desk. Why did you move it there? The reason for that is simple. Let's have the witness explain this in more detail. The reason Miss Sky moved the body. The pieces of the jar that shattered- the pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. Oh? Pieces of the jar, you mean... Yes, that wretched jar you showed us earlier. In order to show that Dark committed the crime, I felt it would be more expedient to move the body. So... When you first found the body, the jar was all ready? Of course, it had been shattered to pieces. If you look at the crime scene, it would be clear right away what happened. Hmm. 
Neil Marshall was dead and Dark was lying unconscious. In other words, the jar must have been broken during their struggle. But then how did the writing get on there? That doesn't make sense. How did the writing get on that jar if it was already broken? I see. Hmm. What's the matter, Emma? Apparently the jar shattered at the time the crime was committed. But I have a feeling there's more to it than that. There must be in a contradiction here somewhere. Anyway, I committed this fabrication completely alone. Uh-uh. Mm, the, nope, the jar says otherwise. I'm gonna sit up real quick here. Hold on. Ah, uh, okay. Bamba, what are you doing under my desk? Bamba. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was petting him and he jumped up. <laughs> he jumped. <laughs> he scared me. <laughs> oh, thank you for the posture check. Thank you. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. Oh, Bon Bon wants a treat. Hold on. He did a binky. I was petting him and he did a binky. The silly boy. Sorry guys. <laughs> Pets need to be attended to when they need want attention. I don't want to make them feel ignored. My only move. Okay. Hold it. Hold it. So you rearranged the crime scene. Are you sure you didn't do this to keep Emma from looking like the murderer? How many times do I have to tell you, Mr. Wright? Emma didn't do it. Period. Are you so desperate to hide the fact? You're willing to risk the death sentence? She's lying! She did it so I wouldn't be blamed for what happened! In any case, as a prosecutor, what I've done is unpardonable. There's nothing I can do to make up for my actions. Mr. Wright, my- Ah! Water! Oh, hydrate! Okay, hold on. Mr. Wright, my sister's lying! Thank you for the hydrate, Redeem. Looks like she's determined to protect you to the end. She insists she fabricated the evidence by herself. There's no way she could have done it all alone. I've got to get Lana to talk more. If she's lying, then she's bound to slip up and make a contradiction. Yeah, it's, it's the jar. It's the whole thing about the jar. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me check here. I just want to make sure. I'm just checking my guide. My tip guide real quick. Okay, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the jar. I'm pretty sure. Well, let me go ahead and make a save here real quick. Okay. Okay, it's jar time! Where's the jar? There's the jar. Boom! Oh! It's quiet! Oh! We done it! Miss Sky, I understand how you feel. You committed that crime two years ago to protect your sister. You mean the forgery at the scene where Neil Marshall was murdered? If that truth were to be exposed now, the past two years of your life... ...will have been in vain. Even so, I am compelled to bring to everyone's attention a significant contradiction within your testimony. A contradiction in my testimony? You testified, and I quote, The pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. That's right. Do you have a problem with that? It's a simple oversight, really. You see, a message was written on this jar with the victim's blood. Yes, the prosecutor must have written it in his final moments. 
But how could he write it if it was already broken? Exactly so. And this is where the contradiction lies. Hmm? In order for the victim to be able to write his message on the jar, it must not yet have been broken before he died. Uh. He couldn't have written Emma's name on that shattered jar! Oh! Order! Order! Your Honor, it would appear. More information is needed in regard to this jar and its bloody message. There may be missing so we may be missing something critical here. Something critical. Chief Prosecutor, it seems you are as in the dark as we are about the truth towards which we're headed. What? Just tell us exactly what you saw. We'll piece together the information to arrive at the truth. Very well, the witness may now continue his her testimony. <laughs> A contradiction in my testimony? It's more likely than you think. I mean, I honestly thought that spelled out something different last time. Maybe it did. Maybe it doesn't spell out Emma. Maybe it spells out something else. Hmm. What if it spells out Gant instead? And we just connected it wrong. That would be funny. I immediately noticed the blood traces on the jar, but it was dark in the room and I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. The fragments were large, so I'm sure I got them all. All I could think about was wiping them clean before they were discovered. You mean you were the one who wiped away the mes the message in blood? I was about to say the massage. <laughs> the massage in blood! I wasn't chief prosecutor at the time. She didn't think Dark was the real murderer. That's why she tried to erase the real evidence. Very well. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Here we go again. Here we go again. Okay. So the jar was already broken? It's a miracle that thing had it broken earlier. It certainly looks as feeble as the defense's case. Hey, that's not nice, but not as feeble as the judge's judgment. You were an ace detective who never missed a detail. Do you really expect us to believe you didn't investigate what was written on the jar pieces? That's true. Good point, Edgy. Normally I would have. But it was in the dark room and I didn't have any time to check it out. So you didn't know your sister's name was written on the jar? No. If I had known, I would have gathered all the pieces and ground them to dust. Well, that helps my case. Lana, you do that for me? It seems you two might make up yet. Anyway, I just barely had enough time to move the body as it was. If something happened upon the scene, you'd lose your chance to erase the evidence. Oh, if someone happened upon the scene. You must have been in a hurry. I was. I knew I had to destroy the evidence before anyone came. Mm. This is rather shocking. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. Just two sisters willing to do crimes. Yeah. I'm afraid this action of yours reveals what really happened. What do you mean? If you really thought, uh, thought Dark killed Prosecutor Marshall, you wouldn't have wiped away the blood. True. True. That's true. What else could I have done in that situation? Lana. I only had a few moments. There wasn't enough time for me to do anything else but gather up the pieces. The fragments were large, so I was I'm sure I got them all. But how could you see with the power out? It sure it should have been pitch black in that office. A detective is always prepared, Mr. Wright. You had a flashlight? Even now, I always carry a pocket light with a camera with me. 
Even I carry a bottle of emergency luminol wherever I go. That's weird, Emma. Emma, you're weird. I never miss anything. I got every last piece. <laughs> the judge is always looking bamboozled. True. All I could think about was wiping them clean before they were discovered. I just have good blood detection liquid with me wherever I go, and I also accidentally kill the man. I'm not sus. You're sus. <laughs> so you illegally rearranged the crime scene. Yes, I don't have any excuse for my actions. I'm so sorry, Lana. I didn't know. I've treated you so badly all this time. It's not too late. There's still plenty of time to make up. After we've, after we've gotten to the bottom of this incident. No doubt this day will leave a permanent stain on the history of the prosecutor's office. More contradictions have surfaced in her testimony. Your sister's really putting up a fight. She must really care about you. Still, she's not doing this r the right way. Hmm? I think I finally figured out the contradictions in her testimony. There's one final possibility that might turn everything around. Oh boy. Okay. Immediately noticed the blood traces in the jar. But it was in the dark room and I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. The fragments were large, so I'm, I'm sure I got them all. All I could think about was wiping them clean before they were discovered. Okay. Oh man. What do I, what do I, what do I do? What do I do? Hmm. I think it still has something to do with the jar, but let's see. Before they discovered. Ah, it's got to, it's got to be something to do with the jar still. No, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to click again. Sorry. No. I didn't mean to click again. Okay. Mm. Yeah, wipe away the blood. The fragments were large. What? I mean, we found a fragment in the safe, so yeah, she didn't get them all. Let's let's yeah. That, I think that's it. I think that's it. Let me do a save here. Because we did find the one that was in the safe. She didn't get them all. We know that for certain. Okay, let's present her with the char- uh, with the- with the char- with the jar again. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna head to bed, Pixie, but I w uh, I'll finish watching the recorded stream tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful night. Crack the case. Crack all the ki cracks. Yes, thanks for coming in, Winter. Have a good night. I'll be posting this to, dis uh, to uh, YouTube later, so you'll definitely get to see the ending then. Stream is running late tonight. Objection! Oh, the music stopped! Miss Guy, I believe this jar conceals a truth even you were unaware of. What? We found the final piece of this jar in the Chief Gant's safe. That's what I was saying! That's what I was saying! In the Chief's safe? But how? I knew it. She really didn't know. Oh snap. There's something even more disturbing about the final piece. There was... S uh, there was still blood on it. But the witness just testified that she gathered every last piece and wiped the blood off of them. <laughs> yes, which leaves us only with one explanation. On the night Prosecutor Marshall was murdered, you were not the first one to show up on the scene. Ah. Uh... Are you leaving too, Steve? Okay, sleep well. Have a good night, Steve. Go cuddle with Winter. Chief Gant got there before you. The revelation! But couldn't the defendant have simply missed a piece? Objection! Objection! I'm afraid that's unlikely. The pieces are too big for anyone to miss, let alone an ace detective. 
them well may well be, but everyone makes mistakes. Even I once wasted an entire day looking for my dentures. They were in my mouth all along. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> Have you forgotten, Your Honor? When the witness arrived at the scene, the jar was already broken. Oh, that. There's no way a name could have been written on that shattered jar. Another person discovered the scene prior to the witness. I hope you're not implying this person was Chief Gan at the time he was looking for Dark downstairs. Besides, even if he was there first, why would he break the jar? Ah! Oh! The question is, if he did arrive there first, why did he hide that fact for two years? Oh. Well, Your Honor, can you answer us that? No. 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 I <laughs> the judge has a wounded face too. <laughs> Wait, I'm not the one on trial here. <laughs> you poor judge is like, no, I didn't do it. I didn't kill him. Please. <laughs> Damon Gent, pro um, Damon Gent arrived at the crime scene prior to the witness. He proceeded to break the jar and purposely hid one of the broken pieces. Question, what is this action called? Fabrication of evidence. But, but, but why would Chief Gant do that? In light of what ha oh, I'm sorry. In light of what happened afterwards, isn't it clear? What happened afterwards? Discovering the scene, Lana Sky believed her sister Emma killed the victim. Determined to help her sister, she th sought Gant's aid. Lending her his aid, Gant helped her create evidence to incriminate Dark, sparing Emma. And therein lies the reason. The reason why Miss Sky became ch the chief's puppet. Oh no! No no no! I did it on my own. Please, sis, stop trying to protect the chief. I, I can't watch you suffer anymore for my sake. No, you didn't. It wasn't you, Emma. You didn't kill anyone. I don't believe anything Mr. Wright says. Defense attorneys make up the most foul lies to defend their clients. Foul lies? Imagine that coming from my own client. No. Hmm. You, I guess you do seem the type who likes to twist the truth. Uh, what? Wait a minute. Wait a second. What if... We're still smack dab in the middle of Gant's trap. Oh... Oh, uh, is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Lana, maybe right after all. Hmm? What do you mean, right? So you do tell foul lies then, Mr. Wright? <laughs> you lie? <laughs> Miss Sky, please testify once more. But if evidence was fabricated behind your back, then Emma's accidental killing of Prosecutor Marshall might also be a lie. But I do remember knocking over Mr. Marshall. Miss Sky, if you will. I knew it. I had a feeling. I had a feeling a Gant actually killed it, killed her, and then framed Emma, and then made her think that Emma did it, and then oh, oh, the plot thickens. Lies, she says, both coming from the girl that confessed to forging evidence two years ago, right? Miss Sky, if you will. I... I can't. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. Hmm. This cross-examination may not change a thing. However, there is a possibility that it will, if you tell the truth. Very well. I'll testify about what I really saw. All right, the witness may testify once more for the final time. The final countdown.
But when I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on that suit of armor sword. Emma and Dart were lying unconscious on the floor nearby. When I saw what had happened, I thought she did it. That's why I erased all the evidence that linked her to the murder. Aya Chief Gant helped me remove the body from the sword and carry it. But if it all really was a fabrication, Emma might be innocent. Unbelievable. The body was impaled on the armor sword? You were the only one who saw that. If you had proof. If only you had proof. Hmm. Actually, I do have proof. Oh! Oh, snap. I gave it to Mr. Wright just this morning. Wait, the book? Was it the book? The book with the chicken on it? What, to me? It's a picture I took of the crime scene as I encountered it. I thought it might be needed. Wait, it's in the book? But I don't remember receiving a picture like that. Lana must have known. See, Mr. Wright, she really does have faith in you. Is it in the book? Very well, Mr. Wright. Please present this picture. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. Do I have the picture? I don't know. I don't remember receiving any pictures from Lana. Lana said she gave it to you this morning, right? I seem to remember getting something from her then. Let's check that evidence again. There must be a picture in there somewhere. Okay, she gave me the book. Maybe it's hidden in the book. Is it in the book? Look at this cute illustration in the book. It's so cute. Oh, I see something poking out here. Hey, hey, what's that? What's that? What's that? Hey, hey, what's that? Oh, it lit up for a second. Hold on. Come on. Come on. You can wait. Oh, yeah. Uh, there? Maybe? No? Okay, what? How about. Why are you being difficult? Stop being difficult. Ah! Okay. I'll get it. 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 Can we just look like. Can we open the. Wait! Oh! There it was for a second! There it was for a second! Oh, there we go. Boop! There we go. Oh! Ew! Hey, that's a- there's a picture here! Eh. Oh! Wait, why is this vest ripped? Oh! Oh my! This is the actual crime scene! No other detective saw the crime scene like this. Because I contacted criminal affairs only after I had rearranged everything. Oh man! <gasps> Mr. Wright! That picture cut out from his vest. Or that piece cut out from his vest. Could that be? The cloth we found inside Chief Gant's safe. Oh snap, that's got her fingerprints on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I saw something cut out there. Look at that. Look at, look at. It's cut out. I saw it cut out. Yup, yup, yup. That's got her fingerprints on it. Okay, okay, okay. What's this? A oh, whoa! What's this? Fabwick? This is a handprint, isn't it? It's her handprint. That cloth, it had fingerprints on it. Whatever fingerprints those are must be the real murder. Um, hate to break it to you there, Emma, but um, those are yours. What? But those fingerprints. They're yours, Emma! Why are your lips turning all purple, Mr. Wright? Why are your knees shaking? Why do you look like you're gonna pee yourself? Anyway, let's get on with the cross-examination. So long as you tell the truth, we should be able to flush out the real murder. Very well, the defense may now begin its cross-examination. I'm so hungry. I hope this is over soon. I like this game, but I'm hungry and I want to finish the game. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body up here. Uh! Excuse me. Was it done reading that, Mr. Gand? Come now, Aji. 
This is the poorest excuse for a trial I have ever seen. Chief Gant. What, now you want to make me out as the bad guy too? He returned! If so, I'd like to put in a word or two for my own defense. I'm afraid it's too late for that. What? You already declined to de test. Yeah, yeah, you already declined to testify. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. Hmm. This must be that risk we were talking about earlier. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the sound of the noose tightening around your neck. <laughs> Ah, uh, so what? You think I'm worried? Hmm? Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't need to make any statements. What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? The evidence will do all the talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. Yes, that's true. Wait, you mean... You still have some conclusive evidence? No, I don't, but someone does. Someone? So, what's your excuse, Raito? I feel like I'm gonna have to present evidence here soon. I'm gonna save again. Yeah. Hmm. Why have you been keeping quiet about it? You do have something to show us, right? Something that proves who knocked over Neil Marshall, causing his death. Conclusive evidence that leaves no room for doubt. Shut up! Nobody knows about it! I'm gonna go hide it! Somewhere. Flush it down the toilet! Is that true, Mr. Wright? Mm. If I show that piece of evidence now... Emma's sure to be made out as a murderer. Mr. Wright, if you have any more evidence presented now, and if you try to conceal anything, you will be the one appearing before the Board of Inquiries. What do I do now? I better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make the wrong decision. Should I present that piece of evidence? The one that shows who really killed Prosecutor Marshall? Oh, I don't know about that one. Oh. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. I don't want to be guilty, but I think we might have to show evidence. I think we're going to have to show evidence. Oh, this is going to suck. Yes, Your Honor, I do have further evidence. All right, the time's finally come to show it to them. Yeah. Yeah, about that. You're not going to like it. Those prints have got to be the chiefs. Aha. Uh -huh. Sure! Now then, let's see this conclusive evidence. Okay. Do not save after making this decision. Okay, I will not save. I will not save, I promise. Okay. Here's the piece of cloth. Wait, oh, I thought I was presenting it. Excuse me. Wrong button. Wrong button. Take that! It's a piece of leather cloth? Yes, it was most likely cut from the victim's vest near his chest. What's this? There's a big handprint on it. Surely it must have been left on the cloth by whoever shoved the victim into the sword. What? Whose fingerprints are on this? I'm sure Raito has checked, haven't you? Mm. Well, whose are they? Mm. Mm. They are Miss Skies, Miss Emma Skies. What? They're mine? So I really did do it. I'm a cold-blooded murderer. With these hands, I took a man's life. See, I told you it was conclusive. Oh my god! But this was found in your safe! 
that means it's possible you forged it. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm? I don't remember any cloth in my safe. Do you really expect me to believe that? But... Give it up, Mr. Wright. It's over. You shouldn't have presented that. By presenting that evidence, you tied Emma Sky to Neil Marshall's death. No. Oh no, did I do bad? It appears we have our killer. No! Oh no, did I do bad? Guys, did I do bad? No, no, no! Everything hinged on that point. In the end, Lana alone was found guilty on all counts. No! I done goofed! I need to reload! Oh, snap. No! I done goofed! I should not- I should have said no- don't show evidence, I guess. Oh, no! Game over! This is the first game over I've ever gotten. Okay. I don't know how far back we're gonna go. Why have you been keeping you quiet about it? You sh okay. Oh, it wasn't that far back. Okay, good. Oh. Okay. Uh, let me look at my guide just to be sure. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I guess I will. Oh, I guess we'll have to say no. I guess I'll have you to. You got this, Pixie. We believe in you. Ooh, ooh. Less Thank than three. Thank you, Kuzu. Thank you, Chat. Thank you, guys. I guess we're gonna have to say no. I guess we can't. I can't. We, we can't show it. Okay. Cannot show evidence. Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. What? You lie. Chief Gant? You- you opened my safe. I know you took what was inside. Oh, do you? How would you know I took what was inside? You said there wasn't anything inside there. Oh, oh, you do you now? The c conclusive evidence. Nope. I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Wright, why don't you show them? We found it together. Oh, I see. It's because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints are on it. That's why you won't present it. Oh, do you know whose fingerprints are on it? What are you talking about, Chief Gant? Can't you figure it out? Take a good look at this picture. See the victim's vest? Notice anything odd about the chest area? It looks like part of it's been cut out for some reason. You mean you had this in your safe? What? That means you, the Chief of Police, have been concealing evidence? This is going to be the biggest scandal in the history of the police department. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. Impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you had the goal, Righto. Hmm? Well, I can't just let you pin me up as the murderer. I'll tell you what really happened. <laughs> what? You mean you admit to it? He's going to say he did it for her. He's going to say he did it for her. I was the first person to arrive at the crime scene that day. It was. It then occurred to me that I could use the situation to control Lana. So you really were manipulating her. I knew Lana. If I made it look like the blame lay with her sister, that's when she saw the scene, she would ask me for my aid. So you assisted Miss Skye. I told her to arrange all the evidence. 
I had her plant the knife tip in the victim's body and move the body across the room. And I ended up using that evidence to get Joe Dark convicted. When I tampered with the crime scene, I hid two pieces of evidence. This was before Lana arrived at the scene, mind you. Two pieces of evidence? You mean those items in your safe! But why? For instance, of course. Oh, I'm sorry, insurance! Insurance! I was sure my plan would work, but it's always best to be prepared for the worst. I wasn't able to let anyone blame me for a murder that girl committed. You mean you were calculating that far ahead while forging the evidence? What do you take me for, a fool? I didn't make police chief by dumb luck. See this jar fragment? I hid the most legible part of Emma's name. I didn't expect Lana to go and wipe the blood off of all the pieces. Uh oh. But if you fabricated all the evidence, what's to say you didn't fabricate the message on this jar too? Exactly, that's what I said earlier! Ho 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 ho. Uh, some people just don't know when to quit, do they? That's why I kept one more item for insurance. You mean the piece of cloth? Come on, Raito. Cough it up already. I know you have it. Uh uh. No. What are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? So you admit to it then, Chief Gant. That you were hiding the cloth you cut off the victim's vest in your safe. Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do that, but being chief and all. But it's a lot better than being portrayed as the murderer. Well then, Mr. Wright, what do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have any evidence that you could present. Foolish move, Raito. You should have shown it then before it was all too late. It's been a long battle. Yeah, it sure has. But the moment of truth has finally arrived! As long as I don't mess up here, victory is mine! Huh, huh, let me save. I'm gonna save here. Okay. Okay. Do we show evidence here? Probably. Okay. Now that Gan has confessed that he, he has the cloth in his safe, yeah, I think it's fine to show evidence now. Your Honor, I do have it ev evidence to present now. Alright then, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. Okay, you asked for it, here we go. Take that! Take that! Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime- Ah, my mouse! You personally cut out this piece of victim's vest? Oh, yes, at least you finally brought it out into the open. There's a handprint on this piece of cloth. Your Honor, the prosecution requests to be immediately sent to the lab for analysis. This handprint on the leather. There must have been a strong impact for it to be left so clearly. Hmm, you mean... It could not have been forged. It must be authentic, conclusive evidence. Uh-oh. Ho ho ho. You're as slow on the uptake as ever, Worthy. What? Think about it. Raito had all this time to present this evidence, yet he was reluctant to do so. Why would that be? Hmm? You mean you already know? You know whose fingerprints are on that? But, but Mr. Wright, do you really know? Uh, I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Whoever the fingerprints belong to must be the real murderer. Whose fingerprints are they? <sighs> I'll tell you. Very well, I'll tell you. It should be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted. The person who, to whom those fingerprints belong to is... It's Emma. It's Emma. Emma, Emma Sky? What? They're mine!
I'm sorry, Emma. But why? Why didn't you tell me? Because I don't want you to go to jail, baby girl! Oh ho 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 ho! You're really something, Raito. You knew this girl did it all along, and you still tried to pin the murder on me? So it's true, tragic but true. This girl really did shove Prosecutor Marshall to his death. Hold it! How could you, you, you monster! Miss Sky, you knew whose fingerprints those were all along, yet you, you acted like she really didn't. Miss Sky, it's not over yet. What? I said this trial isn't over yet. Huh, but I'm afraid it is over, boy. Not only this trial, but your career, too. Huh? You purposely concealed this conclusive evidence. To that, my friend, is a serious offense. Mm. I'm looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. I'll have your badge, boy. Hmm. What's the matter, Cat Got Your Tongue? Aren't you going to tell us how it feels? How it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned a poor little girl into a murderer? Before I do that... <laughs> there's something, one, one little thing I have to clear up. Oh? And what's that? Who really killed Prosecutor Neil Marshall? What? Chief Gant, you are absolutely right. This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer is. Who killed Neil Marshall, you ask? It was Emma Skye, wasn't it? No. I'm afraid that's not possible. You see, this piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. What? A contradiction? What is this fool babbling about? I'm talking about a contradiction. One that proves... Who the real killer is? Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're in the final lineup now. I know it. M -m Mr. Wright, this piece of cloth. What could it possibly contradict? Chief Gant, your tyrannical reign ends here. Behold, the piece of evidence that contradicts this cloth. Uh oh. Um. Uh. Um. Uh. Uh, glove? Is it the glove? I don't... I don't know. Mm. Mm, I need to look over things again. Hold on. Okay, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ah! Hydrate, thank you, I will. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a cotton picking moment. Hold on. There's no blood on this. Why are there why is there no blood on this? Excuse me. This man is covered in blood. This man is covered in blood, but there's no blood on the vest. That means it was cut out before he was killed. Oh ho ho ho! I got you now. I got you now, Boyle. I got you now. I got you now. You're done for now, bud. Boom! And what exactly is this supposed to be? This is the picture of Miss Sky took. Take a good look at this. Look at this photograph for the last time. <laughs> See where this piece of his vest has been cut out? Yes, his shirt is showing underneath. It's hard to make out with all the blood on his vest, though. Exactly. Exactly my point. His chest is soaked with blood. 
that's only natural. His lungs, no doubt, were punctured. Blood poured out of his mouth. Oh, but that piece of cloth... Doesn't have any blood on it. Why is that? Wait, there's no blood on it. Ah! Since Emma Sky's fingerprints are on this cloth, there's no doubt that she shoved the prosecutor aside. However, Mr. Marshall was not impaled on the sword at that time! Let's go! <laughs> no, no, no! This is nonsense! Now then, Chief Gant, let me ask you something. Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled when he was shoved aside. He most likely hit his head on the ground and was knocked out. If so, then tell me, who could it have been? Who could have arrived at the scene before Miss Lana Sky? Picked up the unconscious prosecutor and impaled him on the armor sword? <laughs> then to make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death. Said person proceeded to write her name on the jar with the victim's blood. That jar that then... Uh, a jar that they then broke on purpose to leave behind a clue. And make Lena believe her sister did it. Remember, you admit what you admitted only moments ago? That you personally cut out this bloodless piece of the victim's vest? Ironic, isn't it? Though the very act of creating insurance... You proved that you were indeed the actual murderer. No! It's finally all over. It's over. Uh, objection? Who? You, you can't object, can't? <laughs> oh, oh, that was close, Redo. You almost had me. Nah, now you've been got, buddy. You got got. Sorry, but you'll have to do better than that. <laughs> I refute your allegations. What do you mean you refute his allegations? You see that piece of cloth uh, is illegal evidence. Oh, really? Oh, really? Illegal- Order, order, what a nonsense is this? Illegal evidence cannot be used by- to convict a suspect. <laughs> Remember, Angie? <laughs> Earlier, old Rhino here concealed that piece of cloth. So then, what's your excuse, Raito? You do have some conclusive evidence, don't you? Mm. Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. Oof. Well, that's true. The defense did refuse to present evidence. Oh no! At that moment, that piece of cloth could, it ceased to be legal evidence. Meaning it wasn't entered into the evidence log, so it, it can be used to it can't be used to convict Grant. Oh, that's true. Oh heck. Oh, a raid! Oh, thank you for the raid, Foxbox! Welcome, Raiders! Welcome, welcome! My name is Pixie. I'm a Princess Raccoon VTuber. I'm also a artist, life 2D 2D rigger, and sometimes I play games. Today we are finishing up the DLC for Phoenix, right? Ace Attorney! We got Gant on the ropes. He's the bad guy. We're gonna defeat him. Welcome, Raiders. Thank you so much for the raid, Fox Box. Welcome, Spartan Hugh. Welcome. Welcome, Ellie Chan. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Ga Welcome, Gamer Tech Chub. Welcome. Welcome, Lunar Fox. Welcome. Oh my gosh, so many new people. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Let me go and give you a shout out here, Fox Box. Shout out to Foxbox. Shout out, uh, Foxbox is one of my VTuber children, and they are a really cool dude. Uh, let's see here. So be sure to go and follow Foxbox Union if you haven't already. They do a lot of like horror games and stuff. But yeah, Foxbox, thank you so much for the raid. How was your uh, stream? I love that cute little emote with the cheeks. That's so cute. I want one. 
I want to get one of those. Hi, Mom. You're welcome. BRB deleting the VOD, there was a 100% chance of things that will get me in trouble. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't get in trouble, son. <laughs> um, let's see. At that moment, that piece of cloth ceased to be legal evidence. But that's not fair. <laughs> uh, did you actually think you could best me in court? <laughs> Uh, it looks like the last laugh on you. Uh, the last laughs on you, son. The capybara meme overtook me. Oh no! I'm afraid Mr. Gant's claim is legally correct. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. True. Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a person, assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Mm. What do we do? What do we do? How do we get out of this? It seems at last. The time for me to reveal my plan has finally arrived! Oh, what plan? I wasn't aware of this, Phoenix. You gotta tell me, too! Mr. Wright, do you admit to it? That you purposely and illegally concealed this piece of evidence- er, piece of cloth. I didn't purposely! I just chose not to reveal it at the time you asked me to. I'm gonna say I did not. I'm a lie. I'm a lie to this bald man. I don't care. I admit, I refuse to present it at one point. Aha! Uh -huh. So the evidence is illegal. Objection. Objection! No, it isn't, Mr. Gant. I just refused to show it at that one time. I did show it. Huh? It's not that I didn't present evidence then. It's that I couldn't. What do you mean you couldn't? There are certain procedures involved when presenting evidence. No, Aji, don't listen to his lies. He's nothing but a coward. You can't really believe. There is only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Get him. Get him! <laughs> yep, he is nuking the VOD. The capybara meme. Of oh, yeah, okay. Oh, you got a job at Jimmy John's? Congrats, Ellie! Congrats! Only there. This is the only issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is this evidence legal or not? Very well. Let us settle this once and for all. Earlier, you refused to present evidence. If you can prove your conduct was not in violation of the law, then do so now. Oh, um, can I just show you the book? The book. The book proves I'm right. The book proves I'm right. The book with the chicken. It's gonna save my life, guys. Chicken book. Boom. Take that. This is my proof, Your Honor. Evidence law. With the chicky on it. It's cute. What's this? I've done my homework too, Chief. Indeed, Emma Sky's fingerprints were on this piece of cloth. However, at that point in time, this is, was merely a piece of cloth, nothing more. What? You see, it's written right here in the book. The second rule of evidence law. Don't you see? Even babies know. Gant, even babies know. <laughs> Rule 1. No evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. I found this piece of evidence myself inside your safe. It goes without saying, I did not have approval from the police department. That's true! That's true, he didn't have approval! Rule number 2. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. And here's the crux of the matter. You see, at the time, it was impossible for me to prove the relevance between the cloth and the SL9 incident. What? What kind of nonsense is this? You want relevancy? Just take one look at this picture and... Objection! Nope, objection! Sorry, but can you recall when was that picture presented? That was shown only a few minutes, moments ago. No. He's right. At the beginning of today's trial, that piece of cloth was still meaningless. <laughs> Final examine the evidence law course of law school. 
what is rule one? What is rule two? <laughs> First rule of evidence uh, law. Don't talk about evidence law. <laughs> the person who gave it value as evidence was you, Damon Gant. Oh! <laughs> You, you, you yourself confess to a certain truth. Let me verify this once more. On the day of that crime, you personally cut this out of the victim's vest? Oh, yes! He said it! He said it! No! It was then you appeared this, approved this cloth. As conclusive evidence. Yes, you, the chief of police, personally approved this cloth. The only person who could have cut this from the victim's vest is the one who stood before Prosecutor Marshall in his final moments. In other words, the real murderer, and there's only one person who that could be, is Damon Gant. The killer was you. No, no. Hmm. <laughs> He's dead. He blew up. I knew I should have gotten rid of him. <laughs> that good for nothing scum. For two years, he has been snooping around the department, trying to get something on me. Here's the anime villain breakdown, yeah. Crimes are being committed every day, yet he insisted on hounding me. Well, your crime wasn't exactly petty. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. He recruited Angel Star, then convinced Bruce Goodman. Detective Goodman? Yeah, that's right. If the evidence is transferred, I'll lose my only chance to find out the truth. Please, you've got to help me. Goodman turned him down, as he ought to. Still, Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. He stole Goodman's ID card and tried to take the evidence. Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to file a lost item report. I went with him to the evidence room. Then all of a sudden he decided to speak out. Uh-oh. What are you talking about, Goodman? Can you please Oh, can you please reopen the investigation, chief? We can't transfer the evidence out. There are too many questions left unanswered. Bam, bam. He opened his evidence locker, and as he was taking out the evidence, he said, It's not too late. I'm going to hand all this to over to Marshall. Well, to be honest, I was taken a, a bit aback by his words. I had a bad feeling when he came to see me, but I never thought he'd bring up SL9. That's when I saw it. That accursed knife. The knife. Gant, my dude, if you would have used a better password for your safe, you literally would have gotten away with it. True. I'm gonna use my ID number for my safe. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I bet his computer password is password123. <laughs> Stupid boomer. I couldn't just pull it out. Doing so would have only led to more blood, making it near impossible to hide your crime. Even so, the blood was just pouring out. I didn't know who might stumble in, so I hurried to wipe it up. I was worrying so much about the floor, I didn't realize my fatal mistake. The bloody handprint. Ah! The one that was on Detective Gumshoe's locker! I used to be known as the crime computer. But everyone has to start somewhere, I guess. I was too nervous. <laughs> I have no business doing any of it. Then you put the bloody- uh, you put the body in my car? I'm sorry, I couldn't think of any other way to move the body. I broke your trunk, but what's the big deal? 
You make a lot more than us detectives ever will. Grr, my car, I hate you. We're leaving the prosecution's car aside. How, how, how could you get Miss Guy involved in all of this? Well, since she had as much to lose as I did if the truth came out. So you took the evidence- oh, so you took the evidence from Detective Goodman's locker. I felt bad for having to do it. I also didn't have the time to pick and choose what to take. <laughs> One, two, three, whoa! I have the same combination on my luggage! Uh, I mean, I'm gonna go change the combination of my luggage! Yeah, maybe you should do that now, GTA! <laughs> so, you left the jar fragments and the glove. Mm. Yeah. It looks like I was better off being an investigator of crimes than a committer. <laughs> oh well. They all did their best to get in my way. I've got to hand it to them. They do their jobs well, much to my dismay. Fake evidence doesn't hold up very well upon close examination. You must have known that. Tell me, Worthy. Why do you stand in court? Me? You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. Mm. No, he's not like you at all, edgy boy. Don't you believe that? One day you'll understand. Oh, believe me, you will. You're just one man. Just one bad day, and you'll be just like me, edgy boy. <laughs> He's going full Joker on us. You'll see what it really takes to bring them down once you try to go it alone. Mm. You'll never be like him, edgy. You're a good boy. Well, looks like it's time to say goodbye. Oh, edgy, Anji, oh, edgy. What? Looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch date. No! Break up in the courtroom! Judge's heart is broken! Sorry, old friend. Mm. I'm sorry too, Damon Gant. Mm. I knew you as you used to be long ago. You were once a fine investigator, and a fine man, and an example to others on the force. I'm sorry to learn that you are no longer that person. Those days are gone now, Aji. Thanks for all the memories, though. Thanks for the memories, thanks for the memories, even the thing I can't get, like that, like the don't worry, you'll be fine. You'll find someone new. I know you will. You'll pick up fast. What with that cute little bald head of yours? Now you have Raito here. Oh, now you have Raito here. And worthy. Wait, what? We're not replacing him as your boyfriend? I know. <laughs> no. No, we're too young for him. No, that's weird. <laughs> With these two around, you can't go wrong. In fact, I can hear them already. The melodious sounds of a new beginning. <laughs> what do you gotta say, Lana? There are two things I want you to understand. Yes? First, your sister never hurt anyone. Second, Damon Gant betrayed you from the beginning. You see, Miss Sky? You no longer have any reason to keep silent. You're right. When this trial is over, I'll tell everything. All that I've done these past two years. From the time I had Gant help me forge evidence up until today. So, it seems all the questions raised in this trial have been answered. I'm sorry, Miss Sky. I couldn't get you out of all your trouble. Hmm. My, my. What high standards you have for a rookie. Hmm? I can see why Mia thought so highly of you. Who knows? A few years from now, 
You just might make it to the top. <laughs> she smiled! I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. Miss Skye. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. Mm. You've suffered every bit as much as the uh, I have over these few years. Believe me, I know how much of an ordeal it has been for you. Hmm. It, it was nothing. I it's, it's not like I did it for you, Baka. <laughs> Liar. Liar. <laughs> I was worried the pressure might break you. And yet, you rose above it all and guided Mr. Wright to victory. You've done well, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, she's smiling again. She's so cute. Oh my gosh, waifu. Stop it. I, I only did my job. Don't look at me. Don't look at none of you. Look at me. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Edgy being soon as heck. <laughs> In light of this case. It seems a good self-examining is or in order for all of us. Ah, yes, yeah, self-reflection. Good, good to do. Miss Sky. Yes, Your Honor. You are innocent of murder. However, although the chief blackmailed you, the fact is you still acted it as his accomplice. A trial will be scheduled for these crimes as a later date. Yes, I understand, Your Honor. Is there something amusing about all of this? Why are you smiling? It's been a long time, Your Honor. A long time since I felt free of these heavy chains. Mm. Oh, that's so nice! My feels! Yay! Well, this trial has gone on far too long already. Regarding the charge of murder, the court finds the defendant Miss Lana Sky. Not guilty! Yay! Woo 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 woo! It's confetti time! Yay! Wait. Yay! Yay! That is all. This court is adjourned. <laughs> the yay froze for a second. Oops. At long last, it's finally over. Uh, oh, hi, Emma. Uh, Emma? Mm. Why the long face? I'm sorry your sister didn't get completely off the hook, but at least she wasn't convicted for a murder she didn't commit. I'm still getting paid, right? No, that's not it. Just now, after the trial ended. I can see why Mia Fey thought so highly of you. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. You've suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few years. You've done well. <laughs> you know, I did my best too. But Lana didn't say a single word to me. Hope I'm not interrupting anything, pals. <laughs> the worst timing. The worst. Hi, Gumshoe. Oh, I guess I am. I'll come back later. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Wait, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Making a detective run around all while on duty. And to top it off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. Hey, lighten up, pals. I'm only kidding. Oh, are you here because my sister again? Nope, not this time. I came today because of you, pal. Me? That's right. I thought you'd like to see someone. Your sister! Lana! Should you be doing this? Oh wait, um, it's Phoenix. Should you be doing this? She's still under arrest, you know. Mm, well, I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> Emma, I owe you an apology. 
It's okay, sis. Don't worry about it. That day two years ago. Hmm? Was the first time in my life I ever panicked. It was all I could do to keep myself from screaming. All I could think about was keeping you from getting wrapped up in that mess. Oh, sis... I asked Gant to help me cover up the truth. I thought I was doing it for your sake. But now, I realize I was wrong. <gasps> I changed after that day. I had to. It was the only way I could make it through the past two years. I knew how much I was hurting you by distancing myself. But I couldn't bring myself to tell you what I did. I... I was scared. Scared that you'd look at me with those eyes of yours. I was scared of how you'd react if you knew. But sis, you were only doing it for me. No. Huh? I turned my back on you that day. In hiding what I believed to be the truth, I was deceiving you. Sis. I'm such a fool. It took me all this time to realize it. Emma, I'm so sorry. But sis, you don't have to apologize. I'm... I'm happy now. You're... happy? Of course. You know, sis, I always knew that one day you'd come back, and now you have. <laughs> oh, Emma, Emma. Ah, my feels! Ah, my feels! Ah, I'm gonna cry. No one can change the past. The only thing we can do is strive to make up for our mistakes. Why must we make up for our mistakes, you ask? Because in doing so, we can find the way back- I'm gonna cry, guys. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. We can find the way back to our rightful path. And it is from there that we can move on toward a bright future. That's so sweet. At least that's what I felt watching those two sisters make up. No oh, game made me cry. <coughs> oh no. Okay, suck it up, <laughs> suck it up, fix. Mr. Right, Mr. Gumshoe. I heard of Lechonks. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, me. Thank you both for all that you've done. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Isn't that right, Edgeworth? E Edgeworth! Stop hiding and come here. Oh, is he being soon again? Where was he hiding? I, I just came to say... Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Right. Well, I'll be going now. Mr. Edgeworth, I hope you don't blame yourself for what happened. Hmm. We were the ones who acted corruptly, not you. Mm -mm. It's too late for me. Huh? Wait, you're gonna resign still? No matter what anyone may say, I realize today that I can't correct my mistakes. Mr. Edgeworth? Not only that, but I don't even trust myself anymore. Chief Gent was right. No, you're nothing like him! You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. Hmm. One day you'll understand, and believe me, you will. You're just one man. You'll see what it really takes to bring them down once you try to go it alone. I do despise criminals. I plan to dedicate my entire life to fighting them. But in order to fight crime on my own, I needed a weapon. 
It's scary, but I've known that to be true for quite some time now. But Ed- But Edgeworth! Who knows, given enough time, I might have tried to pull something like Chief Gant did. No! You're nothing like him! You're a good boy! That thought terrifies me. That's why I can't continue on as a prosecutor. Are you going to become a defense lawyer instead? Switch teams! Switch teams! Edgeworth, don't you understand? Damon Gant and your mentor, Vimanfrin von Karma. Hmm? We're both the best of the best when it came to fighting crime. But they both made the same mistake. Hmm. You said, in order to fight crime on my own, I'd need a weapon. That may be true, but think back to today's trial. You weren't alone. Hmm? You were working together with Mr. Wright. And because of that partnership, you were able to present evidence that otherwise would have gone undiscovered. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, uh -huh, yeah. What is this, a pop quiz? <laughs> Come on, Mr. Wright. Show him what Lana's talking about. Evidence, huh? Something that neither Edgeworth nor I would have been able to find on our own. Uh, oh. I wasn't expecting to have to do this anymore. Uh, pfft, uh. I don't know. 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 Oh, wait. Evidence list? Because he had half and I had half. Where's the evidence list? Yeah! Two halves of one whole, just like our relationship. Take that! That's the picture I drew. Our counterattack began with this. You had one half of the evidence, and I had the other. Ah, yeah! The ship is real! The ship is real! Apart, we wouldn't have been able to completely restore Emma's picture. I ship it. I ship it hard. That didn't just happen by chance, Mr. Edgeworth. It's fate. The red string of fate. Now kiss! Mm. Mm. It's time for me to go. Mr. Edgeworth! If you'll excuse me, there are still some loose ends that need wrapping up. Take care, Chief Prosecutor. Edgeworth, no! Why won't you admit you love me? Edgeworth, what will you do now? Hmm. Well, whatever you do, just remember. You can let what happened kill the prosecutor in you, or you can let it help you grow. In the end, it's up to you. I know. It seems I owe you my thanks too, right? <laughs> the cute little smile on him. Look at his cute little smile. He knows. But what I face now is my problem. Edgeworth, I'll be waiting for you in court. I'll wait forever for you, Edgeworth. No matter you go, no matter you are. Da 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 da. <laughs> Farewell. No! And I will always love you. Now, Angie. I'd better get going, too. Okay, but I'll be by to visit soon. It seems we both have a lot to learn and catching up to do. Here, this is a little something for you. Another chicken book? Heck yeah! Or is that for... Or is that for her? Oh, that's probably for her sister, not for us. I wanted the book. Scientific investigation? If the first book I ever... It's the first book I ever bought. Study it well. Thanks, sis. I will! <laughs> Aw, such a nice smile. And so, another case came to a close. As for the sisters, I have faith. Ah, uh, you picture my heart. Faith that their lives 
have only just begun. Aww. Warm, fuzzy feelings. And as for me, I think it's time I started on a new journey of my own. Yay! A journey to rediscover myself. Well, don't go trekking off just yet, pal. Uh, what? Huh? What is it, detective? There's just a little matter of to be resolved about the chief prosecutor. You see, she isn't supposed to be out of jail like this. But... I thought you said it was okay. Yeah, well, it may be okay with me, but the folks at the prison are a different story. Huh? Basically, I had to bribe a guard in order to sneak her out for 30 minutes. <gasps> Bribing! Believe me, it wasn't cheap either. <laughs> huh? Way to go, detective! I didn't know you had a wild side! Let's go commit crimes! Yeah, well, haha, <laughs> you see, Mr. Right here is the one who will be footing the bill. Oh, no. No, my pay! I was gonna get paid this time! Why? Huh? Huh? What, you think you could, uh, you think I could afford it with my salary? You gotta be kidding, pal. That's right, he's got ramen salary. Huh? 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 Thank you, Mr. Wright. You're the best. No! 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 You pay for it. It's your sister. Mm, why is it? I suddenly feel like I want to scream. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we all go pay it off together? Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys chip in. You guys chip in. We'll be fine. Come on, guys. Let's go. Objection! Objection! <laughs> Oh, it's done! It's done! The game's done! Oh, man. What a trip. I've arranged for a friend of mine in Europe to take care of Emma. I hope she'll be pleased to study under a top coroner. As for me, this affair has pretty much ended my days at the prosecutor's office. Still, I managed to find my way back to the field somehow. Then I'll be able to investigate crimes together with Emma. Is this gonna be a like a where are they now kind of thing with the ending? Yay! Yikes, I thought I was a goner for a moment there. In the end, though, they overlooked my unauthorized investigation of the chief's office. Haha, <laughs> I got away with it. If we penalized you anymore, it'd be worse than firing you. Yep, that's what they said. It just goes to show, you can't shake me off that easily. I'm like, I'm like a disease that you just can't get rid of. <laughs> Ooh, that's who did the art? Okay, cool. Oh, man, what a great game. I really had a lot of fun playing this game. I need to, I need to play some more of these games definitely in the future. I'm probably going to take a break from this game for a little while, though. Oh, my new mission is to guard the main entrance and take care of Billy. Can you believe it? I've been demoted to security guard. My partner's keeping an eye on the ent entrance for me today. I'll show them, though. Someday I'm going to make it a detective. Yes, sir, then I can be just like Dick Gumshoe. Dee, 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 dee. Good lord, you went so long. I know, I went like two hours over. Oh my gosh. Let's just finish these credits. Two and a half hours over. Oh my god. I'm so hungry. I could eat a whole cow. Oh, there's the boy. The blue badger boy. He's waving goodbye to you guys. He says bye bye, guys. Please get some sleep. Well, you know me. I'm up until like 5 or 6 a.m. And... <gasps> he broke! <laughs> that guy still has his megaphone, yeah. No, Blue Badger Boy broke! Someone fix him! I need to definitely play some more of this game in like a month or two or something. What is it? Can't you see I'm having me a showdown with a steak lunch partner? Miss Star managed to sneak this in to me. She's seeing as one of the guards I'm here. Well, Cowboy, does looks like you did it. You even gave Mambina back her smile. Can you make sure Billy and the gang get their water? 
He cares about his cacti. That's nice. <laughs> bye bye, guys. I'll see you in your nightmares, Blue Badger, probably. Looks like we won't be seeing each other for a while. As a farewell gift, I put a new menu on the menu. The wait, wait, did it say? The top layer tastes as bitter as defeat, but the bottom layer is as sweet as victory. Kids seem to dig the turnabout theme. It's a hot seller around exam time. Just make sure not to eat it backwards. I didn't get to read what she said. The right way lunch. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> I'd like to play some more visual novels in the future as well. Not just Phoenix Wright, but some other ones. I think that would be fun. I'll never forget what the young defense lawyer said after the trial. Let's see, what was his name again? Mr. Left? Anyway, he said he's been doing er uh, something or other, uh, how many years? Well, anyway, I've got another trial to get to, so I'd better be... Huh? Oh no, I forgot my gavel. Sorry, gotta go. <laughs> oh, that's what his chair looks like. <laughs> he can't remember anything, I swear. Very sweet of her to name the lunchbox after right. Yeah, I agree. Man, I wasn't sure if I was going to like this game or not when I first started it. But then I started getting into it and I just really loved it. Oh, Maya! Ah, nothing soothes the soul like fresh country air. Still, sometimes I do miss hearing you and your objection. Still, I can't go back until I'm a full-fledged spirit medium. Mystic Maya, afternoon training is about to begin. Coming! Well, see you around, Nick. Bye, Maya! I liked Maya more, personally. <laughs> While the, while the credits are going here, I'm just going to look for somebody to raid. We're going to let these credits go for a bit. Oh, Edgeworth. Oh, no. Is his office empty? Mr. Edgeworth. Um, uh, Mr. Edgeworth, I brought you your tea. Hmm? Oh, what's going on? Oh no, he resigned. Let's see here. Find somebody to raid real quick. <laughs> Thanks for coming to see me off. I can't believe I'm going to Europe. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Thank you so much for everything. I'm a little sad, but I'll be alright. Whenever I want to see Lana, all I have to do is open this book. What, is there a picture of her in there, or...? I don't know, I don't get it. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, oh. Boop! Hey, you! Oh, there's a letter! Oh. Oh! That's the picture from the day they went to the amusement park! Oh, look at Lana in her cop uniform! Oh, that's cute. Look at it. It's so cute. What a good game. I'm so happy I got to play through this game. It was so cute and fun and funny and exciting. And ah, it was great. It was great. I loved it. Okay, guys, so we're going to go do our thank yous real quick, and then we're going to find somebody to raid. Okay, guys? Alrighty. Let me just close out of this, and then put this music on here. Okay, we're going to go do our end credits, and then, and then uh, thank yous, and, uh, and then find somebody to raid. Okay, guys, thank you all so much for coming in and sticking with me this long. I know we went a little bit, well, quite a bit over time, actually, today. Uh, thank you, Souls, for the che uh, for the cheers. Uh, thank you, Jimbo and Captain Lila and Matter X for being my mods today. Uh, thank you for the raid, Ro Bo Foxbox Union. Let's find somebody for us to raid now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Give me a moment while I find somebody. It, it might be a second. Okay, come on. What's going on here? My mouse got unplugged again. Great job. Great. Amazing job. What do you mean USB device not at, I recognize? Stab it! What is going on here? This cord is funky as heck. Hold on. I got a spare mouse. Oh my gosh! The stream will never end. Uh, okay. We are going to raid. We're going to raid. Bum, 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 bum. We're going to raid Carter. Yeah, we're going to raid Carter. Carter's one of my friends who's on the Wild Abandon team. He's a Dragon VTuber. Looks like he's playing some Warhammer or doing something with Warhammer. We're just going to raid him. So, Carter. Zero. And then when you get in there, make sure to use the raid message, which as always is Trash Panda Army Raid. And if you're a subscriber, use the raid emote by copying and pasting this. Um, I will be back on Friday. On Friday, I'm going to play some more Pokemon Violet. So I hope you guys will come in on Friday. I hope you guys have a great night. Um, I'm going to probably start actually playing Bambo Kazooie uh, next week since I finished this game. So that'll be fun ex as well. But yeah, guys, I hope you have a great week. I'll see you guys on Friday and take care. Bye-bye!